but I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back. Now I can do that's like, fucking elite. I'd yeah. fuck with player kills if I didn't have to parlay it with another one. Yeah, I got Dylan over first map. Oh, I got some bet slot down. You guys want to hear my bet today? Um, do you do you have to VPN for bet three six five? No, it's, 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 not, it's, it's, it's in Ohio. We're good. So I got Vegas plus money today over like the the line moved and we took advantage of that. I have hey, uh, Donnie and I are smoking these guys, bro. Yeah, I have Carolina one and a half spread versus Miami. We have Kremp over Nero. It was more of a flyer because the odds were great on that. I have a three legger G over Nasty, Gwyn over Eric, and Ant over Dylan Envoy. And the head dads. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, good luck, brother. The crab, the crab nearer ones of Florida. Those, I, I don't, I don't think that's gonna hit. But I don't know what the Dylan Envoy shots he's gonna hit. Shots he's been on his bullshit. No, it's it's, 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 it's Ant. Ant I mean, no, Ant to get more kills than Envoy. This is a head-to-head. Uh, -head. Yeah, it's not yeah, a 1-2-3. Yeah, yeah. It's a full head-to-head. -head. Uh, Gwyn over uh, Eric is, is oh, yeah. a lock. I think G over Nasty, I think, is good. Although Nasty sometimes... The problem is Byron sometimes has a, a, like one series of fucking year or two series a year where he's just like... You know what I'm saying? Getting pooped on? No, no. Where he's just fucking everything. Is what I'm saying. Hey, who are you talking about? Uh, Nasty. Oh, Nasty. Sometimes he just yeah, has I mean, one of those guess, fucking I series. We'll see. I think he's getting kind of like, you know... No, not this year. No, no, this year has been fucking. Was going through a walk you know what I'm saying? Through the I think I gotta hit it two times, bro. I think I'm way behind. With the Vegas side, because Attach is ready for this matchup, right? He's ready to take down LA Thieves and prove that Vegas needs to be considered a threat coming into Miami. Uh, yeah. 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 Listen, I got a uh, team speak lagging again, dude. I'm gonna tweet. Team speak lagging right now? No, it's not. Now we're chilling. Okay. Uh, yeah, listen, I got a three leg parlay. I got Nero more kills than Kremp, Gwyn more than Eric Boom, and Scrappy more than Kenny. I like that. Wait, Tommy, you're here. Yeah, what's up? I want you to uh, watch a clip and you tell me if it's a red card. How should I send this to you? What are you talking about, bro? From who? From what? What are you talking about? From the Tottenham match earlier. There's a debate in my chat. I need a tiebreaker from you. I haven't seen you, bro. You want me to put it in T-Speak? How do you want me to send it to you? Yeah, you put it in T-Speak. I can't pull it up if you put it in T-Speak, though. Oh, you want me to send you on? You want me to, you want me to DM it to you, then? Let me take a look at this, bro. Let me take a look at this. What's going on? Past game three, I'm scuff picking Vegas Legion today. I'm trying to catch up a little bit to you guys. Yeah, my picks are on the, the screen right now. There you go. All right, nice work. I don't hate it. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a red card. Yeah, my chat trying to argue it's not a red card. We like straight. There's no attempt to fucking play the ball at all. There's literally no attempt to play the ball. Chat, they don't know ball. I mean, you you probably beat the shit out of the guy. Like, you don't get tried to get up and fight him. And then it's those are the type of tackles that 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 start fights, bro. Bro, it's right in front of the bench too. It's really right in front of the bench. Nice right user right. Entered oh. your channel. Like, yeah. It's gonna be a good time That's a red card, bro. Well, I hate to say it, but the first two maps of this might be a snooze in this series, double invasion, but... Yeah, LAT just gonna win it super quick, so it'll be boring to win. Yeah, here we go. Yo, oh, do we hit first two, uh, top, or, uh, do we hit 250 first map? These matches feel like kind of a litmus test. On invasion? Yep. I think so. Nope. Not always. With these two teams? This feels like almost... With these two teams and people playing for their spots? I don't know. My god, playing for the spots is crazy. Might be some cool. Oh, and on. Three games. Oh, yeah. they got No, the games are starting at a normal time. The difference is there was daylight savings time on, in the U.S. So if you're not American, it may seem like it's a little bit earlier because because it's uh, uh because of the time zone switch. That's why daylight savings times are worse shit. This call is L.E.T. fans. What are you talking about? L.E.T. haters. Hit it two times, guys. We have it already. Yep. Yeah. Good calls. Good calls out of you. Yep, yep, yep. All right, though, when you look at both these two teams and how they square up against right, each other, Afro. rotations are going to be so pivotal and so key as both these two teams have struggled in that department in particular. So those are the things to look out Gray for. Great P1 here time here. Getting right under the mix. Pretty even game at the moment. We have Thieves currently controlling the hard point and some good little bumps from Nasty trying to feel out where this next hit's coming from. Oh, it's good stuff. This is great P1 time. A lot of time off this P1, and you're consistently spawning Vegas Legion over towards the Palace side. So, how much more time is you here? You're gonna now have the worst time of all time. Point. He's trying to locate this last player into his cafe. Okay, the rest of the teammates are trying to apply that pressure. Oh, Jesus up Christ. Oh, sorry, Dad. Vegas, <laughs> they read it, they retake yeah. through mid, and now they have some. some oh, go. Still spawning gas. 
Yeah, so what you do, get these pallet spawns, try and flip them with 30 seconds left and get yourself set up for P3. Get this wave of kills and then push it. Really P2. Thieves, not under too much pressure, getting themselves set up for a clean break from the front. I got an in the inspirational off angle. It's this so good. To be kills right in front of this P2 He's pushing. You got one. Oh, no. Out, good from Nero. Oh, wait. I was going to somebody. Hey, Perge. It's hard for him. Yeah, Picking him up time here. Yeah, I'm gonna troll. Only pinch is open. This is fine, yeah. Oh, it's up there. Keep him pinned, bro. Yeah, just keep him pinned. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Is Geo tweaking? And as he's really going crazy for you, Geo's controller is tweaking. Yeah, we might get a reset here. Yeah, we might reset. Geo's tweaking. Oh, he's tweaking. In terms of how you rotate over to the yeah, definitely tweaking. Definitely tweaking. Making the right side of the yeah, his controller's all. going. And Gio wonk. actually hasn't moved at all, so I'm a little curious if he's had to deal with any issues. Yeah, what the hell's going on? It's a couple of the windows, like he was plugging his controller or something going on. So the controller you know, issue is that? It's not a map restart though. It's not, it's not a map restart. A controller problem is not a map reset, I don't think, which is kind of bullshit. It's a player issue. Don't know what's going on. Oh, we are ending it. Is. I was gonna say, I get you could say it's a player issue, but like if it's working to start and then just stops mid game, like so you have to reset. Yeah, probably. At least that early on. Both teams might. Well, both teams in that situation might disagree to release the play you now. It's not. It's, it's not like Vegas is winning by 50 or something. You know? Do you guys remember the online matches when they were like debating the rules, where it was like, okay, if you're up by like a hundred, the game can end here, but if you're up by 120, then it can't end. Are you talking yeah. about the DDoS shit? Yes, dude. Insane. Rotational percentages have been miserable. For Damn, we're spawning Palace on a P3 rotation. My controller, I cannot play. Overall ranked team in rotation. Oh, one of my friends tried to ins Instacart a laptop, and his account got locked last night. But they took okay. his money. <laughs> That's really <laughs> That's fucking insane. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and let's be honest, who's who's a Instacarting very, a laptop? A very wealthy crypto person, I know. Not wow. <laughs> but still, <laughs> that's crazy. He just tried to Instacart a MacBook and they charged his credit cards and locked his Instacart account for suspicious purchases. That's actually, that's actually really funny. Those times because even though you could Instacart laptops, so it's fucking a different level. More focused on not this overall fuck. series. What really caught me off guard when we were looking Spending at the thousands on maybe a mid pack LA's laptop just because you want one. Probably was just like <laughs> the picture he posted, it was like $3,300. Oh, or shit. <laughs> Although he's gonna get a little bit of markup too on. That one caught me off guard because yeah, I'm sure it's the card marking map. things up. Going up against a team like Vegas. <laughs> just, just a slight markup, just a little. It's in control overall on every single map. But the fact that they vetoed that invasion now you know what i know a really business is off topic setup, but, but you want to know so what business you know the person who i think has an insane business right now and then he should be tip more have you been following the mark cuban cost plus drug shit um a little bit so mark cuban basically is a business where he's basically wholesaling generic drugs and yeah, yeah. the pricing is all transparent part. like it tells you like what their vig is what the shipping is and it's like the amount of money you save is actually fucking insane over insurance out of your total three we're still not actually be, a respectable you know, startup i'm not gonna so lie there's a lot to be learned i think about what the potential and what the ceiling of this yeah it feels like a like. startup that you can or only do if you're worth billions so don't care about money much better go of it so my chat said wait is he referring to gainsy the crypto guy he instacart a laptop on and why is he talking about gainsy put together results like this you know now wow someone knows that shout out to v in my chat schedule that you should really just his youtube name is a crypto nerd like me let's go even though sitting at three and one the only loss that they took was versus Toronto Ultra, yeah. where they were able to win a 6-0 in the Rio S and D. And both the, S and, both the, the ASPs videos. were within 15 Ooh. points. Ooh. 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 Versus one of the top a little bit of game. control tweak. Unfortunately, you fall short in those final moments, but you can see it's all vibes. Everything is clicking right now for Vegas Legion. They want to just Microphone. already. I don't think so, Juni, because sure Adderall's like oh, uh, the difference. The crazy thing these are generics that aren't like narcotics. I think Adderall, even though it's generic now, actually, I don't think Adderall's generic now. You know me, I'm a sort of. It control, might be, but either so way, like, that's hurts. still a narcotic. So I like, think, I think he still yeah, runs into issues with those levels of drugs. <laughs> like, yeah, Jay, like, 
It just wasn't good enough. I was I putting up I point four. Like, cost plus drugs. It's because I play on stick and move. I said, stick and move? <laughs> <laughs> playing on stick and move. But then I found that Abizi plays on stick and move, so he copied a, a page out of his book, and now running an SMG, stick and no, move. No, you can't. Like Abizi. All right, we'll, we'll get that working. Yeah, and the thing about it is, like, when you look at what Purge has done in this qualifying stage compared to last, like, he's still floating Mud closer dog, to that 1.0 mark than way more. If you look him up on Twitter, M-U-D. hindered this Vegas team. And again, it just kind of comes down to the point of, is it a it's for M-U-D, D-A-W-G, Mud Dog. He's an OG, bro. So Former player, farmer manager, positive, works for Thieves. Eric's a fucking go. Geo being added into the mix has Microphone definitely brought activated. a new identity. Oh, yeah. It has allowed Purge to be more flexible into a position to where he can pick up the tempo a little bit and just get more involved. Okay, so that's a little frame up for the series. We're going to get right back into it, friends. Again, just a small controller issue. All right, two so times, Chad, two times. Go. And here are the head-to-head -head records. On this map in particular, this kind of, again, just reestablishes the things we're talking about. We're not dealing with the greatest rotation teams in the world. The great percentage is not great for all teams. The big standout here is the fact that when rotations do come through, Vegas are very successful. Putting together a good point. Yeah, rotations are going to be a key factor in this map, number one. But I'm pretty sure we're looking at the hardcore metrics for stage two. But did that really say LAT's break percentage is only six? That means it taken not by any success break. It's a hill, so you better be the team early off the rotation. I talked about it earlier, Bray. I thought that was out of pocket. I'm not gonna lie. Microphone active. Yo, Tom, I got a super chat. You mind if I read it? Yeah, sure, no problem. Go ahead. Tell Tiny Zuma happy birthday. Damn. May have learned something as far as how Just tell him I said thank you. Just tell him I said thank you. Happy birthday, Tommy. Happy birthday. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, guys. But can't quite convert to the kills and Vegas will stay in the hill. Alright, they get the read on this one though because Narrow is so aggressive up through Vegas. Oh, Narrow is in the big one. Oh, great. There we go. Flips those spawns, Wait, maybe not know. Dingy. Towards All out there we mixed go. Mixed fest towards the P1, but it's Little at least Vegas leading walks away with soak. 13 seconds. LA trying to soak up as oh, much geez. time as they possibly can, but with only 20 seconds left, it's about that rotation over towards P2. Before the restart, it was Vegas leading at least holding not from the preferred side. This time, yep. it's going to be LAT trying to do the same. All right, we're in a great no, spot here. Nade will open things up through this long Let's PT go, Geo. Let's go. Great spot here. Soaking up all the scrap Big Geo fan. Vegas Come on, Geo. I got Geo in the back today, so. These two players here trying to hit from the front. Nass is going to hide in DVD. No, he's going to chop the one and die. Right. Right. Geo more? Like. Geo will open up one through the middle of the map with the rest Krim? of the flood for Vegas is all down right in towards Cramps' right. lap and he will take Big down Krim. two. Some Palace. good efforts here oh. from Thieves getting some kills uh -oh. in front of the hill. Yeah, good Bro, Nasty is like 0 oh, and fucking <gasps> 9 or something in two maps. He hasn't got a kill yet. <laughs> he didn't get a kill in the last one. He's got a kill in the last one. No, no, no. Oh, we're going to bang it off the building. Is that going to work? You have to try to get out. At least you have some positioning with players. This is not ideal if you're Thieves. No, no, it's not. Try to reinforce and at least keep you There's like the reverse situation yeah, last time. Way more, more lit. Yo, yeah. unplug the controller. Yeah. Unplug it. Over unplug the controller. The and you can kind of see back here. Plug it back in, baby. Recommitting into getting into Yo, the whole nasty is dead ass like 0 and 12 right now. 0 and 12. Nice little focus concentration for Vegas to get some control. Oh, we're really fucked up. We're winning right on a P3, though. It's the hill, cramp. You see him. Holy shit on. Go to the hill. Go to the hill. Get in the hill. Get in the hill. Get in the hill. Get in the hill. Four. Get his cross, get his front cross, get his front cross. We gotta shoot his cross. What are you jumping? This is not ideal for this. A little bit longer. Now it's all about pushing out the mid map and just make you get a lot more difficult to get close. Yeah, you all been that right there from thieves. I mean, you've got one, three no ARs that are set up, two of which are watching. Holy this fuck, he's 0 and 9? Yes, bro. He, he didn't get a kill in the first game either. He's like 0 and 17 right now. No, I'm not even trolling you. So, way, almost way too Maybe easy. And with that, off. Legion will grow their lead. To do he's turned it auto ammo on? What? Aren't they good with PL? Wrong. There you go. He's on the board. Guys, what are we hating for? You see two. Three. Okay. Come on, ready to go. Okay. Okay. We're here. Okay. Around this courtyard point. Oh, but they three, four, three. We're obviously gonna hit old. Why are we running out left? He's at zero and five as well, but now he's on a four streak. So I'm gonna turn up in the game. Oh, yes, we are. Come on. Play through the old hill. We're just gonna get pinch spawns now. Play through the old hill. Why are we just waiting for this to happen? We gotta trust the process, Sam. This is one thing that they were really good at doing, which caught me. Now they're everywhere. Oh no, it's bad. It's all bad. We're losing every gun. Now they're everywhere. Can we get some proactivity, my boys? It's okay. There we go, Marcus. Fuck on him. Fuck on him. 
one's right. Oh my oh, god, he's gonna look at something now. Palace, but it's still LAT holding off for 20 okay. uncontested seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're still out of time here. I'll take this. We're just not gonna challenge that alley and try to get more time. We'll fucking take this never so can someone get this much time up before. This is incredible. I will take this. And a flip. You know he's flipping. You know he's behind the bicycle like for an eight there. Lives in, just lives in. No. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we got some mid map control though. This is fun. We got mid map. This is fun. Ah shit. Dan, of course the Dan G teammate. Dan G teammate. They happen at least once a series, ladies and gentlemen. Slows this down pretty considerably. Yeah. That is lost the you gotta tip it though. That is a fetish for it. Like a Only a one, one for one trade for now. In the oh, oh, oh shit. On the top row. Jesus Lord. Jay getting slammed. Jay. So now it's slammed really is crazy. My free bars. Trade that. Trade that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we gotta push out. This one. This one. That one. Yes. Push too far. It was cast one. How the fuck is this one? Vegas losing this. And we spawn the pitch. Block the spawn. Let's go. They're playing like fucking hamsters, man. Come on, a straight up ham sandwich gameplay right now. We're not, not we're, the we're controlling the map, but we're not controlling the map. You don't want off the streaks. So it's only a 10 point game. They're going to be able to tie this one up at the end. Daniel or fucking Attach is Drake. Okay, so Attach also looking for an early cruise missile. 13 and 6, 16 and 7. Hey, the Paris last is going through like a time. I mean, LAPs are tying this through map and they're getting yeah, outside bad. Are we, are we saying Purge le are we saying Purge less is fucking a lock every every game? The maps that you got and they are on you. Holy shit. Afro tag, but... That's not insane, dealt with the rest of Vegas. Don't try as hard as get the six kill. Right through middle. Kills are decent, and here we go. Now an opportunity for Vegas to work their way through. Attack yeah. still looking for kill number six, and yeah, finally Drake, able to bro, they're able to They're not reading spawns. Yes. Attack yeah, is so good at this game. No. Now We're not reading right spawns, though. Like... LA going to spawn over towards Gas. So can he keep this streak alive? So he's going to try to cut off the middle of the map. Afro sitting in towards DVD, but it's time for Attach to continue to slay. He's only able to take down one as LAT. Oh, I mean, Thieves are getting out slayed pretty decent right, right now, and they're going to have like a lead. They're actually kill yeah, horn. They're, they're, they're like not hitting the hill at all. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're controlling the map, but they're not controlling the map. Oh, oh crampy, crampy. Come on, two-man setup. Come on here, bro. Take our time. We got the unbreakable two-man setup. We're not the unbreakable two-man setup. Come on. Old Hill is still up, and we're sprinting at Palace. All the... All the... Oh, Jesus Christ. All the <laughs> small <laughs> things. All right, we win this. No, we don't. Oh, my God. That was a good shot. For, a, for how bad they're getting outplayed, like, there we go. Trade effects are up by 60 points. It's fucking easy. Oh, it's a two-man. It's the infamous two-man setup. There we go. You know where he is. You know where he has to be. Trade. There we go. Oh, really well done by Gio after White time. A oh, it made a great play. Purge made a great Nero. fucking play. Uh, and he's out new. Purge is great. Oh, 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 no. Purge made a great play, bro. <laughs> bro. They're just letting him out, too. Like, they're not even tracking names. Not so early. This is just not even fucking. They're not tracking names at all. 100%. I would be. My sixth sense would be fucking itching right now. I'd be like, yo, this guy's out, bro. They are not tracking names. You gotta think they're not counting names, bro. He's all the way in the back. No, they're looking shit. Walls, walls. Yeah. Yeah. Up with you. I'm working left here. Go, go see. Dead. Nice. nice. Shit. He's probably streaking and working DVD for me, clip, I think. DVD clip. DVD clip. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm like, bro. DVD. Dead. Nice dead. I can streak you. I'm going to streak you. I'm going to streak you. Do it, do it, do it. Up top, shot, shot, shot. Watch him. One's in coffin. One in rugs. Two in rugs. Two on time. Two rugs. Two on time. I'm going back door. I got one attack. Nice. I have two. No, I'm dead. That's our time. That's our time. They're all palace. They're all palace. Fly, 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 fly. Charles got a time. Charles got a time. Go fly, 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 fly. Here, go fast. I'm blocking. I'm behind me. Behind me. Behind me. I throw that nice. One of these guys on bridge. I throw that guy on I spawn out with these guys. That's going. That's AC. Mike's still spawning me. AC. AC. He's absolutely, absolutely AC. Crimp. I'm just spawning. I'm just spawning. I can't hear you. Still AC. Crimp was AC. Yes, I'm blocking. I'm blocking. We're good. Two more in spawn on me, bro. Looking at couches. Okay, two more palace. Are we still missing one? No, I don't think so. I'm going Let's in go P1 tank. Let's P1 tank. Just two P1 tank. Two P1 tank. I heard. We're up in the rain. I'm going to be P1 tank. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going to be P1 tank. 
Strength flame dart. Time. Oh, he's 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 red, 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 you guys are all going it's, it's okay, don't right. tweet, don't tweet. Don't tweet. Tank punch shot. Hold the tank punch shot. There's nothing right on me. I have the time. I got yeah, I help time. time. I have your left. I have your left. Yo. He's in a deep right corner. Right. I can't yeah. shot him. Deep right corner. Deep right corner. Watch out. 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 Watch let me go. Mixy, 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 but boy, Jay, I mean, I was just there a moment ago. I got time when you have to last four seconds. That was a, that was a great fucking curve I'll take the fuck out of them. Nasty got the most bullshit gas one I've ever seen in my life. That was crazy. Yeah, but they still killed them, so. That was an inspirational three from Dolan now. Keep in mind, Geo at the same no, time during the listen oh was no. able to earn a cruise missile. So, no. how can Here. you decide to break Dude, on the game? They should have pretty close to the round. Well, well, my pick hit. He's 28 and 11. I know you were yeah. saying it's always narrow and attacks, but what Geo and Purge bring to the team is just consistent plays. Oh, where, like, what are we trying? What is the mission that we are trying to accomplish here? Attached now earns himself another cruise like, missile. Where are we going? All of LA trying to so break on the game. So, 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 so,
throw a 55 on Zane. But a lot of the trophies are the AR players who like having the no flinch thing. So it's kind of the. The trade off is yeah. so bad, man. Why did Perch spawn You don't need that flinch reduction as much as a sub, but for the AR, you kind of. Okay, I feel like Krem's got to play by like 30 kills. The hero line might be. Good. The Geo the Geo Nasty shit's looking good though. Why the fuck did he spawn gas at the end of this one? You can see it was back and forth. LA had to leave for quite some time for He didn't go full back. They didn't go full back. How the fuck was that game that close? Great question. Because they didn't hit the hill in the first rotation. Because Vegas was a plane for the slide. They were running along the front side of shop for that back and forth. Trying to get the team KDs up. I'm bum bum. In terms right, of invasion that, in hey, S &D. Still only a 40 point yeah. game considering that thieves got heavily outslayed does that give you anything to kind of look forward to in terms of if this does go for maybe there's a next is it still I might legit just put more money down on it dude. more considering it's Rio and we often see teams that outslay dominate yeah it makes I would legit put more money down right now game number one like Afro is their main SMG player you only put up 2800 damage going double negative and you only lose by 50 but on a map like Rio we watched them play it and they got steamrolled by Optic Texas so all their stats on everything on that map are basically dead last but nah it's minus 125 right now themselves some Rio Rio S and D Rio HP they had a really close one versus I wonder what Jcap's thinking right now so they're basically undefeated on a map besides we're saying to the boys in between maps here I mean I assume it's one of those situations like there's only so much you can do as a coach if like you're talking you're talking about how we want to play like we, we look at clips and we're just like it's we're not executing the tactics that we're supposed to execute like we just break down once we get them out as a coach there's nothing you can do about that was pretty right to assume that this one will likely go at least four maps if not maybe more than that although i will say i'd be saying hey i mean we just got outslayed by like 40 fucking kills and like we only lost by like 40 so like they may be able to do the these aren't that talented. These kids aren't that, are that good. Like we got this shit. Let's go. Focus up. Teamwork. Teamwork. Invasion search is one of the better S and D's. So teamwork makes the dream work. Never know. But let's think into this invasion search. I want to hear Sam Octane's J cap in between map fucking impersonation. Very opposite success points. Like Vegas number one in overall getting the bomb down. But Thieves, number two in not allowing the bomb to go down. So this very well may be not necessarily just focus off of the opening duels, but more so about who plays the objective better. Yeah, because one team is great on a defensive end, one team is great on the attacking end. But at least if you are a Vegas Legion, one thing that you need to work on, you get that bomb plant down the best on Invasion Search. Two times, guys. Your post plants. Two you get X, that two bomb X. Down, you have to put yourself inside to win the day round. Just take an overall seven in post plant scenarios. That means you're easily going to be taken. Or you're getting My some God. Attack is having forward. himself a stage. He's been having himself a season. Having himself a season so far. They only allow the bomb plant Seriously. He is unbelievable this game. Second best at doing that. And then they're also just one of those defensive squads that don't really give you a lot of All right. Well, what are we going to do? First round invasion. Just think, man. Like, we were trying to get attached to run an AR fucking years ago, man. Yeah. As we will be spawning on those sides. We just said, man, I'm not doing it, man. On the defense. He refused, man. It was crazy. From Kremp, just playing a bit forward over towards this front lobby. Right, Zuma? Nero thought about it, but maybe he was just playing. Oh, they're rapping. He was to bait out some information. We were trying to get, we were trying to get Dylan attached to run an AR for well, years. He's playing off the site because he doesn't want to get naked. No, don't even get me started, bro. No one crosses the back lines of that. I'm trying to get. I tried to get Dylan attached to run an AR for four years. No choices. He didn't want to do it. The bomb is now going to get planned. We missed our nade on the bomb. Okay. Get out. Try to take the pixel peak away from LA Thieves. Oh, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that's our play. Get themselves a post plant setup. Fuck yeah. Nasty's nade over the tank. He was, he was nade. He was kind of fun. Kind of do that from the nade. Yeah. The it's kind of. Picking up the page, Here we go. Followed by Afro. Great red post. Go fast. Uh, find, him. find him. Find him. This is all find him. Trader. Trade him. Trade him. Trade him. Perch we want a lot of damage. We want to be for us. This is unlosable for us. It's so losable. He's taking it out. No, no, this is literally unlosable. Over towards Afro, decent, but not good Great. enough. Yeah, Great retake. Time for Thank God for Nero. Thieves. That's a good, good retake, retake yeah. right there from LA. They saved their tax. Thank God for Nero. Nero off the site. I'm still like really hoping that Nero was forced out by Nate to slide like that. I don't think he'd just be like.
The fact yeah, that he was got metal cups at the facility? That two -piece My dog? Play out of purge. Yeah, we have 100 T-branded. 100 T-branded metal cups? Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Can I get one? Okay, young man. That's how you do it, Marcus. They shouldn't issue people stealing them. Oh, shit. We're going to look on. Those are nice cups. They keep your drink nice and cold. Everyone wanted them. Immediate bounce back. Send that company slag. Listen, hey, we know that the cups are dope. Stop up. taking them, Bonk please. <laughs> Post plant not there. You guys do have a nice coffee machine Once in your again, office. Good on their retakes. So this is going to be maybe where we see the big difference maker. Both these two teams on these sides. Steve's on the offense. Vegas on the defense. I just know the boys start buzzing when fucking the, the mud dowel so walks into the what facility. What does the setup look like? The mud dowel. G in hand. W stun check. Sure. Nothing in broken. Yeah. Feel this stinking nasty. You know you're passing me with Joe to see. Every day walking in Joe to see. Just so fucking happy. All right. Disrespectful junkyard mud. No. <laughs> easier for his team, we're gonna get a little pink to square up. This one down, just trying to get a read of what Vegas are doing. Trophy system denies the stun out of nasty. And keep your eye on what Nero may do here, depending on what information attached to transmit. He's gonna <laughs> clear down number seven. The door at lobby. Oh man, what a great gimmick that is. Here through mid map. SMG in hand, don't want to get too frisky. Oh, he also got crazy. Ghosty watching the outside. Here's a couple of shots that come through, and that's enough for Nero to say my position's now completely exposed. Back up a little bit and try to reestablish this A defense, which is being tested. And there's only 25 seconds left, so oh it's going to be able to find Wait. the first blood. That's Nero sneaks his way in towards the... Holy positive. shit. Now he's potentially going to find a second. No, the trade is going to be there from Prince. So yeah, yeah, that, that was the late time. Time. Was rap, man. All but the thieves are the looking bomb. for the kill onto attack. He's completely repositioned. Oh, it's the There's fucking the Geo fucking attached duo on a 2v2. Like, that's oh, great unlosable. Rotation. I see it. You kind of saw it there for a moment. We got Geo's POV, but attach who was... Taking shots over through that waterside street backs up completely. I fear I've never lost a 2v2 with Geo and myself off a lot. I feel like I feel like I feel like, I feel like isn't that kind of a mistake on the planter there though? Like if you're gonna plant that side, you gotta plant on the left side. Like close to the sandbags. I mean, they could still he could still slide wide shot off the tank and kill you off it, but shot his little nub. I mean, he made it too easy when he's playing. Yeah, I know they're kind of in a panic and it's like 12 seconds left, but he's got slide to the left side. Just give give the other guy a fucking chance to win it. Different look this time on defense. Geo though did see at least Afro cross. Nasty also made his move through dark. Looks like he stayed concealed though. Interesting smoke. Here's to isolate him. this water street with nades beyond it and doesn't fully work out for any information nor damage, but it would put some pressure the on the fuck are we the doing? Right the fucking the elves just talk to Kyle and make him slide into the fucking yeah, yeah. yeah, those are the gunfights that Nero lives for. <laughs> slide right into your chest. <laughs> the devil on his the shoulder just made him slide into that. We're just challenging him now. Oh my god. Instant 4v2. The bomb is not going to start getting go rotated. Bell us out. Bell us out. Give me two. Afro does take down one. They were not oh, in this position, the position but Nero finds it third. Now it's all on the Ghosty. One oh, damn, Ghosty. And easy 1v3. And he's got to worry about everything. You don't know if this is a B commit or if it's a cross back over to A. And it's drunk. And that's right. And, cross, and the bomb's not added. Where the fuck is Soap? He just poked me. I don't even see him in here. It's just probably hiding in the hidden channel. Some unbelievable one v ones, and that yeah, will not happen in any form. Oh, Vegas, yeah. Once again, get the bomb planted. You this would think people would realize yeah, now when they're in the hidden channel that they can't be poked back. Yeah, no, you yeah, can, you can, you can. You can. The I, I, I got the tech. All you have to do is just click his name, like where your poke is. We can't see in the chat. Oh, yeah, you can. Knock him off of that heading in the chat. I did not know that. Click on his tag. Because I can't see who the fuck is in the channel. It works. It works. You can even go and find who's in that channel by just scrolling through the woodchipper's fucking thing. It says, boom, boom, moved into blah, blah. And you can click his name. But then I got to like piece it together like I'm fucking Sherlock Holmes. That's way too much work. I don't really care. A lot of work now, seriously, but... But I, I, I do one, agree with that on the flip side that, like, added to that from me before. It's like, messaging me, asking me to cars to conversation. It's like, what the fuck are you to to me? Or, like, fuck, hide in team speak. Oh, I'm on almost! Gets the first yeah, one right there. But nice only one for one. Well, that, that, changed, that changed isolated. things, yeah. I didn't know about that either. DVD, so numbers I was already texting him. I was like, motherfucker, I can't call you. Now you can. Now you can. Knowing that he was jumping up and checked that spot into his I got to teach you guys the, the, the tech right there. Traded. Yeah, appreciate it, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Now Vegas Legion. Okay, you're just going to play. Perfect hostile. It's going to work up the oh, issue. Oh, 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 o
It's oh, going to be over Gio one on one. Are, this is a clutch. This is all about does he predict this right side corner trying to clear it. Nasty goes a little elevated. Boom. But he still finds oh. that oh. right side. Oh. But not oh, enough and to avoid the Mr. gunfight. One one. I can try. Almost. 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 But Thieves, numbers too strong. Take their offensive okay. win. They were able to trade efficiently. Those cups look like perfect for like a milkshake or something. And also find the free kill onto Purge. So in the 3v2, you're not forcing talking about players. You know, like when you go to a diner and like, yeah, fuck a milkshake. Like, and with the numbers that they had. It was just in trade. Keep the areas. excess in the in the metal cup. Two v one, tucked in that nice little corner towards the mid tank. Then it allows User you to joined your channel. Spot User. User is able hey. to put himself in a position. Hey. This was a so what's going on, man? Oh no. Okay. A little bit of Whoever this. Whoever jumped at this LA thieves team needs to be thrown. So nice. Taking an early angle as everyone I think uh, was looking goes his direction. Krep gets a freebie and now you back up into a very stable 4v3 oh, point yeah. defensive setup. Yeah, this is perfect. No. You know that Nero loves to get aggressive Stop, every bro. single time through Vegas. Yeah. So this time you make sure aggressive go to him. Just don't tweak, bro. Open don't let the elves take over. Vegas just Legion. hold an iron, get some info. <laughs> <to wrap back laughs> and just don't let the elves take over, man. A couple players gaining info up towards the B street. They know we can not commit to that side and open up this deep flank. So we have to go over towards A. Let's see if we can find it mid. Or it's Sam like the duo. Tank, Just don't tweak. Afro. Hold some iron. Like the duo if you ever tired and played with me. Here we go. Tank. Good stuff. You the nub. Team shot with your boy behind you. Perfect. Oh. We're not going to do that. Oh. And we just got two. That one way was insane. That one way was insane. That's not coming out bad. Seriously, we'd be like the best in the biz out here. Ghosty sees attack, but elects to not take the gunfight. Oh, that one way was criminal. I fear I'm not being entertained now. Now we're locked in. This is winnable. This is winnable. This is winnable. Yep. This is winnable. And Ghosty at least evens up the numbers, makes it a 2v2. PG, Samuel Octane, the Nub. And now it's attached to YC, though. He's in a weird spot, though, here. Nah, they play together in a 2v1. His teamwork's a info. Cut him down. Reposition the nasty tracks. I knew it. I knew it was winnable. 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 But it's Ghosty on the other side to retaliate and get Thieves to three. Let's go. Yeah, the good thing is that <coughs> Ghosty, he gained the information on early on to attach. But with Carolina only 25 seconds Miami. left, you know that the play that has to be four, right, Sam? We can't go for the yes, bottom planet. We have to get the guy that's watching over him. Write that down. Write that down. Winning that one on one versus Geo. So that's right. how right. to find trade on I don't know when the first goal happened, but it was a 2v3 when I thought it was a 1v1. I don't know when the first goal on that right side. <laughs> so happened. You isolate him and you clutch up on the round. Another successful retake out of the thieves and the man disadvantage. They get it done. Two to lead a little bit by 3 2. We'll take it. Let's go. Go fuck. Four in a row for Nasty as well on top of that. So potential for streaks here, depending street. on how this offensive round goes for Thieves. Double hit set up for the defense of Legion over towards that mid-lobby position again. He's on the tank. We know he's on the tank. Geo, we're running at him. Oh, this my God. And he doesn't God just get one. a couple of the shots That's deep. He also takes job. down after up close and personal. Attach is also watching for any follow-up here if there is a cross-in okay. towards the site. Oh, like this? Keep your eye number seven. Nero Good has got smoke. freedom to maybe move on the flank. Oh, they're instantly trying to just get this bomb down. Smoke is going to be able to I like that. cut That's off attack. I like that. So I love this. Three on the retake. How did Vegas Legion decide to Now, what are we going to do? She's gonna have Nero going on a deep pinch. Actually, everyone going on a deep pinch. I like this. And LAT, they're Whoa. perfectly set up to read this play. Don't hate this even a little. All Nasty's nice gotta do is stall. Cross. Oh, so, oh no, this, the elves are taking over. Just, so I'm gonna toss. No, Insta. Quickly with this. No, 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 I don't like this. Nobody jumping top. Nobody jumping top. Yes. That's huge. Incredible. And he does get killed by Ryan. No, there's more. Boom! Whoa! Are the elves? Finally, the kill comes through. Two v two. Thieves can reposition though to deal with this hit from the Legion. He's not winning. I got some more. It's over. He's not winning. Just because they can't be isolated. And That's yes, the unwinnable. They can. I like that. Beautiful play for Nasty to keep one stay alive as long as he did. Two, you need yeah, about three tactics to do it. Because once you have a player towards four track, tactics, player towards cages, fucking cages, that's a very difficult setup to that break right into. As Nasty does that not earn the cruise, but he earns the round for this team. You just gotta run away and save, yeah, seriously. Save your MCW from Over next to round. The side, use the smoke, instantly put the bomb down, and then not even have to Put worry a about the eco rounds there. Four Renettis this round. Just fucking run at them. Four Renettis. You yeah, have one flash and four Renettis. <laughs> and I, I love the idea from Legion. Retaking B on Invasion with four Renettis. It's fucking stuck through there. There's a guy now to doing that one. We're dying. It would be funny when people get eco down. It would be funny when people get eco down. here in this search for destroy. Vegas on the off. Offense. Imagine getting to maybe go with a little bit of here God. towards B Street. No one's watching this in the dark cross at the moment. The breakdown. Oh, Nasty doesn't have a trophy. Direction. He'll retaliate with some of his own. You'd actually just need to four run it down and just pray. He has it on the tank. He doesn't have it on himself. They can nade him out. Oh, nor. If he wants to make a play for this.
And they're I mean, double challenged. Vegas are fully stacked just comes down to when they hit the go Surely. call. Nades no. following through. There's Nero. They get the information on Crip, and now it's just a oh decision. Oh my god, my god. No, hey, he's great. Oh, they're stunning. Oh, 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 but Nero unfortunately does get stunned. Purge, stun him. They were able to shoot the trophy system. Oh my god, Byron's going insane. Try to isolate Nero, but now the team, the reinforcements are going to be here. CDL and private match. He's all about Lady. He's trying to assassin the back end. Afro's trying to break the down. Take it though. Take it though. The assassination would have been crazy. You can't stun your teammates. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, but you right can't send your teammates? So no, only street. ranked you can. So at that point, you're thinking if you're Vegas Legion, you really? need this guy out. Yeah, I think so. Nero gets him one shot, but then there's more definitely. of the tactics. What do you mean you think so? No, I'm pretty sure. Nah, you can definitely all, stop. No, I'm pretty sure you can't Just send your teammates in private match. Who's the next map? Who's the next map? Almost by high rise. Almost by high rise. High rise, Rio, high rise. Clean stuff. Honestly, I'm going to give you the Tom Mallon guarantee. Yeah, you definitely cannot stun your teammates in private matches. Tom Mallon guarantee. We're leaving the rock. We're leaving the rock. We're leaving the rock. We don't want to it. I would hope you guarantee it. You've been scrimming it for like five months now. Thank you. Thank you. Find the bomb. Left and spawn a little longer than we would have normally anticipated, but can no Vegas make the comeback? Vegas will set up a very heavily concentrated no. defense no, over in the middle of the map. Here, trying to get aggressive in towards DVD, once again gets punished. Oh, that's the first blood this time for the first. Time on the attacking side for LA. So already in the man advantage. Dan goes to master class game two and three. To pick a puck to set up from Vegas Legion. Attaching you know, the numbers makes it a three v three, and that's going to be the bomb player. So now if you're LA, you can't win this. Let's just stop trying to read idea. this setup. Vegas are moving around. It looks like they know Ghosty may have stretched in towards P three and hit the bus stop. There's the confirmation of the goal. The wall bang comes through. Yo, we just died just able to with slip away. exponential so no speed. I mean, it's the MC the rival is insane. The MCW the literally shoots through everything. <laughs> the rival is insane. It's a great statement. Now they've got numbers. He just literally yeah, two-bullet him through a wall. Tom, this is the rival. Are you brain dead? What? This shit's insane. The rival's busted. Oh, we're getting blown. Oh, yeah. 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 Thought it was a great start oh, to the round for by LAT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, I just need Dylan to get some kills point, and then y'all can win. They love yeah. to play around that A side. Attacks is always playing Water Street. Purge tries to assist it over to the map. Geo's the only one that plays over towards B. Bro, how did Probably Dan not, die do so? not want to commit up to that Water Street side, especially with the smoke the way that it was. It's yeah, the gun, it's Eric. He might have got, gotten team shot. Dylan Dylan was behind him. He might have gotten team shot. This is when the smoke popped or what it was, but... I mean, yeah. it looked like Vegas had yeah. full information on what was coming, plus the first blood through Give it. Give this a 7 out of 10. Please! Let's go. Dylan needs a 3 PC. We need a 3 Vegas. PC from Dylan at that year. Can they stretch them together? A little bit of information through mid-map. Attach was trying to assist just in case anyone from Thieves did pop their head out a little bit longer than you would have expected. Guy, watch Nero it back. Dylan didn't even shoot. We'll clear out lobby. And the only real question mark here is, do they have Who's enough utility to break through this trophy system? Why are we wild tank? And do they get a read on Afro playing really far I forward? I want to be like Wayne. Oh, unfortunately, Nero gets caught again as the first blood goes to LA. Now Why is Nero always challenging shit by himself, bro? That's your most aggressive player. We have to try to work through the rhythm map. They're trying to ISO Kremp, but unfortunately, he's just going to stay Love alive. Love the Afro corn right here. Allow his teammates to look over him. The time is starting to dwindle. Eventually, yeah, the don't play has to come take over. Vegas we just hold some iron. Geo's still getting a lot of information towards B. It might be yeah. the play card. Yup. Great stun. Oh, Marcus? Oh, what is Vegas doing? Right they're just solo telling him. Another one. one. Another one. He knows that. Oh, shit. Don't got great timing. That's unwinnable. Let's go, baby. And now Geo gets isolated. I mean, I don't know what Vegas' crowd was around. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck Vegas is thinking about? That's a great that? SD right there. Thieves, a oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? Like I said, Tom, single sign on invasion. Just single challenging everything. There's no game single, plan. Single yeah. sign on invasion. Ah, good round. Good win. Let's go. Good map. Oh, we head off to a high rise in a Rio, which I think high rise is 50 50. Rio probably, I think, probably favors Vegas, maybe. They look pretty good on in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, the picks did not go through yet again. Uh, I fear my picks hit um, like a charm. Did they, what'd you Gio pick? over nasty. We're still looking good. <laughs> Who'd you pick, Zap? Uh, Dill first map, Afro second map. Oh, okay. I picked Afro first map, and he was triple negative. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and now he decides to drop double digits in the SD. This motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Tom will take a quick regain. Who's your, who's your best high rise player, Sam? Uh. I don't know, to be honest, probably just an AR. Like what, Neither one of them. Last four rounds, 
I fear, Nasty's been getting kind of pooped on, so I probably wouldn't go Nasty. I fear this is a, another Dylan Attached Masterclass map right here. Yeah, I would probably take someone on Vegas here. Their well. lines are so fucking high, dude. Here. Let's anyway, go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, boys. Let's see if we got break, break, I'll be right back. High rise control. See what we got a high rise control coming up. A little mm -hmm. five minute break. I'll be right back. Please, they beat Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, which I do subscribe like. for more on the YouTube. I shall be right back. They gotta be confident on these two. So we'll see. We expecting a Guler high rise here, or somebody gonna win this quickly? Uh, I feel like, I like this it's me, a Gruler. Go Gruler. Like a defense trade type beat, unless someone gets absolutely shit on. But Vegas is horrible at control, and LAT is pretty good at defense. We're great at everything. Yeah, no, we're really good at everything, actually. With the scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. I wouldn't know what to veto versus. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. <laughs> Mm. Wow, like, I love watching LAT, and I'm, I'm really excited for this Toronto um, Optic match. To sandwich fucking Miami, Carolina yeah, in the middle. Just sandwich hell. in the middle. I might turn my stream off for that series and then turn it back on for the Optic one. Shotzi, when he's in his bag, bro, it is so fun to watch. Like, there is a rhythm and a rhyme to his gameplay, and it's a blast. And well, he's going to call it a cruise right away. Flies on down, hits the speed boost. And he may be the most entertaining player in the CDL, and he's dropping some of the biggest numbers. So Ultra players, it looks like they're going to four-man group up together and work. Draws his phone, too, in the middle of the map with the Renette. He's going to find the third as well. Draws a lighten up the kill feed. And Lana Faze sending us to our round 11. Honestly, it's just us in Toronto, but as you see, we just 3 0 them, so I think they're f and we're on top. What a map from the LA Thieves, guys. Seriously. Get a fire back. What's map three? High rise? Ooh. A high rise? Doesn't Vegas like love this map?
Welcome back, all you Crazy Kai fans. We are locked into what looks to be probably a promising series here. 1-1 one, one after the first two maps. Pretty tight hard point. Search and destroy. Maybe a little bit more favoring towards Thieves overall, which leads us to a high-rise control. But before we start to talk into that, hey, if you're enjoying the games, I mean, I know we have a lot of storylines about who the top four are right now. You're to find out if you head on over to Miami. So make sure you skew, scan that QR code. Get your tickets now if you have not done so. I know we've been hitting it a lot, but trust me, friends, if you've not been to a COD event, there may not be a better one ever than to go to miami on spring break with great cod in front of you come on jay i'm, I'm here for that that's the best alan we're talking about a lot of events where we're just going to places that are really really cold but finally we are going to miami <laughs> which is going to be steaming hot like you said during spring break we got cold dude we got everything so make sure you guys try to make your way out if you can all right, here we go. Let's jump on into the high-rise control again. Not the most amount of reps here for either of these two teams, but again, there's a lot of defensive statistics that I think will lead us to really focusing on whoever spawns there, try to fulfill the things that have been successful for them. In particular, I'm looking at Vegas. They've been great at kind of valuing their lives and coming out with a huge life deficit when it comes to their defensive side. Whereas the other side, LA teams defensively... Let's go, really gentlemen. Two times in this motherfucker, man. Taking their attentions down towards bottom blue. So what you're telling me, Alan? It's probably gonna come Two time if you haven't already, guys. So so we got this map. We're thinking Vegas. Legion, I honestly have no offense. idea. I think both teams are pissed uh, at this map. I'm thinking Vegas. Vegas. This is a good ego shot because both of them suck at it. I think the yeah, AR both. presence the on Vegas will be able to edge them out. I hear you on edge. Oh my Heard that. I heard these yeah. are great fucking defense so far. I hear you on edge. I hear you. Trap the boys. They're going to edge them really hard. Yeah. But I fear that they might just... And again, just milk the clock for all it's worth. Already down to 45 seconds on the clock, and there's really no Look at Perching with a strong start. Oh, oh my god, he just got joked. Or did he miss? I don't know. Ping server cheese. That has to be a server cheese, right? Oh, we're nice. We go, Denji. Yeah, get him get one for me. Oh, oh, oh Daniel. Great shots. Daniel fucking ghosty, man. Great shots. Oh my god, we're pretty fast. dead. First kill, round's over. Uh oh, uh oh. This is no bueno for the Vegas lead. Yo, baby, I don't know if you know the objective of control, but it's to carry the point, brothers. And Afro master class, of course. You're pissed. <laughs> Oh, Vegas Legion. What are we doing? Vegas fucking Legion. Yeah. Holy fuck. Start of finish of that round. What a dominant display. What the fuck? They got zero ticks, too. Now you've got two players that are either one or two kills off of a Let's go. All right, now we're going to play for these Drake missiles. We're going to slow play our break off. We're going to sacrifice the, the, the momentum of a break for the streaks to be used at a later time. Break -off. Can you find a way to kind of bait and switch to confirm one Correct. or two of these streaks? I hope we'll I think it's a pretty good play. Is, yeah, I think it's a great play, Tom. Let's see if they do it. Thieves defensively. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're going on, on the attacking round, all you need is Ladies one second. Ladies and gentlemen, second. gentlemen. Woo! Woo! All right, we're on two streaks. One. So, like you said, a couple of players working towards some streaks. They could do no wrong on that the first There we go. Side. There's a streak. There's a streak. Dan players as well. Fuck it. Two is better than one. Good nade. have a lot of map control to work because you're going to slow down the rest of Vegas Legion. We cannot afford to go forward dead again. Yeah. Cramp. Stuck on side. Oh, Dan's one off. Oh, here, Daniel. He's getting made it. Bait for him, Kyle. Oh, you little dirty fuck. They're good. He wants their own kills, man. Oh, he's gonna do the hop. He's gonna hit the hop. He's looking at it. No! No, he's a fuck you! Oh, he fell in the reed. No! No! Oh, he's turning on a hop! No! That is terrible timing. That was insane. That is fucking tough. Oh, we got one. And we're falling off the map. I think he might have gotten needed though. He got the bounce cheese. He got the bounce cheese off the map. He might have hit the cod four bounce off the map. I fear. Wait, what's the bounce cheese? There's a spot right there if you land on it when you jump or something. I think it just sends you yeah, off the map. Yeah, it's three. It's three. It's three. It's a bounce. Three dead. It's a bounce like a top four. Oh, I don't hate this. And we didn't die. Fuck. No. We're on B though. I like the B cap. Oh, the pick up. This is good. This is good. This is good. Nero getting caught YY. This is good. Make them pick. And we're getting blown. Blowing each other. Oh, good. We have his mid. We have his mid. Watch 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 his mid. There we go. There we go. Good I was rogue as fuck by Dylan. Jesus. Geo doesn't have a kill. Oh, this is like. Oh, that he's way. getting joked, yeah, I, I think, guys. Yeah. Oh, no, we were giving up three. We were giving up iron. Underground to pick that up. That's insane. 
Already pausing that time. Here we go. It's fine. Gio's got that dog. Get on the fucking point. Gio's got that dog. Gio might go hold that, but I'm gonna kill. Oh, I did that. No, Gio's got that dog in him. He's gonna bring it back. Bro, I'm actually. I hate when teams play like that, bro. The reason there's a lot of time left. This has been super punishing, and there's still a lot of time available. Not the cat thing. Help on the other side from the duo of Kremp and Afro over towards Blue. There's the crossing angle. Purge trying to fight back, but it's a rival nine against Nasty, which he is, I'm sure, very pleased to have come away with that gunfight win. Nero follows up, reduces that hit from Blue. So now all of a sudden, Vegas start to feel that they can move up the map a bit. Yeah, they got some control. Where's Gut? Where's Dan right now? Dan's making a. Oh, he's that. He's that shoot. All right, we got bottom blue control there. I'll take this. Purge, if you can find this kill, can make your job a lot easier. He fires that one onto Nasty. It's still a trade onto the point, but it's still basically just me two now. Holding strong on their setup. And I would have to think if you're thieves, you can find one or two more kills. Stay alive. All right, listen, we're gonna go left. We're gonna streak. We're gonna pin them in blue. We're gonna mow them down when they come back to the point. Not the end of the world, though, if they try to hold on to it for an insurance card later. But I fear number six is not really good right now. Nasty sneaking his way up towards Bialy, not gonna work. Ghosty, oh my God, Dan's timing is insane. Oh no, he got the. He got one of the. Yes. Caught, still oh, turns that into a kill on the purge. Pistol out and no, doesn't predict the window. Okay. Three. Pops through, but the Yo, are we stopped some time. Twenty-three seconds. Mm. Three. Slide on. They kill. No, no. no. Bottom blue pinch. We're not now reading it. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Max oh, around now. And that's around. I'll take four ticks. Sam, how many kills does LETs want before they just? I don't know, Tom. I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. I'll take four ticks though. They stack the points, get some time. Force them to hit Nate. I don't know, bro. They could have won that. I'll take the four ticks. But now you have the annoying. They're front windows. Do something. They just kept getting kills and he's running at windows, just over and over again. Again, right off the rip. When they do that, very aids. They also have a cruiser missile to work with as well. So if you are yep. Vegas leads and it has to start with the slaying, man, you have to be able to work your way out of the base by finding a couple kills, especially on a map like high rise. Absolutely. And, you know, I think maybe going a bit further than that, if you were to really think what a perfect round of offense would look like here from Vegas, maybe try to force Oh, please LA tell me we just don't use the streak to bail ourselves out of a defense, defense dude. That's out all I ask. But it all starts with this break off. Geo, not the greatest start, but at least started to find a couple of kills late into that last defensive half. Ghosty, long range shots, decent, but it's a late Looks like a is rocking quick grip gloves here. So I had to be a betting man. Attached, so he will extend his life a little while longer. And look at the route I've been from using Vegas. quick grip too. God. A purge has worked his way all the way up to the front defensive windows. Yeah, that's good and all, but your team You kill him, you get on the point. Boom, get on the point. Get on A. Get on A with your team. Oh, you're getting peppered. Over at this A point. Man, they ain't fucking purge it. Oh, there's a solo capping. Let's fucking go, man. Yeah, it's time to yeah, it does get kind of like that. I don't think you like understand the concept that if you stack the point and the point is getting capped at the speed of light, they're going to run at you. Yeah, they yeah, I don't really think there was something. Against, I don't think they could have changed anything there, to be honest. He was going to go stack. He just got shot and then Purge was pushing their spawn already. Purge knew where he was. That's where he's playing a corn because, like, sun checks. Oh, no. Yeah, I know, Sam. I don't like it. We cannot give up these segments and not allow them to. Put us in a nice little trap. This Vegas Legion currently have a lot of map control. They better not get another tick Curtis for the rest of this Even better, but he does fall short to crap. Pause that game clock again over towards this B point. Rest of all of Vegas Legion trying go. to attack up through the B street, but the name, oh. the tax, the gunny, everything. Do not give him the tick. Oh, you dirty little folks. Now your last focus is where is sure. Geo? You take care of him. All sure. of Vegas Legion forces him to five. respawn. Yeah, small okay, silver fun. linings though, right? You get the second ticket progress at B and you pulled out the cruise missile, but the immediate action following has all Oh, Vegas is putting a LAPs. blender again. 19 v 15. Less than 30 on the clock. Everything being watched. Attach would have to smoke Ghosty here. Oh, he and he didn't get a shot. Yeah, so, everybody so died. Three dead. members down. Nasty, the only one left standing, and he's over towards green. It's going to go fast. You're not going to get to it. Zone. In an extra 60 seconds, Sam, I fear they gave you two ticks after the streak. Considering how many players <laughs> are already pushed forward on B. Yeah, they're starting to bring this back. Great chain of three oh. kills. Oh, God, he got that kill. Moment. Now, nasty? Ah. No chase. That's two. Gonna put himself in a position and he know one's blue. Still have a lot of B Street control, so Vegas Legion. That's three. Three. Yeah, the spawn, oh, what now, the fuck? That so. gun's insane. Stack this. Stack the fucking boy! 
Not like this. <laughs> oh my god, they're getting off time. Okay, this is criminal. Oh, this is a kill or play. Tom, that's a right it right down right there. Leave him! No, leave him! Mostly restrained from moving too far. Yes. I fear Tom might have broken. I fear Tom might have. I fear Tom might have broken setup, bro. That's a, bro, why does that's it know actually he's insane? Yeah. Bro, just stay behind the barrels. Work on the point the together. Elves, just stay down on the, the point. They're gonna took run over at you. Bro. Yes. What are they doing? Vegas Legion had an opportunity. The elves took over Purge's body. Three to four kills. You spent them all to respawn. But How many kills do teams want? <laughs> you got three dead. All 30, Tom. They want all 30. <laughs> you probably stand a chance at walking away with that attacking Let's round. Let's go. Round 50, 50. Does it work out? I don't understand. Tom, that's why they have. That's how they have five or five, four or five wins on the season. Bro, I am dropping my teammates if this shit is happening consistently. I'm dropping them. I'm gonna after the match, I'm pulling it up and saying, "You guys fucking suck." What are we doing? Get on a point. Especially when you look over across the KDs and you're still looking at a seven and seven. Hello, hello. Oh, trophy down. Hi, as your mother. At the end of this one. Come on, man. The point and outslay the hell out of them if you are Vegas Legion to secure that defense. Yeah. But it's already LAT onto the point at B. Pause in the game clock. Afro finds some timing, at least onto Geo. He's not going to commit towards the gunfight. He's going to wait for one of his teammates to mm -hmm. pick that one up off spawn. On the That's flip side of things, Afro is jumping on point with fucking 4 before life. One life. And now they have all of that control. LAT Benji is cooking. Yeah, nasty dropping from that top propane position means that thieves, like you said, we're going to have to essentially fight out of spawn. They'll get through their windows, but. They have to recreate some space. Purge tracks down Ghosty, bottom underground, cramp looking mm. for the train, oh. denied. And okay, mm. seven oh, plays, 23. Now. Thieves still oh, kind of got a spawn here. Yeah. Isolated, I mean, Nasty's in a 1v multiple, kind of the same situation for Afro. He very wisely no. waits for help, but it doesn't make a go, difference. Go, go, go. Nero right there, please keep this. At least somewhat oh my god, nice that shot that shot 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 well. no, the nade, nade two. Sure what settings is he on? Is he on linear? Oh, yes. I agree. Attach on linear? What, what is he rocking? I need to know. I fear this defense we're being peed on. He's got that COD champion buff. I need to know. Attach is... Oh, oh. He's an aim assist. He's out of there. I like that. That's we need to fucking back down. We need to take, bro. Just get the take. Just get the take. We got it. Let's go. Defense. Secure. Yes. Whoa! We don't need a defense. We're going to win it here. Yes! Uh-oh. Oh. They very well may. Purge takes Purging. one. There we go. We got it. We got it. Purging. Oh. Spawn. Here comes Vegas. Kill one one. Full force. Oh my god. We didn't get it. Oh my god. We got it. Oh my god. We didn't get it. Oh my god. We got it. Oh my god. We got it. Oh my god. Wow. Fucking shocker. Shocker. You used to put two or three people on a point. They run at you and you get it. Wow. Crazy fucking concept. Tom, did you know that if you put more than one person on the control point, it actually caps the point faster? Yeah. I know. Are you aware that they should be doing the same shit? They should all be on it right now. They should be. The, they should be on number two. I don't know what you're doing, standing around jerking off back there. You should be sprinting and hopping on a point. Nasty's gonna get blessed with a free kill, but first second they're already gonna be complete. No, no. Oh, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What is Kremp doing? He was holding a late pinch and underground. Not late pinch. They're all dead, Sam. They're coming off spawn late pinch. They were, they were all heli. What do you mean they could have been riding underground? They could have been blue. Good reduction. Yeah, he, was no. he was holding mid and top yeah, per, per, Oh, we got out range. Sam, get him a fucking point with a trophy and watch the ladder. <laughs> oh my god. Simply get out of your base. All of you do not have control. Tom is absolutely broken during this map. The Zuma school of COD is, is I, I, big I think Tom is hit. Oh, like, I'm tired of watching these shit teams make shit fucking plays, and then when they play the top teams, they get dumped on. Because the top teams get one of them. Oh, he has the bug. They're all on a fucking point. We're tax dancing. What are we tax dancing for? He has the bug. He can't. So what do you mean there's a bug? That's a bug? Yeah, permanent tax. You have to hit up on the D pad. They don't know how to cancel it. Like, I'll just take the pistol, brothers. Don't worry what about it. What the fuck? Well, that's yeah, how you get That's not the bug. Like, let's just say shit feature at the game, game but... Oh, wow. oh my god, Vegas Legion won that round. Oh my god. And and turn turn tax tax yeah, Vegas have to win it O now, like... Which they will not, because they suck at. Let's go. I want to see your round five offense, Chief. User in your channel was kicked from the server. I soap. Hello, please. Just one misplay.
like you said, Purge ending that round on a little bit of a streak to potentially earn himself a cruise missile. But I think if you're Vegas Legion, try to catch him off guard with something, you know? Like, we've seen a couple yeah. teams go strictly over towards A, spam those trophies, just because a lot of players, a lot of teams put a lot of pressure over towards that B street. Maybe a, a, a different kind of play call right here off the round five might get it done for you. May also depend on how much they want to try that to set up Purge for fucking more. 60 kills and two respawns. Kind of yeah, nah, Dylan's been insane. Afro stun check, not gonna hit anything as the bottom blue play through has already come out. You know he's there, you know he's there. Yeah. For this. Doesn't matter. Cramp able to scout him out. Follow up here. Vegas looking Nero blacked out. And oh, Cramp's gonna take that one as well. Nero must have been low. Oh my god, they're and all blacking out. Alive. How has he managed to keep his life for this long? Finally attached, reduces the kill, but problem is that first take of progress has not been completed and thieves are Blend all them. over this defensively. Blend them. Okay, now Blend you're them. One again if you are Vegas Legion. You have top heli control. You currently have all of B Street if you are LA. It's going to be very difficult yes. to try to wake their way out. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's 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 bro, this MC, the MCW is OP as fuck. Yeah. Look at yes. this. Yes. Long range, long range, long range, medium range, fucking two bullet, two Absolutely bullet. Look at his fucking gun. Any hope that Vegas has. Yes. Look. Stuns, nades, all fine, but you right, Dan has a streak. And you're down seven just lives, shotgun and at all ranges. Dan has a streak. Yeah, just fuck, yeah. just kill him, man. Just kill him. User left your channel. Everyone's gonna be good for two. Ghosty off of his cruise missile says, "Why not get the information." See where Vegas is trying to hit. Why do streak? I think we might have blacked out. I don't know. I think we blacked out. I think we could have saved that if matter. actually got on the point. I'm hoping it doesn't matter that we blacked out right there. This would still be heroic as ever. Oh my god, I really hope it doesn't matter. Nass is on a pinch, so he's got at least one. This is when teams start playing control the right way. You got him off, you got him off, you got him off. You got no choice. Your Geo is just a walking. Let's go! Let's go, it didn't matter. Nearly <laughs> away there. Let's go. Oh. Wow. I mean, that's two We're up two one, one, Sam. Come on, baby. Defenses from LA. Now we just got to win our point. You you the end as well with that's great work. <laughs> so huge. I mean, that's great work. Control. It has not necessarily been pretty for the side of LA, but uh, that You're was a way to kind of But now thieves are in a position <laughs> where they no, got to no, they got to win a hard point. No, no. They got to win a hard point. No, no. Vegas Legion, they struggled on their attacking rounds or simply keep We win this for free. Got to win a hard point. We win this. We win this real hard point. Headlock of a setup. You're holding top propane. You're holding B Street. You're holding top heli. There's no way in hell. Oh my Vegas God! Six that sixty-five hundred. That's what it simply came down uh, to. Cramp, is the only one Cramp versus fucking nasty. That's looking. He always figures out a way to do looking, that. Right. Cramp over here is looking good right now. Let's go. Why are we saying we're not winning the hard point? Yes, we are. L.A. Thieves three-one victory over the Las Vegas shit cans. Let's go. And that's massive because you guys got to win a Rio so they're all there for a second brother listen I've you know, never seen a better Sunday to win our fourth hard point of the year here's the thing you know when we were looking at this setup we figured that both teams were going to have a lot of success defensively that's been kind of categorically where they've really shined but this was different from thieves because it wasn't just making sure Vegas weren't having chances at getting any tick progression they were also completely dominating them right off the get-go the breakoffs looked so clean and the crazy thing for LA, this is a map that they were really, really familiar with. They played this in the beginning of the year twice, and then they took two. Yo, it's Rio, it right? Again. They did lose yeah, a round five to Miami, but yeah, you getting all that practice in on the back all end, right. you're gonna know the little things that we need to fix to get better at control. Is this now, the slang this year's gonna be all over the place right now, bro? Allow your ARs to get set up the way that they were consistently putting them in trap. Geo, Rem Scott, sixty-three. Yeah. We're gonna start putting this one definitely into our series, but now you're going. Nero's got fifty, so we're looking good there. Sure. Dio's got 53. One of projections is, so is no longer available. What? I did it. All right, we're looking good. Well, predictions. Man, this real hard point's about to hit like crystal methamphetamine, baby. Let's go. LA Thieves 3 1 victory. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Dylan's got 72 kills in three maps. He might actually drop 100. He's kill horn. Let's go, man. I mean, he's got 13k damage, though.
an ice Correct. Truck no one's helping him, but it's fine. Some good time as well. Yeah. So that's kind of the big key here overall. Uh, and then just to kind of add insult to injury. I fear here, none of his subs are shooting back the last match. In the top two when it comes to breaking. So they're really getting it done in this map. And a lot of it, I think, has been because you've seen Geo added into the mix. The versatility has been super noted upon. And he's really performed guys, well. Guys, do you guys think that, the, that smoking papaya before matches is a good thing? Like for certain people, if it works for them, I think it's a good thing. Holding yeah. for good time. They get it it so you think if it works for them, they just keep I mean, if anything works for you, bro. Who cares? And now you need this Rio I think that's Even cheese, bro. I think five. that's cheese. I think, uh, I, think like that I mean, I don't know if I disagree with that. Science, I think Papanya, when you look at the science of what Papanya does to you, it slows down your reaction time. You forget things. You fucking. There's too many side effects of Papanya to go into a professional match and be ripping Papanya. That's crazy, bro. That is fucking crazy, bro. That's insane. I think it goes both ways. If you're like a highly anxious person, you can't perform if you're not like. I think it like maybe like. For some people, it might bring you down to like base level, you know? Then take antidepressants wow. and get, like, therapy, is all I'm saying, though. I don't yeah. agree with Tom. If it brings you back to neutral when you're tweaking, I don't hate it, but if it works, bro, Listen, self-medicating self is, like, the professionals are there to help you with that shit, is all I'm saying. If that's where you're, you're right, going to. Listen, the fourth hard point of the year is about to be won. Look, we're first in the whole percentage. We win. What about the other two stats? But they've literally Who only fucking had one cares about? Yeah, I mean, if you're yeah, 11th in rotation, if you're 11th in rotation, you're, rotation, you can't really hold fucking we're house. We're, 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 we're last in breaking because we're always holding. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, you gotta rotate the whole baby. <laughs> no, you don't. You have to get a good small. Bro, bro, athletes do it for fucking pain management. It's a totally different thing, Trey. Come on, bro. Microsoft resumed. Fourth hard point of the year, right here. This is us. He's gonna get to the hard point first. Vegas just trying to hit both Esky sides kind of simultaneously gotcha. here. And another test to see if Burns with this SMG roll swap can really help light up this Vegas squad. And so far, so good. Every single kill goes their way. Yeah, Clean break the for outside. the Vegas Legion. That is a four man down situation off the break off. Perfect start. If you are Vegas Legion, now let's see if LAT can change that break. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah,
the awareness is there. I like it. No, I, think, I think Daniel G really. He had three push on two. Daniel, Daniel G is a great cop player, bro. You got, you got to have that. Big kill from Nasty. If he wins this one on one, I like these breaks this. Oh, he loses it. That was a big win by Nero. We're triple hitting Garage. Holy fuck. Oh wow, it didn't work. Like, do people not want to give themselves options when they break a hill? Like, do you not want to like drag some aim to like like throw an angle or two, maybe like eight play? Just, 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 just all hit the same shit and just hope it works. Holding on by a I did a BO4. Yeah, Nancy true. The regen, just too many things to worry about. We should just go play the 4 again. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, Sam had it easy, bro. He had fucking Ian dragging on the way for him. This like, rocks would be gross in Black Ops 4 with the way they're playing. Imagine three garage <laughs> slides to <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> that might be going last map, bro. Still clearing out more. Ghosties tagged up. They're on the hunt for him. Yeah, if your Marcus is, is not having a good map right now. Absolutely stuck behind the dumpster. So Cause I didn't pick him. Vegas, they have but if I pick him, he'll uh, fucking. Yeah, up by 36 points. Oh shit! Yeah. It's a good break here. Vegas is pinching. Where does thieves spawn? Oh, no more ammo. We're spawning everywhere. We're all, everything's all getting blocked at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Fury Dome's in a tough spot here. Nasty big win, and you pinch that shit, Byron. Yes. Yes. Live, 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 live. Yes. He doesn't quite convert him as of yet, but again, he's just making sure Vegas do not feel comfortable coming <laughs> off of spawn. I so feel did. They were kind of tweaked there. Kind of put him in a tough, right tough spot. To to fight not good all the time. With these routes off spawn, Vegas thought that they're going to concede it to play for some P1 control. Yeah, they're just going to try to contest, so at least take top mid control. You still have a couple players contesting towards the old. Oh, Denver great plays. One is not able to win it. Gozi gets a little bit of assistance there in that gunfight, but. Very oh my god, Dan slamming. Like it was Dan is slamming. He shredded him again in two bullets. And it's going to be LAT early on. Off the rotation. Properly set up for P1 as they're going to take the lead. Great stretch here from the Thieves. Lots of control surrounding this hard point. Cramp just making sure no one comes out from behind now with the spawn for Yeah, I think Sky's going to have to mega toss to lose. I believe he's got right now. Microphone activated. Top side vending. Nasty cut in the corner. Purge just dives on into the hard point. Doesn't have a lot of support, but at least Geo's there to keep this. Only the two Thieves members remaining. 30 seconds of the clock here, and Vegas need to make a decision. Do you want to play for the rotation or play for the old time? And Geo makes that decision a bit easier as he found his, finalizes the first. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a big two piece out of Geo because he's the fucking only guy insane. Still alive over towards Soda. The fact Certain that agenda is being pushed. The break for Vegas Legion and. Now you're gonna be able to take the lead right on back if you can walk away with this remaining. Am I crazy or I think Geo is terrible at playing his fucking life? Free. They are contesting yeah. that one all the way down to the very end. Bro, what? He just fucking got three hit old while well, his teammates were getting World Star and got traded. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's more of an in general comment. No, I think Geo is fucking gross. All right. Well, we talked about it. They've had one. This is GG right here. This is where thieves. Don't say that, Tom. Don't jinx me like that. This is where thieves listen. Listen. I can't do it. I'll go pinch. 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 I'll so I'm Actually, I'm, 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 I'm playing safe. I'm playing safe. I'm sprinting up, sprinting up the right, bro. I'm, 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 I'm holding back with you. Yeah, Sydney. I'm in the window, okay? I'll get up. I'll hold the back. I'll hold the back. I'll hold the back with you, Kyle. Okay, I'll hold the back. They got crushed. They got crushed. I'm watching. They got wobbing. They got wobbing. He's crushed. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. I'm just running. I'm running. I have the back. 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 I need to car, I need to car. It's the right hitty, the right hitty. I'm absolutely ironing it, I'm ironing it. I'm a shot at well, turns. it is just sequential hill after sequential hill from the thieves from five to one into the opening time and maybe more so between two and three, but a critical break from Vegas. Five in a row from attached. Maybe a lifeline here for Legion to get back into this game. Maybe it is, but you have to get past the SMGs on LAT because I'm pretty sure everyone has whipped one out at a point in this game. 
As they're just trying to be aggressive as hell on Rio HP. Oh, this box's pinch might be really good. They're gonna walk away He's with not bumping the time either. Oh, Dill big brain. Dill just big brained it. Set up from Vegas Legion. You see they oh, they're watching it though. To be done, so their yeah. position was not gonna be known. So they can now flood everyone through the box corner. Trade over the top. Do you like the Still double boxes there? He was here last time and uh, absolutely they're going to end up spawning front. So it would have been 2-2. I don't hit it. And Vegas is not waiting for each other. Let's fucking go, baby. Yes. Love that. The other side is also getting it done. Five in a row for Ghosty. Four in a row for Kremp. And all of a sudden, it looks like green pastures here for Thieves. They can hold on to the remaining time. Yeah, this is going to be a very difficult break to even get on in if you are Vegas Legion. Because you have to use your attacks to blow up those trophy systems. Love that. Three men in our fourth hard point of the season. And that's instantly two dead. And LAT with only 20 seconds Holy remaining fuck. on this hill. Just continue to stay aggressive up through the ramp. Not even allow a Vegas Legion to get close. They can win it here. Absolutely can. Numbers for Vegas from the front, though, starting to be amassed. Nasty Fine. Last Give him that last scrap. I don't want that shit. Hold on to the hard point, but Kremp, fully healthy. Maybe thinking about some last heroics this there. This is over. We'll see another hard yes, point. It is. It is too big of a lead. The first it is two correct. It's too big of a lead for Rio. No way. Takes care correct. Of He's going to have to find more than that, though, as Afro's able to convert onto one. So more great shots to Geo. Doesn't necessarily need him, but it's from behind. Attach finding Good a double. Shriek. And that's going to immediately call Kremp to pull out a cruise. This is a weird time to call streaking, though. No one from Thieves who can follow up off of this immediately. Just comes down to how many kills they I can love get, the way he played that spawn. Yeah, hard point. Me too. Oh my god, what an inspirational pinch by Afro. I can't believe he just played it like that. That's why they call him the route, man. Unreal stuff, man. Let's go. Really oh. fiery, uh, oh god, <laughs> there's that passion, there's that energy. Ghosty and Kram again. Yes. Teammates back Ladies and, and gentlemen, today the Vegas Legion shall fall. Just to see suck on my original prediction, bro. Los Angeles Thieves have conquered the Vegas Legion. Vegas looks so bad today, bro. didn't take a champ string. The full hard point victory upon my season. New Jersey has been vanquished. Afro and his school friends are victorious. We have slain the beast. School, <laughs> school friends is fucking crazy. School friends is fucking crazy. Let's go, dude. That actually had a good series. That was a good fucking win. That was a good series. Every time I watch them play, man, I was the rest of the top teams. It's gonna be tough because you're still a very young roster. I need some food, man. I fear my prediction was wrong, but hey, it's fine. I'll trade that. They're keeping it really, really close. This time, it doesn't have to go to five as LAT are the Let's victorious go. squad at the end of this one. Okay, we we, we quit the game, so we get no stats. What total eliminations attached? Ah, uh, I mean, uh, Vegas, bro. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bump the tweet now. I, I gotta find the tweet again. Uh, I gotta find it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Three and two? Maybe the one or two more of your remaining matches. You can be put in the right. seat as well going into Miami. Saffron Rice. Oh, Raised shit. lamb. Oh, shit. Fire. Roasted corn. Tomato and cucumber. Pita crisp. Finally, they get their first control victory. Okay. Also, three victories overall as a squad. Some pita bread. Good. Potentially going into Miami. Yeah, and I think just kind of reflecting back on Some it, hummus. just to kind of throw the analyst hat on for a moment. I mean, even the invasion hard point, very winnable for LA. I think and there's a lot you can look yeah. at and say, hey, you know, we're still doing a great job on P4, where not a lot of other teams in the CDL are. Yeah. Just comes down to can we make sure we're doing things like rotating well to P2, P3, and then also if we're going to commit so much to four. Let's make sure we have a look at P5 at some point in time. Those might be like the only kind of curiosity points, but like I think you're right, right, Jay. I think it's just one of those things you look back upon this series and you feel really Don't drop 98 kills and got 3 1. That's tough. Good, man. You're winning hard points, you're winning controls now. Everything is starting to click right, for LAT at insane. the right time going into the event. Yeah, absolutely the case. So there's our final thoughts. We'll send things over to the desk to break things down in their set. Awesome first cast from Shift and Study to start the day. Thank you, gentlemen. Now it's time to put on our analyst hats. We have Alley Cat and Young Nameless. And uh, let's start with you, Cat, because you were the only one who picked LA Thieves today. The fans were wrong. Nameless was wrong. I was wrong. You look real smart. Thank you. And, you know, my job rides on those predictions. So, yeah. you know, for me to get this one right was incredible. I think the most impressive.
impressive map for me out of the series had to be that control. I genuinely thought it was going to be LADs having to win that opening hard point. Microphone but they pulled muted. out a surprise card. They right. beat that map number three in control. And the most important round was the Alina last have her mic on? Secure defense. It's the final round. And it's a push to A. Like, he does, but there's a rogue the mic that's on somewhere in that studio. That's pick up like... Vegas okay. is getting all the kills. And it's Kremp and Dan that are just frying them pushed up in spawn. Four I just spree, great stuff out of LA. Yeah. Those two just locked it in and control. Nameless, uh, we saw this game four was going to be real. We said, oh, we're going to a game five in the I green room. I thought so, yeah. That did not happen. Where did Vegas fold here? Yeah, uh, a couple instances, Chris. So uh, there's a rotation. One, P2, we saw LA. Maps out from next series is tough. Held it from the front. Uh, your situation also, we not knowing if these bets hit is the also tough. So what do we um, do? Get over P3, all right, so Gio got, got 73. Okay, we did that. We're down 40 and points. Nasty got 66, so we hit the first look at that. And so. then Krem got more than Nero, so we hit that. So two players get on through. the mine line bet did not hit. The Krem over Nero did hit. These like little things. So we're up two really, bucks. Really well last week. They're throwing we're, uh, away there. we're up two fifty right now. That's not too bad. The potential of losing to a bottom four team. I do have to say, Attach was playing lights out once again today. You look at his numbers. Vegas definitely making one of the best offseason moves and bringing in a veteran to lead this team. Vegas though, with three wins, is still looking to finish. The next level is win matches. over Eric. And the Thieves, they've got three to go. Let's take a look though at today's scuff play of the game. And Ali, you asked our production team for it. Here it is one more time. Young Dan, the fiery fellow, getting the job done with Krem. Yeah, so this is the final round with Krem and Dan. I mean, like I said, they got that final defense, and they've just been putting Vegas in this. Rio map one, one. let's go, let's go. Ghosty goes on a Microphone. Yeah, Tom, maps are up for next series. Rio on map one, apparently. I mean, it was just the slang. Was Rio map one, I bet. That's where on the block. That's what they needed to start winning some of these series. And also, you know, the patience as well, right? Like, you have to execute this spawn trap. And they did a really Microphone good job. Muted. Like, off the break, they played really patient. They killed Geo on the street. And then you see Afro sort of sneak up to the right side windows. He doesn't jump in to play for a ton of kills. He just stays alive and wastes time. So then you see Vegas like, where's Afro? Where's Afro at? All right, Chad, the maps are... Trap, and that's exactly what happened. The man that you just Still saw not in our side. scuff play of the game now joins us for our monster winner spotlight. All the brands are getting a piece of crimp today. Welcome to the show, young man. And congrats on... A much needed victory you guys are on, the on the door not only of the winner's bracket but potentially a top six seed going into miami how you feel <laughs> pretty fantastic uh, i mean it's just a process uh we're just building out our system and figure out how each other want to play and we're just getting better every day and we're a great team uh we're just practice is going great it's just we're, we're doing we're good seeing it yeah, of course. Crep. It's hard because, you know, usually when there's roster changes, it's one player. For you guys, it was half the roster. So, obviously, it took some time for you guys to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Where, When did it start to click for you guys I don't recently, know where Lucia's getting the map right from because it's on the website, but it might... Sometimes it's a bug where it's on the website uh, doesn't pop up. our first win, honestly. Uh, it gave us, like, the right confidence, if that makes sense. Yeah. But after that, I mean, we just don't take our losses too hardly, and we're just, like, constantly getting better every day, making sure practice is as good as it can be. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Krimp, congrats on the win. We haven't talked to you too much, uh, but when you guys did win your last match, we talked to Ghosty, and uh, he said when he brought you guys in, he was honestly looking to you guys for insight from challengers. How has that been sort of like focusing on the strategy within the team, trying to fix issues, and also be like that turnt SMG player on the roster? How do you balance that? Honestly, it's actually been pretty easy, considering me and Dan have a history of playing together, and then Marcus and uh, Nasty have a good history as well mm -hmm. so honestly it was, just, it was it was pretty easy honestly it just comes down like everyone's playing their favorite way of playing the game and we're making it work so it's pretty it's pretty good i don't know i'm looking through here i see you guys are playing lag next friday you're going to be playing toronto ultra next week as well what are your thoughts on the remaining online qualifier matches before playing on land uh, I'm feeling very confident yep, for sure. Rio invasion. Uh, confident. All right, uh, so they stick to the game okay. plan, stick to game better in scrims, and we'll see what What's happens. That? You know. All right. I also want to ask, oh. Krim, how do you feel like you developed as a player from last year to this year? Obviously, you know, you get that one opportunity, then you're back in challenges, and now you're back in the league and you look better than ever. Uh, how, how much? How do you think you developed? Uh, well, last year I feel like I wasn't much of a system player, but going to this year, I feel like I'm better at learning a system. Shout out to Phase Black and the boys; they taught me a lot. And then yeah, I just know how to play the game the right way. And last year, like, we just didn't miss well. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I've noticed myself understand the game twice as much instead of just getting kills. Love it. Love it, man. Can't wait to talk to you again in another Monster Winner Spotlight. We'll catch you down in Miami in two weeks. All right, you too. Thank you very much. That's Kremp, and that's Ellie Thieves with the first win of the day. Allie called it right. Can she stay perfect? Well, you got to stay tuned to find out. And of course, you can find out when your team plays, Allie.
All right, chat. That was series one. Series two could be a good one. It, 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 listen, listen, listen. Series two could could have a little pop to it, bro. A little, a little pop. I don't know. We had we had Vickle in earlier. In coffee and cod coming in Real Madrid winning, Miami Heretics winning. So you know. Sam, what are your thoughts on with uh, thieves winning? They've officially uh, locked in winners bracket. Uh, I fear the worst for whoever we match up with round one. <laughs> on you to tweet. Fair enough. If Carolina wins this series, by the way, seven of the eight uh, winners bracket teams will be locked before next week. I think you. Oh wait, really? Yeah. Jesus. Let's go. Because it eliminates LAG and eliminates <coughs> Miami. So it'd be Boston, Seattle, and, and Minnesota for the last spot. Weapon blueprints and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in game now. So upgrade your game. Vegas was in regardless of the series. Controller of the Call of Duty League. Microphone muted. All right, chat. I'm gonna go run in the bathroom real quick, chat, but Vegas, man. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Not uh, hey, low key three wins in this schedule. Yes. I'll take that pretty shit. Pretty good against through this schedule. We were dooming before this shit. Let's go, man. And you got LAG coming up next. So. I'll take three. I'll take four wins. And then you got Toronto. Actually, no, we're fucked because LAG curse. But hey, three wins is okay. Wait, does any time you get the LAG curse done, it might be now though true might be now i'm gonna run the bathroom though sam we right back let's go man wait can I, uh, you have maps for this Ben? microphone activated. yeah see maps are rio invasion high-rise set base terminal Ooh. a little spice a little spicy set i like that okay a little spicy set but i'll be right back sam let me dab microphone one of these no i was too late wait there's no way i'm too late I'm too late. <laughs> God damn it, man. That's so cringe. Oh, from all of these teams oh this is hard man it's the all-stars oh i gotta think about this it's gonna be octane it's you think gonna, it's gonna be octane yeah he, uh, he, he was a beast so he was number two well, overall S D katie yeah, yes he has but guess what octane's had one good event since like 2016. i'm going with nameless just because he can probably hear me right now <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna choke big time <laughs> a little bit but composure still there for gorillas as rotations continue to be the talking point a little bit of a scary spot oh. as draza turns on to app off the ground, I don't know how that gunfight was even possible. Burger. Yeah, one cross, one cross, one cross, two cross, two cross, two cross, two cross. one more. Yeah, Sam. Right, I'm hoping you have me now, I'm hoping you have me, I'm hoping you have me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where he went. I don't know if he killed you or not. It was deep perception, deep perception. Hey Tom. Look who's last alive. It's Huskers in a final 1v1. They eliminated each other. Who wins the gunfight? Huskers pushing the fight. Zoning off with the grenades, finding it. Swings around the corner. No place but chows it anyway. Nate Dog gets the better of Huskers for the win. Nate Dog with 11. Sam, did you call me? Listen. Uh, yeah, Tom, you mind if I read you a super chat? Yeah, sure. He's uh, Derek Hopkins gave me $5. He said, uh, Did he ask to build his deck? He wanted help building his deck, Tom. Yeah, I told him to go fuck himself. 
Derek, I heard, I reported to Zuma. He said, and I quote, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Microphone <Yeah>. activated. <laughs> Thank you for yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Derek. I'm just kidding. How the fuck are we supposed to help him build a deck? I don't know. I feel like that's a him question. Hey, Benj, they're calling for a Benj blinker before the flank today. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Actually, I will if... When my turn my stream on, I get 50 gifted. A 50 train? I'll take a blinker before the show. So you're not ripping it unless you get a 50 gifted? Yeah, we gotta get on a 50 bomb before the show. <laughs> and then I'll rip it. I don't know if I want you to rip it before the show. You're That's why, it's why I don't want to do it, but if I get a 50, I absolutely will. I, like, we get 50 for that train, I'll do it. <laughs> but if somebody gives you a 50, the show's gonna be ruined. You're gonna be fading. Nah, I'll be good. I'll, I'll manage it. You think so? I won't be, I won't be on point. You did it for 20 gifted yesterday, people are saying. Yeah, I'm up in the price. You're up in the price? Wait, you ripped the mulch yesterday? Yeah. No wonder. Bro, I was good on the show yesterday. What are you talking about? Bro, you were actually better on the nah. show yesterday off the mulch. No, no, no. I got, I, 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 was, I was good on the show yesterday. Hey, I mean, Pat, Pat, Pat did some bullshit about Vegas. And I had to fucking stop <laughs> no, that. No, you were good on the show yesterday, bro. Maybe the, maybe the no. papaya does. No, the does papaya zooms me out. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. But 50, I'll do it, though, today. Sunday premium. Uh, I think the why do you keep saying no? All I'm saying is the papaya makes you better. Hey, it does not, bro. It's not no. a performance enhancer on the show. I'll tell you that. The papaya make it. That, hey, bro. Everybody's trying to come in here, super chat, and telling me that papaya enhances you. <laughs> no, the, the fuck, fuck it does not. That athletes do it. The fucking athletes yeah, to, do to, it. To Tom, manage, Tom, get with the program. To, to manage the pain, if you're a scientific nah, fact. Nah, if you're if you're a football science. player, if you're a football player and you're super sore on Tuesdays, yeah, I understand why you're taking the fucking mulch, but. I do it on the show and I can't fucking finish the sentence. Like it's very hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I got that. I got that resin shit, bro. It's not. I don't smoke that weak shit, you know. Yo, Ben, you want to hear my picks first, Matt? Yeah. Uh, Eric Boom less Gwyn more. I like that because I have a Gwyn over Eric head to head. Second to third legs. We need to fucking hit this. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I got Carolina minus one, bro, one and a need, half on the line. Bro, I need a win here so bad. I need a win here bad, bro. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Since I started right? throwing in little siders on these shits, I've been hot. Yeah, you have been hot, I've been bro. cooking. But everybody I pick gets shit on. I've been low-key like, cooking on my show. Like, bro, if Gwyn gets you shit on that. in a Rio hard point against the Miami Heretics first map, I'm not putting it. I'm done. I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm three for four so far. Oh, that's pretty good, bro. I, I, bro. I'll be honest. Every time I say I'm done, I'm not actually done. But I just, yeah, now nah, these motherfuckers be costing me. That's good work. Three for four is good work, Sam. That's good you work. gotta start using. You gotta start using reverse psychology, Tom. That's yeah. what it is. You gotta, yeah, you gotta yeah. trick the universe into juju. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I just need to not think about it and just pick people and just just pick it and just just click and go. You know what I'm just click and yeah, go. I like that. About Miami, like trying to play to their strengths and at the same front. Tom, uh, this is what I heard. Every time you two times, that is two more balls I put you put in your mouth before bed. Jags, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God, I suddenly two times. Oh my God, I just two times a million times. Damn, I guess Sam likes balls in his mouth. Y'all like it? Hello? You hear me? <laughs> let's go. Lock in. Oh, All right. Let's yeah. fucking lock in. Sorry for cussing. Sorry for cussing. But hey, here's the thing. This series is absolutely you know, horrific. Can't wait to watch it. Yo, it's so yeah. funny watching the clips of him like slipping in and out of character. Like sometimes he's in character and sometimes he's not. It's just like, he, he, he. Not his streams. With I, I, the clips like from his uh, shit with Jinxie is all over my TikToks. They are comedy. Yeah, no, no, that shit actually is not funny, bro. Tuesday. 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 At a map like Rio because they got those aggressive players like Meadows, like Eric Boom, and even Biko at certain times can run that. But we're yeah. gonna be we're gonna be able to see if they've been I'm gonna be really sad if my picks that I would have put in or would have hit. Brady starting off is my potential rookie of the year. Ben Jay, Quinn, you know. Regardless of the roster, regardless of who he's playing, he's always putting up numbers. Can he continue to do so today? That's the question. Good right, start here though for Miami overall. Decent eliminations, only allowing 10 seconds of opening time, plus a full setup here. Trying to finish off this, this is a good arrow time here early. And Color I will matchup say, not on just the fucking mini map. Really trying to establish himself as a potential rookie of the year candidate, but we need to see some life out of Eric Boom, man. Because oh, yeah. when you had the conversation between Journey, Eric 
Spoon with the potential of a Real. I'll be honest with you, dude. It's one of those things. It's like Ooh. pick one of the three. I don't see the results changing that much. So like something needs to be proven here if you're Eric Boom. Yeah, you need to prove it why you deserve to be here. And already you finding Gage. a lot of time off of this P1, setting your teammates up for the next. It's a good go start well. for Miami. Already off the rotation, blocking that spot for Carolina, and now forcing the push down. right up the middle. It's a great start to the game. Can you cover any more a ground? Team kill. A team kill comes in from Clayster, oh, takes down what TJ, the but fuck? it's Eric Boom realistically walking away with a double, make it a triple. Okay, he must have heard you, Alan. He's starting to turn up. Looking good, looking good. Rotation. Green star from Miami. Guess who I picked less in the map? In this map. Guess who I picked less? Eric Boom is all the way around it. Yeah. Clean shots from Eric. Is there a way for us to use Ninja for the watch parties and have all of our cams on everybody's for now? Yeah, we could. Just need to find Lucky and as he should like some lingering. Did you say that? I'm saying if there's a way for us to have everybody's cam on the screen for the watch parties, like through Ninja or something. Yeah, we could do that. We do that live, like if you guys want to start doing that, we can. Yeah, guys, someone just super chatted me and asked. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I never thought about doing it, but it was absolutely worth it. That's not a bad idea. TJ Halley. Fucking overlay made or some shit. Yeah, ben, I like that. Why is the flank turn of the Pat agenda show? I believe that is not the case. That's what Optic does, right? Uh, yeah, we're talking about TST. Yeah. TST does, yeah. I, I, I assume it's what TST does. does. Them, not just on this map, but in pretty much every Shay, map. On. So already kind of making strides towards trying to correct those mistakes. Carolina setting up a lot of this hit attempt from the bottom side of the So has not been kind of my here since I played this match. Just making sure no one comes That's off a spot. Way I, I fear it's so still so 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 a fellow hit him with the drive perfect. by. That's phenomenal. Fear we also are not counting players here. Yeah, so. that's beautiful for Carolina. Clay works his way around the deep end. You have both the S and Gs. What the hell is blew up as right there? The kills, but do they find the last player? Wait, what's on the wall there that is Letty blew up? Uh, fire team, I don't know, break. but I fear Carolina is so not counting players. Twenty seconds. Carolina are gonna get those close back spawns as well towards the back end, so they're gonna oh, be able that hit fire was insane. Right back on in for the final. The MCW is just Miami so not balanced. The game, rotating early this time. Uh, these guns don't make any sense, bro. Uh, if both guns point, just get kills, get right that make no sense. Possibly a tie game if they can rotate over successfully. Felony though, caught over towards Box's side. So once again, Miami put themselves in the right position, but can they just find more off of their holds? They're really to nitpick. That seems what's been going wrong to this point. Good start Miami's here though, first 15 seconds these should be pretty much locked and confirmed. Clayster working off the back, double hit through boxes. Not fighting maybe as much success as Carolina would like. And as Clayster gets sniffed out of the backside, that's a lot more likely Must for Miami. Yeah, they're playing really, really slow on these breaks, Carolina is. They're trying to set up nah, the perfect work. opportunity every Carolina's single time. Set team push Miami here. just finding the kills around the hill, or forcing them to play. A totally different in it, different way that they want to is now they've been able to hold this hill for a complete 30 seconds. Final 25 is still in their possession, but now you okay, have Carolina setting up pinch. Clayster working his way around the Get back. 20. Ship, need this. Get the freebie onto Lucky, finds a second as well. So it's Carolina walking away with the final 20. But if it's Carolina, you Mike, can use that as a recipe for success. Mike, this kind of arm that's colors. This kind of arm that's colors. Setting up for some proper time because Miami is slowly but surely just keeping the lead in their favor. And that has been one of the reasons that Carolina has been so competitive on this map. I mean, they range in the top three when it comes to finding success on their holds you know we kind of saw that not just in their first matchup but they looked really clean but in particular against optic they were also giving them a hell of yeah. a fight a lot of it off rotation so it feels a bit weird to see this carolina team relying a lot on their breaks but hey the good news is hey they're still sticking in the game and they found a lot of success doing that to this point so 40 seconds to fight for here fellow off the pitch the shots able to take down one plus a little bit of extra damage in towards eric so no follow-up challenge coming through at least as of yet for the heretics yeah this is a perfect break coming in from carolina with only 12 seconds initially into this hill and now you have TJ and Gwyn just slaying around this hard point. TJ going to be the aggressor. Unfortunately, does get taken down. But he was creating a layer for his teammates to be free over towards this HP. This has been a great play. response from Carolina. Great stuff from yeah. Clayson just soaking up all this hill time as they brought this one. This is a close game back, right now. All the way back, uh, now only down yeah. 10 points. Who is going to scam yeah, on the second game? <laughs> Basically tied after really the reset. first set. Great opening yeah, map on the TJ. The second half scam. Kind of flip back and forth between arrival line and MCW, depending on what he needs. That's the um, map. Rival, almost up on towards Eric shuts down the potential trade and with that Carolina that's got a crazy buffer. What the fuck? Another buffer now? Yeah, I mean, this is just frying. This is what he does. Yeah, he's having a really good match. Insane gunfights oh. left to right. And he keeps his teammate alive in towards the point. It's now Miami Heretics forced to break on in, but it might be just enough for Mel oh, on that DJ. deep pinch. Finds one, finds two through the middle of the map. Now he's going to put himself in an aggressive angle Ooh, to cut off more. Finds another one. Miami Heretics on the back of Metals leads to the break.
And I was just about to say, doesn't this feel a lot more like the medals we saw in the first seven yeah. games of this Miami Heretics team? That was a big win he's by win on the pitch. Back for gonna, he's he's going to flip the now. one just moving out saying, don't worry, boys, I'll take care of it for you. Well, those words, but in Spanish. Oh, no, don't, old <laughs> don't hit okay, old win. No, don't hit old win. No, don't hit old. The first, but oh, doesn't make no. a difference. Still comes away with both. And once no. again, the final eight break. Why did he hit old there? Yeah, I don't know why. The L's got to him. Pulling away with this game. At this piece, the L's might have got to him. So you have to find your way on in. And with all you heard me, Sam. He won the fight. He too. Yeah, he, he, he made a great play on the rotation, but he just kind of fucking sold. We're trying to time this flank. He's gonna be able to get a sound cue, find that first kill on Savico. Now it's time to hit wow, the goal. Wow, Metals is on a dirty pinch. Oh, we got some. Ooh, TJ actually sniffed that. Of course he did. Of course he did. Because TJ just inspirational, bro. With a little bit of support from Vico over the top of the platform, and they're gonna combine for three. Last player to grab his Clayster, and how about that? Essentially call it what it is. Two v four situation. Heretics break back here. Thirty seconds still to go. He's out. I need to find a way to stop this. They don't have trophies. It needs to be a break over towards this piece. Yeah, both sub players on Hillo though. Wide open. Now you're down by fifty. You can't give away this extra 20 because then you got to get a full 60 hold at this P3 hill. But it's just medals and all the SMGs from Miami. Jesus Harris Christ, he's in war. Wait, how did Javi get this timing? Like we just saw it on full display last game before four SMGs are able to do. But now Miami Harris, they've been able Carolina to pull have this game P4. wide open. Now P3, you have to Carolina to try to make up for it over towards this P3 hill. Have to have it, but for the Heretics, they can definitely feel a win brewing. Perfect time to take a listen into their comms as we jump in with the Miami Heretics. Listen in. I don't know much Spanish, Jay, but I can at least pick up on energy, my man. And I, this just feels like Miami's just flipped a switch. They're playing with the same kind of energy and tempo and speed and cohesion. No way we're not that rotating, we saw in right? The first seven games of their league debut. Yeah, you can just tell. No way we're hitting well, actually, old, right? You can't tell that they are 0 and 5 all so far in this stage because there we go. everything is starting to click target. for Miami. All I heard was Amarillo, which means yellow. Pushing out the ramp. That's what Eric Boom was doing. You know, I am Spanish, but I don't really know a lot of Spanish. But it's still Carolina in this game. As they were able to keep P4 contested a little bit, but Miami Heretics have been on the gas pedal the entire of yeah. this map number one. And now they're only 26 seconds, 28 and seconds away from closing map number one. And they're 24. already team off the rotation. <laughs> yeah, and this is one of those moments where you're, you're not out of it yet, but yeah, you're not yeah, in a great Harry, Harry position. Just decided to shoot today. It just feels like every other, or maybe yeah, even every rotation is continually being stuff. won by Miami. Yeah, gonna yeah, gonna he's going to be in here. Oh, Gwyn, able to at least open up a little bit of space. Pinstripe kill feed. Gwyn knocked on yet on three in a row. Metal's the last one standing, and fellow from behind will take him out of the last one. So 240, 175. Carolina in a good spot. And interestingly enough, Miami gonna take the passive route here, play through I mean, people. Carolina can do this, they bro. Get the kills great. Get out your setup, try to win the game on the new hill. Yeah, because all you need is one break Probably if you're Miami. Now you have Eric Boo going uh, on the pitch. I'm trying to believe the TJ's going crazy right just now. Cooking. But it's still Carolina holding on. So this final 12 is going to be there. So they can potentially win it. They can get a full 60. That's yeah, 31 and, and 21. It's all about these next set of Oh, Metal. Metal comes out with two. Win does trade, but it's still Metal's contesting through top oh, mid. pitch number four. That's an interesting GGs. call, though. It's only a couple of seconds. In fact, it's only just one second. And that leads to an opportunity here where Carolina could come off a spot and try to reinforce Should this. 194, here. 243. Kills have to be perfect. Yeah. But odds, oh, Vico Metal's able to turn up one absolutely needed. Oh, yeah. Last attempt to beat from Clayster. 
Gwyn trying to make his way up towards Eskies. He would have to clean everything uh, up in the, outside of a trophy in a team name. Uh, Miami will still but hold Miami strong. Miami was fucking turned in the comms, bro. That just feels like the Miami we used to know. Yeah. I don't know where they went. I don't know what happened, but that's a little bit more like it. We have fucking turned, bro. We have maps in the Optic Toronto series that just got posted. Your major is gonna be next we got maps with. from Optic you Toronto? Yeah, like I'm gonna Real read them to you. Real Hardpoint Karachi Search, Invasion Control, Skid Row Terminal. That sounds fire. Early so I think it's Carolina, Carolina, Real Karachi Invasion Skid Row Terminal. Map 1 Kleenex map. Map 1 square up, map 2 square up. But I really think it was all I thought we got Karachi instead of Invasion Control. Skid Row, Square Up, and Terminal Search Toronto's never played, but Optic are not great at that map. So it's Toronto last night. Toronto set up properly for one of these hills. They would have been right Toronto's playing to win the series. It was Miami every single time. At all these money hills, all the P2s they got done. The P3s they kept scrappy. The P4s, they were the team initially. Good map from TJ. Jesus Christ, TJ Masterclass. They were always staying ahead of the game. What's the next map? What did Alex say on the desk? They're keeping up with the slang. It was all about the fundos, fundamentals. Last map. And they showed it in the next map. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and just, I hate to about this time. Invasion you search. gotta write them down, man. No, but it's a gimmick now. Just fucking What is ass. it, Karachi? No, Invasion, bro. Invasion? I couldn't hear you. Dang it, but... You know, when we were watching this team last week and really even all of this qualifiers, uh, just like, bro, this is just not the Well, you say the great master Optic, the great master of Toronto, too. They, they Toronto doesn't have many map losses like this year. Point before it was taken out of the pool. Like, they're running through the map. Yeah. It's just like all of a sudden, but the thing for Optic is, like, you, like, you like, lose map one, you know, and Karachi Search is still a great really map for, so you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird to see that happen off of just an instant spawn change and some of the hill changes, but that's more like it. It just felt what we kind of started to learn about this heretics team and you just kind of want to see that all the time because it's fun to watch when they're pulling this off yeah it definitely is fun to watch because we know they play with intensity they play with pace and when they're flowing in that flow state especially with i assume toronto being a real search then to watch probably explain until we got the set miami were in control from start to finish of this game it got to the yeah. second rotation at p1 where carolina were within 20 points but everything after that was all miami just staying ahead of the game doing the fundamental part correctly and taking map number one clean stuff yeah gradual graph all the way through but again all of that felt like it came off of rotations and one of the things that we always say is 40 20 exchanges on hard points will eventually favor the team getting 40 every oh, yeah. single time <laughs> so that's kind of how the way that way that, that goes but here's the thing invasion search and destroy comes up next and even though carolina have not been great or even good at search and destroy we're gonna see the map to just tweet them out they're perfect on, on this map to this point and they're Wait. really kind of checking boxes on all levels yeah they're great on this map the only map that they're undefeated in search and destroy sitting at a perfect three and no they're great on the attacking side they're great on the defending side and a majority of that success comes to them finding success in the first blood column whenever they find yeah. that first blood they turn it into a conversion rate being number one overall so you give them that right. first what, kill, what's good try i told you where you could see them the opposite side for miami this is what the desk touched on they have been struggling in give this me mode. fucking attitude Two today trey if i can regain games that they have played in snd that's not the best that's not no. the best at all and then now you're going into invasion search and destroy where for them and every single snd they're sitting at 12 overall in first blood but on invasion that's actually true because they are dead last in that conversion rate you get the first kill it goes in their favor because they have a conversion rate of third overall in Invasion, but you see the stats from right there. Like, 12th overall conversion rate, 5th in opening dual percentage, dead last for Carolina for Carolina on the conversion rate. It's been a struggle, but on everything but Invasion, so they got that in their back pocket. Yeah, absolutely the case. It, it's just one of those things that you look at the strengths across the board and you go, why here only? Like, <laughs> I don't know who's team A and team B in this series, but looking at the maps... I would assume it's to Toronto's team B, I think. I think Toronto is team B. The Karachi search is interesting, but like, Optic are kind of, I've talked to a lot of people about Optic's Karachi s and I think, I think it's, if you kind of shut down Ant, they, they, they're kind of, they're kind of doable on that map, and people just don't do it. People just don't like. And, and goes right every life. On the, uh, like I don't, I don't want to say like he his his plays like you know what he's gonna do. If he's, if he's going right, if he doesn't see anybody, he's pinching like. It's gonna be Carolina on the attack. Right, everybody had two times. Trying to get early info onto the crossfire, but like that. How many players are over towards me? Because you already find Eric Boom pushed up in towards Broken, which can contest Carolina and force them to slow down. Yeah, and he's just watching on this quick cross. 
be called deeper. Yeah, sure that was hella far behind side. somehow. Same, I'm like yeah, 45 seconds behind. Yeah, it must have been the buffers. Should be a guarantee. Yo, this next year is gonna be so good. I love those maps. Yeah, nah, I can't wait. Sudden, Carolina know that they need to isolate if they do want to play through this B street. Yeah, it's gonna make this series take longer now. Come on, just fucking hit B street. Let's get this round over with. Catches vehicle off. That should lead to a plant. Yeah, it's gonna be instant bomb plant for Carolina. Oh, planning takes yeah, long. I'm thinking Lacer four dead right now. Pinch. You can maneuver your way around blue, though. Good. He is going to get in for early on. Holy fuck. Yeah, just going out playing with your life. Not like forcing out really one on one engagement is a much better play as the bomb now goes down. On Gwyneth. Oh, Clayster, bomb plant, plant, plant. Pinch from Clayster also yeah, two time, brother. Way. Although Clayster oh, does it, drop. Not delayed. Gwyn did not see the player immediately below him. Two times. Oh, 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 he's going to transfer over. Clean shot. Maybe he did know. Shame on me to doubt him for a moment. I can't believe they picked up Clay Pinter. Blood successfully with the quick trade. He shot some Clay. Yeah, that's good stuff. I wasn't saying that. Two times like Ben said too. Like sped up and caught up and then fucked up still 10 seconds behind. Win from fellow. On to Vico. You instantly put that bomb down. Put yourself in the man advantage. And then force Miami to try to break through the flank area. Good plays. Clayster. Or Gwyn. There, Mike Gwyn. Great plays again to find a double to close out the first round. Gwyn's got to be rookie of the year, bro. Okay. One of those rounds that yeah, we still got again, a long year to go. But. Yeah, Lindsay's still there. Again, favor Miami, still there, like, did it like it's so quick to the trade and okay, that's fast that's what, well. Okay. Take that. I'll take that, <laughs> Alan. You take that. Say that's a great first blood, but TJ's nade converts his own trade, so we stay three v three early. Yeah, TJ was just running right off the middle of the map. He probably had ordnance gloves on as yeah. well to throw those nades a little bit deeper. Even though he does get picky, evens up the numbers, makes it a three v three still. And Carolina have every position covered. As Clays is going to be the player. Calling out everything towards this B side, but Miami, they have already cleared out broken. It's only a matter of moments before they try to take the spot. Does Clay get a read on this? Yeah, he checks on medals for free, transfers over, but Eric there to confirm. So how we go? 2v1 as Lucky cleans up Gwyn through mid-map. Fellow's on the wrong side of the map, but he's going to be getting a little bit of freedom here. Yeah, I was going to say, because not only is Lucky holding this position front the side DVD for Fellow to scout out, but the bomb hasn't been planted yet. So it's going to give a little bit of extra time for Fellow to move on over, and he wants to continue to go quick. 1v2 situation, and now uh, he's caught over Man, through really side. No worries that. there, Miami. Battle back. That's just like the go-to setup. For everyone in the 2v1 scenario, everyone in rank play, if you do not know how to play a post plan at that B-bomb, like, I promise you, it's just one player towards the tractor, one over towards the cages, because the crossfire is there, the team shots are there, and you're able to use that cover ground from both of those positions. Once I was at 3v3, did you guys like fucking life. Carolina, Miami, like, a great job of finding that defensively first play, just, even like, playing singles and just finding helping and praying against the closer, and then yeah, Nothing really changes with a 3v3, to be honest, in terms of the setup. The big kills happen so fast, there's no info anywhere. Tie the game up. I mean, fair, but... Lots of action they here. They want to just group up and try and, like, four trades. I mean, yeah, you definitely could have just played yeah. phase and death ball around. Let's just get some trophies down. Why are we risking so much? But everyone stays alive. Setup is heavily concentrated, though, for the Heretics right over the middle of the map. And this is all about, do you get a read on the cross here? Because Carolina Triple is still trying to fill up. things out over towards B. And the less they see, the more they may feel primed to try to execute over towards B. There's the crossover. Eric only able to tally one for now. And look at Heretics right there at the back, all the way off this setup just to make sure they have anyone on the B site. Yeah, you better We're going to smoke the cross and plant the bomb. It seems to be the new Obviously, fucking just thing. Both of those, but Carolina know that they have a free B bomb plant. Because they're going to already take track to position. They're going to already work this bomb plan. And now Clayster was able I to get some more. Oh, got some nades. That was a bomb, too. Back pocket of metals. He takes down the bomb carrier, first blood of Miami. Maybe an opportunity as well with both Eric and Metals. They gotta be fucked here, right? They may feel like they can move over towards DVD. Lucky also clearing deep through mm -hmm. A Street. This is going to be a full retake, largely off the backside. So the focus oh, has to Clay's go to what timing. does Fellow see? Oh, I love this out of Clay. Maybe also help out because he's working on a pinch for his own. I this fucking is love that by Clay. For similar he ideas. lost a gunfight. Ah. But Clay's third fellow both drop. Now it's just down to Gwyn and he is in an impossible situation. Just has to play his oh, life over towards Ice Cream. Oh, Check my from the God. window is good. And that is that's a, a good retake. perfect retake it was. from the side of Miami. Yeah, that would catch the gap Carolina and off guard. You probably want to get your trophy system down because you cannot allow your bomb carry to get naded off for free. You allow Miami to open up at the first blood, know where the play is coming in, and eventually work those pinches. But it simply does come down to, even in that 3v4, the fact that Vico is able to win that one-on-one -on -one versus Clay. Because if he wins that one-on-one, -on -one, now you know where the pressure's coming in from. Everyone's arrow from Carolina starts to turn towards their back end. But unfortunately, when he loses that one-on-one, -on -one, Fellow drops <laughs> at the same time. And then Gwyn left in the 1v4 at B. Yeah, Chi-Chi. Miami yeah. take the round.
Okay. Interesting stuff to this point, though. I mean, hey, if you're Miami, you're feeling good about how this map is going to this point. You're finding some decent first bloods. They haven't necessarily been clean, but hey, you're at least able to tally a couple more first bloods than we've seen largely to this point ever. And now you survive in the first 15 or seconds or so. And there's hey, a Blue, appreciate the sub to the channel, man. Thank you so much. Over Microphone towards activated. ice cream door, and look how quick Miami are to follow up after that elimination. And now this is where you got to rely on Carolina having a couple attacks, but they do not have any. You can just tell by Clayser's play right there. I got to try to get in. I can't give up this bomb site. Instantly a 4v2. Oh, Both shit. the players they from Carolina trying to be aggressive up through the mid dark. Fellow does take down one, so still a manageable, manageable round for Carolina. Ah, uh, but. Yeah, they lose Gwen and now Fellow's stuck. I'm not being planted yet. I mean, really, his only avenue of success would be to try to find a lot of shooting. You know, Vickle came, they're they're good. They're good. came my chat this morning and said nah, Real Madrid winning, ask. Miami Heretics winning, and maybe okay, I should have Okay, so now well. a couple of rounds in a row <laughs> for Miami. Christ. And again, this hey, maybe just I feels more this like the Heretics team we saw at the beginning Make of the year. Bro, the, the ego challenge, we talked about this morning, like, it is how these map sets are going to go because neither of them want to play Invasion. That's the only way they'd avoid the ego challenge. It's because invasion's in the pool and neither team wants to play it. That's time, how we got the set we got. These guys know that Microphone their major is right around the corner. We cannot have the same thing that happened to us at Boston. Losing six straight maps and going home basically I on a Friday. I everybody fading my picks exactly are rich. exactly what you want to do if you are Miami. So. I think Trump might go to Rio for home. months. I'm not told yeah, 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 my, my, my picks are atrocious today. Rounds back to back and this time TJ's going to start it off with the first blood. Not getting native. Not really. now Carolina are in the minute. I was up yesterday. That's just one of those situations. No more nonsense if you're Carolina. Yeah, I was up going into the day yesterday. Right back beat up a little bit. Just yesterday. You were down yesterday. Not tagged by it. Oh my god! Nah, these Miami cats are slamming. Takes the final I'm two. the oh, plant shit. Off, though, so it's he a big foot. Oh, he's pushing on Oh Vickle's my god. He doesn't have the reach and yet. And again, How's the bomb not planted? Like, Vickle don't give a fuck. Did he get, did he get off the be bomb plant? Make better decisions. And Miami's uh, yeah, reaping right now. Done. Yeah, they clustered up on the round, but what is Carolina doing? Like, you eliminate yeah. both the players in towards Cafe. You know that those are the guys that watch over the A-bomb. You already gained info on the players towards the right side of Water Street. And Vickle, every single round so far on the defensive end, has played over towards B. So you're in the man advantage. Let's just get the bomb down they yeah. wait too long they allow the nays to hit through the middle of the tank sets a vehicle for the free for the free kill through middle to turn it to a 2v2 and then at the same time on the cross the map you just take water street control and put yourself in the man advantage this is a great play for miami now That's three rounds in a row switch making on Got point Josh check for no action. once again vehicle reads it steps away a little bit of assistance here for metals tags coming through on both sides carolina are just done though with this early aggression from Miami and they will set themselves up to at least have some sort of an early response here in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, Miami on this round so far, they gained the info of at least one player crossing it towards Broken Fellow challenging through mid dark, but I don't know if they're gonna know that Clacer is now alongside TJ in towards Broken. Mm. So is there a game plan potentially to isolate TJ or just work our way up through cafe? It's already been 40 seconds knocked off the game clock. You're not gonna force them to back up, but it's gonna be TJ to start off these engagement. Another first blood in his back pocket. Yeah, just catches vehicle over on the corner from DVD, and here we go, Eric Boom, working through A Street. The bomb is here, by the way. Metals has gone unguarded to this point as well. On the other side of the map, finally he gets caught, but the bomb is planted. Very plausible that a 2v3 post-plant setup could work out, but a lot of it's gonna rely on the timing that Lucky gets, because Eric is kind of stuck on top of the sites. Clay through courtyard. We're closing it, shit on. Oh, oh. tough guy. Oh. Lucky walks away the winner. Bro, now are on we the serious? other side, Eric Boom able to get a clean one for free. Tricks GG. over towards TJ. Change it at. But the smoke <laughs> gets placed. Uh, TJ's gonna this is gonna this, force bro. the hand of Lucky. They have to make a decision. He's called the bluff perfectly to this point. Wow, Lucky actually called TJ the bluff, bro. The defuse yet. Now he's gonna get a chance at the gunfight. Wow, Tiny Lucky actually played that 50-50. Fucking played that. He played, played that 50-50. He played that 50 50. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised he didn't hop there. I no, just don't understand. To, back to back to I'm three. simply not understanding what Carolina are doing. They Clay are throwing a away one, a bunch of these rounds so far. We're talking about a 2v3 where you have them trapped in towards the A site. Eric Boom just finished getting the damn bomb down, <laughs> but Fellow just allows him to get away with his life for free. Then once it turns into a 3v2, you see that Carol, I mean Carolina, they're forcing. I feel Clay and Fellow got to get it fucking going, going, bro. The same side. thing on the hard point. On the back end, loses that one-on-one. Well, on one then just some big fucking gunfights. At the same time, his teammates are still not working the, the fuse. Like they're trying to find these kills. 
and unfortunately, none of those go their favor. Miami now four That's rounds fun. in a row at game point. This is all while TJ's on four, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> what is happening? Wow. Crossfire set up here at mid for Miami's defense. Vehicle looking down B Street. Lucky doing the same, but on the opposite side of the map is Carolina just kind of running a similar setup again to try to feel things out across the map. Metals will get stunned, but the thing is, there's plenty of support here with Eric Boom nearby. Yeah, not even Eric Boom nearby. The trophy system was keeping them alive from all those tacks. It's not Carolina use a heavy load of their tacks to try to isolate Metals, but nothing to gain from it. It's already been 45 seconds knocked off of the game clock. TJ now trying yourself, to work his way teach. out towards the A-site. Metal gets the info. Shots are early on. help my and boy TJ Halley. There we go. Should be a little bit too far deep, though, and it is. Eric also gets taken down through mid-map, fellow. That's his elimination at lobby. Plus, vehicle trying to stretch for the aggression will be cut up. Metals, right. sure. not much he can do Karen. from there. Okay. Carolina's so on the board. Carolina TJ got to do his damn self. got to slide out the bomb. Get the guy weak. He's the hand of Miami with that little stretch by, through closet. I just don't understand the game plan. The and after that point, Carolina just completely... Like, is the game plan, yo, everybody played for picks. TJ, trying to get the bomb down? Like, trying to make a play? Like, is that the big... Like, you know what I'm saying? But this great stuff for Carolina to change the tempo of this search and It worked. As they were the aggressors on that round. But now you have to do that for the next four rounds to try to bring this one all the way back. As you're going to be the team on the defensive end. Just like if you're gonna give early info over towards that B point, do not allow the isolation to happen. And also, For real. where's the clutch gene? Like we gotta be able to clutch up in these man advantages. Yeah. It's a long road here for Carolina. Clay, I don't know if you saw medals on this cross or not. If he's just watching this angle, TJ once again gets up top, doesn't see much. It's enough for him to back away. Does Metals show anything here? Bottom tree house. Please not hit quite. A Street, Miami. You guys don't and see anything. And while all this is happening, look at the see space that Gary's been able to take. There's no information on anyone playing through A water. And that's it. enough for him to move into lobby and also clear that. Yeah, he should be able to slowly work his way up through the bomb plant. But now, fellow wraps back towards water. Street. I wonder if more teams, no uh, if you play double B Street like yeah. that, some bad and they've got like top blue. To over towards the site. The, door didn't even pop. the yeah, second guy can walk down like, oh, well, it's the rest are but walk down arches and like go DVD and like he'll be able to chill the guy bottom three hours. They're just playing a different level of shot today. I'm going to see him. Go stun. That. You didn't get the pick. Collaborating with a couple of key mistakes. Metal's just fucking shit on wow. a Ah, uh, Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. Wow. I mean, wow. It's a good map. I don't. I am having a hard time evaluating this. This does not look like the wow. same team. I fear I'm about to be 0-2 in my breaking point predictions as well. So I can't get anything fucking right. They might be having a hard time, but Carolina threw away a lot of those I can't fucking like, do anything right. 3v2s, you got them trapped on towards the site. You let them get away, and then you challenge them one-on-one -on -one gunfights. That oh, yeah, was Sam, just like you didn't pick the worst display no. of this needed I've seen in quite some time. That's comedy. You had a man That's advantage weird. in most of these rounds. In the majority of these rounds, you're just letting them get away from you. You're trying to put yourself in a position where you're always trying to guarantee a kill or guarantee a clutch, and Miami just slowly picking you guys apart. Very weird did anybody right here have map, fucking... multiple first bloods, Vico in the clutch. I think I'm barely in the squint air cut that right now. The clutch, so that's they just had the clutch back there <laughs> in their jeans in that map number two. Carolina, you want that one back because it should have been at least a 4-4 going into a round number nine right now. Well, I think they're not just going to want that one back. They're going to want Rio back as well. Yeah, like what the hell's going on with Carolina? They're not playing fundamental cut today. No, they're definitely not. And again, on the other side, this looks like the Miami that we saw at the beginning of the season. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was just they needed to kind of rebuild that trust with Eric in the system. I don't know if That's it was right. just the a little bit of lack of confidence pick. with the maps changing, that. the spawns changing, whatever it is. What do you mean? It's not been evident today. They have been light. So with that, we've got high rise he, he control coming up next. We've seen no. some good and some um, bad. I think Carolina team when it comes to high rise control. So so that. We'll see if they can find a way to regain as we head things go, over to the break. I'll Otherwise, Miami, three, one. well, this would be one hell of a way to kind of finish off their major two qualifiers. We'll see how things go when we come back after the break. I think no, of Miami, no, no easy map wins. Miami minus one and a half here. The one is one three one. Have to go to round five. What's the map? The control. High rise. High rise. The Call of Duty week is brought to you by Monster Carolina Energy. Carolina is not shooting the their guns. And drink. by Carolina, CEO. I mean Clayster and Fellow. Upgrade your game with the Scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty week. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator. Now available in game in the Call of Duty store. Banger tweet from Miami. What a Miami tweet. 
Can't be that banger, they only got two up. That's, it's a good tweet, but I want to say it's a banger. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Sam, is it? Somebody had a question in my chat, but I want to actually ask you this question. Is that you talking to me? Yeah. Wow. Who is better on your thieves team at SND in Vanguard and in Modern Warfare 2? You or Ken? Ken. What? Give yourself no self gas. Uh, not in Vanguard. I think I was okay well in MW2 actually, but I think Ken was probably better than me. But Vanguard, he was definitely better than me in SND. Yeah, but say MW2s, I think it's a little more I think even, it was but closer in MW2, it's probably still Ken, but Vanguard is not Vanguard even. Vanguard the Vanguard combo. Ken end of the year SD was Yeah, it's not even a combo was, for Vanguard. Was something, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, can the Carolina boys turn it around? Unfortunately, control has not been a great game mode to them overall this year. They played high rise uh, a decent amount during the split. So it hasn't played, and I believe they won their last time out, but it was against fucking LAG, so I don't want really count that. And they played Seattle on this map, and Seattle just didn't know how to fucking play defense, so. Take a look at my Gwyn Eric bet right now. Gwyn has got one more kill than Eric, so we're sweating this shit. Mel's having a good series, 38 kills. Vickles dropping a point eight four. Lee Stammy. And then on the flip side, it's very ugly for the ARs on uh, on Carolina right now. They're getting kind of piss slammed. Connor with the two dollars. One more time, ask Sam the coaching, please. Microphone activated. Sam, I got a super chat from Connor. I think you know what he's gonna say. Fuck Connor, bro. Microphone Sorry, Connor, I try, but I appreciate the two dollars. My God, thank you so much. Microphone activated. Why won't you coach him, Sam? <laughs> I'm not coaching anybody, bro. You would never coach anybody ever. No. Sam. I'll tell people how to play the game in a public forum, but I'm not coaching. That shit's ass. I used bet three six five. Microphone activated. For a lot of people might check you best skin and on, on tour asking like, but this map set for this next series, bro. The reason we're getting like a square up is neither of these teams want to play fucking invasion. They just have a similar map pool. Yeah, similar map pool, and neither want to play invasion. So it's like gonna be just they're just gonna play their best shit. Yeah, optics or ultras pigeonholed into Rio because of the invasion veto. I know I was watching this team over the course last couple weeks saying optics pigeonholed on terminal like because like optics gets real hard point, but Toronto gets terminal. Yeah. Wait, guys, they're they're in Miami. They're adding curfews and shit. Like people can't go party. There's like curfews and shit like that in Miami now for spring break. Yeah, apparently they're adding. Apparently, yeah, they they have a whole um. The campaign the thing where they're like they we're quote unquote breaking up with spring break is it like a safety thing yeah uh, so i think it's a mix of that and just like Miami there were a lot of complaints from miami residents like i was looking at some of the new rules and some of them just around like parking i guess like literally people live there just like spring break park in front of their house like yeah it's not just in miami all the all the metro areas is in miami the great migration for spring break. I feel so yeah. bad for people that live in the area. That shit's probably horrible every year. Spring break's got to be the worst thing everywhere because, like, it's it's like taking on the toll of having a massive event in your community, but you're not getting like the revenue because they're not spending crazy money. They're all broke college kids. Yeah. 
Oh, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Way to regain, like we kind of I'm watching Gu the... Gwen run in two times speed under the map. And he has all the money on the fucking placing. And... Yeah. Obliterated on it. So far, Ooh, great stack! Like, Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> uh, Tom, you think they're gonna stack? Fuck no, baby! They got at least two stacks. Go to this point, you got two kills, go to the I don't mind having two on it there with Oh my god, those keep shutting up. Like, Gwen doing this thing here. Gwen's slaying the way that he is. Gwen hits the route early on. Now finds himself on five or in a row. A is about to be done and dusted. What a quick response to Jamal. Play that streak, Gwen. Get that shit. No! Two times? Oh, everybody hit it two times, bro. Alright, dude. There we should do it. Oh, now two piece. Clay's having a duck one. And then the foul kills for Miami are perfect. It just feels like no momentum is allowed to build here for Carolina. Yeah, that age definitely showed a little bit right there, my friend. But Jesus, <laughs> now all of Carolina trying to fight out of their Oh, we don't know what we're doing the ground spawn, I fear. And not a single player from Miami are looking towards that position. But Eric Boom knows there's something up. They have to be getting out and from one way or another. Oh, and finally, they get a read on it. Oh, as Carolina works to read on the ground. TJ and Gwent combined for two. Clay survives a third. They're on the B point. Beagle, the only defender really in place to do too much. Shots from the window, decent to kind of tag up just a touch. Let's go, Tom. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, leak out. Lucky, able to jump in for a brief moment, but that's all it is as the follow up are there. It got a little sloppy for a moment, but flat out, that is a very convincing offense for Carolina. I mean, that's perfect if you're Carolina. You cast them off guard with the early Sound aggression. DR didn't come out of nowhere, what? They played really good at, at the qualifier kills, four champs. B, stack the point, and, then and they were playing good in the online cups. Done. They're not. They didn't come out of nowhere at TR. Like they were playing good. They Same with United. Like round. obviously, the like they were playing really good in the cups online, and they won at least one of them. Being the Obic dynasty, and people were like, "Hold up a second, you know." Microphone stacks, huh? Well, obviously TR was very good. There for Carolina. Microphone. Just trying to get a lot done, just not able to quite find the response to Gwyn, who had a fiery start. TJ also finishing with three. Oh my three. god, it is triple chubby shirt. Heavy focus here for Miami, right down elevator alley. TJ tested, doesn't know what gun to use, and that decision, or non-decision rather, is what kind of costs it as Miami will start to find some success jumping in towards me. Oh, and Clayser with the nade in hand, unfortunately, does get caught off guard as the second child comes in. Win, thank you, Stack, stack, stack Miami. Stack point. the fucking point, vamos. Yalla. Yalla. <laughs> it's over towards B. First Yalla, second, baby. Yalla, 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 Metals has gone completely uncovered. Oh, oh no, this is not what you want if you're Carolina. <laughs> Only one kill tally to this point. Extra 60 seconds has been added. But at least the follow oh, up here from Carolina. Win is so good. Much dude. better than the start for sure. <laughs> yeah, Fucking good on the exit on. kills. Shutting down all four players from Miami. Now you can take some map control right on back. Already aggressive up through the B Street. You have on the ground and you also have blue. A couple players from Miami are able to sneak their way on out, but it's not going to get anything done because Clays is still holding down top mid control. The teammates are still setting up the proper crossfires. Eric Boom now the only player out. He's trying to work up the middle of the map. Oh, nearly, but gets caught a little bit on sprint. Bubble traded though by Metals, who nearly has a response for Clays for falling off top helo, but not quite enough. So the life deficit now just two for the side of Carolina. Nice Final five. Spot. Are continuing to work on that with more kills for bottom helo steps and for Miami. Kind of have to rely here on Eric Boom to create some space because there's not a lot of room to work with coming off spawn. And it's not a lot. You can't work your way off the beach. You have to try to fight your way through blue and Clay finds that kill to earn himself a cruise missile. So Carolina only found one kill early on into this round. They have now taken advantage in the lives remaining. As uh -oh. Miami can simply not work their way uh -oh. on. Now Lucky runs out of ammo. Clayster is still alive now on a seven. Pivotal streak earned. Underground hit coming through for Heretics. This has gone completely uncovered. Eric's gonna get all the way through. Metals vehicle at mid map through B. Good, but Gwyn, oh, well picked up. Able to at least mitigate some of the damage that was being dealt for a moment there by Miami. Still not out of the woods yet, though. Lucky Lucky's does fall, fall off the map. The map so that does turn things into a uh, at least manageable situation towards trying to get this defense back online. 
And with only 20 seconds left, this is gonna be Miami's last push. Bro, oh, Eric Miami is again caught to bring that middle map every fucking middle life. Middle like, map. do something else, brother. Bottom blue. Gwen starts it off with the first engagement. Meadow's there for the trade. So they're able to pause the game clock for now, but this is what attacks need to be raining if you're Carolina. Oh, fell. Oh, turned around though. Uh oh. Not like this. Gwyn trying to work his way back over through mid once again. Can he find a way to jump on in? The contest is over, and wow, Gwyn just continues to win these gunfights, man. I know that, like, it's going to be tough to, like, vote for Rookie of the Year on a team that has not been necessarily as good as Minnesota, for instance, but Gwyn has been so pivotal towards saving Carolina time in and time out. Yeah, he's been making great plays overall, but you see at the very end of this round, you not get, get the been out of the cruise missile from Clay. He said, this is one that we got to guarantee. Ah, oh, man, about to come here. Thank God, bro. This guy was lost. With that defensive round, now up 2-0 on the control. And this time, I don't think Miami are going to give him that eight point as easy, so... I'm just donating now, cash Carolina, all weekend, bro. You got bro. trophy systems to work with. You're already leading in the segment column by three. Just got to try to get a lot done on this attack round. And even if you lose it, you guarantee two defenses in a row. Yeah. yeah. Tell Octane Thieves would still be struggling with him point. on a roster. Sam, did you okay. hear that? Moments there, though. <laughs> Definitely feel the sweat. Feel the chat, touch, especially from Carolina having to call on that cruise missile. But the fact of the matter is, you find yourself in a very convincing and powerful position up 2-0 early. Four in a row for TJ. Could try to replace that previously spent cruise missile. And he's found a freebie off the opener. Does he see the player over towards Hilo stairs? Not quite. Doesn't need to, though. Teammates have picked it up. And all of a sudden, TJ off dead silence can get forward and try to play for another free kill to get the sixth. Right, he's just going to chill down low. Wait to see if any Miami Heretics players are going to push towards the lower end. But that stun is going to give the info that there's definitely someone in our base. And Eric Boom finds the kill. Great okay. place for Merrick to shut down TJ off the streak. Finds a double onto Gwyn. And now all of Carolina forced to fight out of their base. Fellow at least opens one up on towards Top Heli. Finds a mm. second as well. So here's the avenue to work towards A. Absolutely. Clock will stop at 43 seconds. Foul up eliminations coming over towards the B zone. So Fellow just needs to be a pest here. Let his teammates work over towards B. And that's exactly what will happen. Uh, uh, the only thing I have for all the game right now on the books is uh, the third leg of this far leg. Blue. Not going to work out at all. And now Which all right now is looking TJ on the zone. pretty good. Support nearby from the rest of Carolina. Eric trying to make his way up the back of the ladder. Activated. And he catches TJ on his transition to try to reset things up. First tick at B. Will be good, but outside of that, Miami have regained nicely defensively. Yeah, Miami are doing great. Bro, right every now, day that passes control, along, it's more criminal than fucking Seattle. They put Gwyn in last year. Vico wins a big one on one as well. What do you mean, bro? Sam Phoenix, Phoenix I got no roster changes ever. Street. All the kills, though, in favor of Miami. Last player is Clay, so you take care of him. Now we run off the respawn with only 20 seconds left. Yeah. Miami look like they're going to walk away with this defense. More life advantage as well at the moment. Got a lot of work to be done when they get into their next offense. Oh, but top of the stand now, Hold up. Pause decent. champ. Double cap. Hold the phone. 8.7 on the clock. That will stall. Double cap. Hold up. Man on both oh, this is getting interesting. The kills from Carolina are good. TJ stretching across the middle of the map. Taken down by Lucky. May not have been necessary, but regardless, it does create enough time and space for no, a second like member this. to join over towards B. Second ticket oh. progress is locked over on that B zone. Clay trying to make life as hard as possible. On this a defense but not quite able to but the better news here for carolina oh, they have secured the, the extra 60 seconds and with that mathematically they will also have the defense yeah that's that's good stuff right there from carolina it was only 10 seconds left you had to make those final couple of kills count and now you have a potential to walk away with this attacking ground great route from tj to work through the side wall run finds the initial kill fellow through the middle net finds a second this, and is, now, this could be a three TJ's in a position to just keep these players at bay he can find a two piece or even one that's a good enough job but the name oh, comes in from over, eric baby. boom it's not going to get enough done as the second segment is already in carolina might close it here yeah they Come very on, well that oh, oh, hello. Like that two piece. so much focus away from miami's the defense going on? no respawns 50 seconds decent, should be the reach out third ticket progress being worked on clay off three in a row having a much better match let's go TJ carolina sure and okay. Okay. from carolina will take some life would be a shame if they ever swept my picks went through that would be a fucking shame i hear you talking good pick finally muscle call duty for dummies that's how you bring it back though my food here i'll be right back gentlemen but a clean 3 on high rise walking away with two attacks you simply do not see that but the game plan the strategies were clicking for carolina first attacking round you get everything over towards a and you rotate over towards b you keep that slang prowess on your side of the map and then you win another attacking round with the final 10 seconds where i thought it was definitely gonna go Make to miami what do, mean, what do you mean joel what do you mean okay now we gotta change that into the next hard point because yeah. they have a sub base where they are one of the best teams at the map so you're feeling good yeah absolutely okay 
this kind of feels like again this is a weird series to this point it is <laughs> in this spot where it feels like carolina could definitely maybe even put it away at this point but Miami's fighting, my man. Not so much on this map. And again, that just gives a lot of credit to the Carolina opening offense. I mean, finding so much value off their break off when no trophies are available. And sometimes Microphone be a menace, activated. especially surely, Car surely Carolina, being Carolina win this map, right? Are sometimes that masked with the idea of getting the cruise missile just built up so much early favor for Carolina. Yeah, I was just uh, gonna what the hard part? Yeah. Attack over to a day and just caught Miami off guard. Especially like you don't have four and one on sub base. So that's you're not... expecting that play to come through because then you have to worry about stun. You have to worry about nades. But when you allow those SMGs yeah, to get aggressive as them. they were with wind working that side wall run, that's basically Bro, this a is wild. So, so like they're Carolina, they're minus 145 money line to high fucking high you're be able to catch win. Like flat so out win obviously, or it's minus 115 for them to win with the spread, which is 12 points. The spreads the spreads live adjusting now. Now you're going it seems into a like sub absurd to take. Both of these teams, they enjoy yeah. themselves. The spread just moved to 22, like two two for Miami, which four is... And one for Carolina. But if map one's going to tell us anything about this map, number four like is going right, to go. It's like it's right on the edge, bro. So We're talking about Carolina yeah, I know. being second overall best on a map like sub-base. It's like right. Their average differential one is like 28 and a half. On the opposite yep. side from Miami, this map, so... Overall. But we saw it on map number one. It was completely flip-flopped. Because they won every single rotation on map one. So I think if you are Carolina to win this map number four, you just got to do the fundamentals correctly. Yeah, and just to kind of throw a little bit extra on there, statistically for all of you big brains out there, Miami currently ranks third in overall hold percentage as well. So that's another opportunity to where you look at and say if Miami is going to rotate successfully. Mm, I want to live bet this, but it's like 22 and a half is like. Point straight back to back. So a lot uh, of focus for Carolina needs to be thinking where exactly uh, you're pointing it, to. Fuck on it. rotation. Make it saying fuck yourself it. in the best positions possible because the other side um, of that statistic for Miami is that they were sure. last in breaking on this map. So you just have to stop them from rotating and setting up their hold setups. And if you're Carolina, you're a fan of them, you do that. You likely see a map five come through. Yeah, and sure based on what we saw on map number three, Clayster is now activated. He was the guy who was taking over, earning a couple of cruise missiles, and the vet three. has to now lead these guys to try to complete a reverse sweep. And there's through. no better map for him to go out there He's and He's got to like, Other than a With map you. like Subbase, sure, where sure. you're talking about top three, top snow, rotating early, setting up properly with that AR in hand. So I'm really looking at Clay to just be the tone setter alongside Fellow, who had a slow map number three, but we know what that guy's capable of. When he is on, especially in HP, he's a very difficult guy to shut down. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Pages did kind of chalk Mac Prince Jones. Lined up Offset Jaguars. It's, I mean, and they the are going to draft the quarterback, is, so again, it's understandable, you know, you know. Expected a map like Rio for Miami to be strong for them, considering hey, how quick up. their SMGs had played yeah. previously, plus the addition of Eric Boom. But now you put a lot of weight on can you pull out four ARs and actually fight back against what has been, I, I, again, I think the thing about Carolina, there's going to be a lot of heat out there about how their AR line maybe hadn't been performing as well as you would like to see, especially considering who those players are. But let's be candid. You know, you put up on an AR based map and they do play well. I mean, their hard point record has been good and it's been reflected by a number of maps that are more AR favored. All right, two times, two times. In particular, Carolina last, they were here, beat LAG 251. You take that with you will, but I just think LAG, I think about it is they, they do rotate well. Do you expect Carolina to kind of play into their strengths? Three yeah. uh, I got a Gwyn over Second Eric in the series and I master Tyler Fellow Masterclass. Yeah, I need Carolina win this by more than 23 points. Force Miami to break where they're sitting at 12th overall. Not good. That means they never find success. So if you're Carolina, it's just got to be the fundamentals. And I'm I love the technology. It lets them activity. overlay the ads on the map. I've been saying that shit for fucking years. I first saw CS, dude. I thought it was so cool. They had it. I think they first had it in it was either Vang. It was either, Vang it was either uh, Cold War or Mono. They might have had it more for 20 They had it for a few years. They had like the end of the season. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Immediately battled <laughs> by Miami. Three for two, the exchange. Hard point going neutral for now as both teams are just trying to vie for positioning over towards the left side of the map. Yeah, both no. teams just trying to flip those spawns. And now, at least yes, if you're Miami, no. you're winning the engagements to keep Carolina trapped oh. the way that you want yeah, to. Yeah, my god brings me back to One showing thing that I was really curious about for Miami like is that the last time we casted these guys, it was Eric Boom consistently running that rival nine. On a map like yeah. Subbase, you need to pull out that four for yards sometimes. So I'm really curious if he's going to do so. A lot better to have a few shekels in the line than your job on the line. Five okay. and his start. Opportunity for an early cruise missile to get earned for the side of Miami. And Eagles Praying your players play wrap left and throw their stones. You don't get fired. Just waiting for someone to cross through the middle of the map. <laughs> Carolina coming back with a scrap. <laughs> that's here. great. Wow. That's, that's, that's fucking. That's fucking. There. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Not, they're not even close uh, to putting a setup together. You wonder why I'm bald. All right.
We got P5 control. We got a pin. We got a pin. It's a good and break off here. Three front end. Yeah, so we got the first one. The we trade. Everyone else through the side door through the front window. Yeah. It's going to be a successful oh, red and the spawns flip from Carolina. It took longer than we were expecting it to, but they get it done. Yep, and they also shut down the crews as mentioned. Quick so wrap by vehicle. opportunity for them to get right back into this game. Be cold timing. Oh, doesn't Never check mind. his right, and Clayster is able to punish. Follow up kills from Gwyn from the front, looking good. Miami in pieces, trying to find a way to break through this. And Carolina have read that perfectly. Out. They say time for us to go. Make sure there's no follow up hit. And now all of a sudden, you're starting to see the Royal Ravens really get across the map until Vequel can get to top warehouse, and he puts a bit of a pause to the timing of this rotation. Yeah, you just gotta keep this positioning if you are Vequel. Eric wow, Boone, trying that to was be the aggressor insane by Glenn to get out of there. Not letting anyone slip on by, but gets a bad card timing that he knew that they were pushing through Water Street. Fellows able to take him down. So Carolina now have the opportunity to work their way through comms, to work their way through Tunnel Miami, and try to take top snow, but you got to get past yeah. Vico. Yeah, absolutely. You do. No, not and he scanning. has found, I think, every single one of his kills from this position. Tough battle with Fellow on the other side. Nades one side, tries to predict the follow-up on the other, but doesn't quite work out. Miami still so Soaking up a bit of time here, though, as the spawns are good for the heretics. Let's get Metal is trying to create space in towards tunnel. That will there. work out nicely. Plus the follow-up over towards Top Snow. Very well capitalized by the heretics as now they're looking for a full 60. Yeah, they've already held it for 35. So now Carolina in a situation where do we decide to be super aggressive and potentially spawn behind them? But that decision has now been made for them. With only 15 seconds left, we just got okay, to try to trap as long as you we know, possibly nice can. You already have TJ off the rotation. Come off this Everyone else here. cutting off the We got some good map. layers. We just yeah. make sure we don't get fucking picked. Nice. I'm not quite there for Fellow. Both players predicting it, but shots too clean for Fellow. I got one. That's good. Lucky is able to get one on the exit. 40 it's point one. game, but the setup for Carolina looking sure. pretty solid. Fellow back towards top snow. Lucky surely seen this. Now has to kind of predict it between there's one player too. deep on top AC, another one a little bit closer. Oh, no and the one's going to watch in the So Miami can work their way through the middle of the map. And now they're just hey, hoping and praying that Metals now. can catch some good timing on this water route. TJ inside the hard point okay, has been dealt with very quickly. Wow. Easily is that's going to be a full on break. Okay, we spawned Spawn's here. still good for Carolina, but that's a punishing moment for Miami. Yes, yeah, definitely a punishing moment for Miami. Holy fuck. Because you found the openings, Vico finds two. There we go. Okay. Nice. I missed a lot of this map. Right. I told you. We have 45 seconds. Okay. Spawns are still okay. there for Carolina. So this um, final 20 some people is shot some guns, some slides, some stuns, and it's like an even hard point right now. Yeah, miss much. Nothing notable yet. That's notable. Gwen just got his ass beat by a grown man. So it's going to be Miami winning another rotation, this time over towards P5. The only player they may not track fully here, though, is Clay. Beagle's watching from inside P2. My God, Clay. Good from Clay. This Can't old man game play. Up top Can we move? This pushes him off the angle. And that's oh, we're still cutting around. No. Gwyn was going to try to wrap back side warehouse. Not the case. He just kind of runs right up in towards mid. Looking for the player inside the harbor. I mean, Eric Boom is okay, tucked cool into a corner. Short, oh, Finally, he peeks mind. out. And when he does, he does catch Gwyn right, looking the wrong today, direction. Eric. So I'm first 20, more than that now. Pretty much perfect for Miami, and there is no semblance of a re-hit anywhere near the hard point here for Carolina. Yeah, this is where the game starts to get scary for Carolina because now those spawns flip. I actually took to out Crawfits yesterday, so I need to deposit some more. So I really want to I'm actually, so I've actually been donating all weekend. Forward. This has been another 60 hold potentially if they can walk away with this final 15. Knowing exactly where Carolina are going to apply the pressure from. They find the trade on the Eric Boom, but they're still not in a position. This is how we so help uh, this Carolina come Metals back, but we just completely mentally write it off and chalk it and say they're fucked, and then maybe we reverse it. This yeah. missile, oh, that's going to really shit. They, 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 they far behind. Timing on the peak, though, not great. So once more, Carolina, kind of like what we saw in the Rio, are just hanging around. Making sure it doesn't get too out of hand. But the, the work that's God. being done is just not significant enough. We're seeing Miami just winning rotation, finding tons of time off their holds. Now okay. Vico off We're the respawn, able to get a trophy system in. The with the break, shots up top, keep the I mean, listen, top I, I love Tyler Fellow more than the next so guy, but like, this situation where it's got to be a huge problem with his team that like, team he just cannot, he so cannot give them like great respawn maps. Fortunately, a couple of trades are there, but Miami are quick to pick up on it. Hard point at worst goes neutral as metals clean like, up another. I know Tyler helps a lot with the comms, decision making. Like, there's a lot of stuff that Tyler's giving you, but the, so the, the lack of kills is some points a problem in series like this. What the fuck? Through the middle of the map, and Vico's really able to line up too with that AR. So the final 12 not going to go there because great team shots from TJ and the Nade to eliminate him but it's all going to be about this rotation it was carolina finding that early break with only 15 seconds left oh. but they are forced to do it again 
Great moment here from Clay. A couple of kills come through. Carolina trying to still set themselves up, but they need this hard so, point. They need it badly. Let's take a listen in with the cops. The Carolina Royal Rangers. Listening. Let's get it. Nade. 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 One more. Yo, pop. Got Eddie. No time. I got Nade back door. I spawned back to three guys. Yep, I hear you. We spawned at time. We spawned close. I'm sending secret right now. Gonna be top sub guys. Secret on me. No, nothing top sub. I'm sliding for. Hold up. P2 one down. I've got top barrels. A side door. Any top sub. Top sub. No one top barrels jumping in the hill. On time. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. We're good. We're good. Fuck you. One shot. Yes, one. Yes, one. We have to switch this. No, we have it's to. Listening Vickle, to spawn trap me, P1. Vickles, spawn trap. I don't even want to be playing this. Hey, you might never want to hear the word go. Pushing out your left with you. Clay's just going to be holding your back good when you say that. I've got any dead. Right's open, right's open. I'm getting on there. I'm trying to like hold it kind of. I'm holding your low P5, Clay, alright? I'm going to get out of one too. One should be from right. Control. Control. Top control. Top control, weak as fuck, Vickle. I don't want to top so. Top P2 and top control. I'm holding your low, okay? I have your low. P2 went out middle. Vickle's right, Vickle's right, one shot! And Shady from top P2. Right, top, top, got Eddie, lucky. I spawned up. Above you, above you. Vickle's yep. on the right. I spawned up, I'm holding him up P5. Hopping in the back. He's got Eddie, got Eddie. Come on, around left, guys. Vickle, one time, one slow P5. I'm around left. One slow 10. Got Eddie, Eric, boom. Not Vickle. I'm nading it, I'm nading it. You naded. One P5 too. Got Eddie, ship dead. Back to the bullet. Well, that was the worst. Well, there's some visible and verbal frustration, I think, throughout that entire listen in. I, we were kind of watching that setup. It looked like Carolina was in a good spot. Just a couple of overchals lead to some good shots for Miami. And uh, now all of a sudden, a quick bro. break leads to what looks to be, again, a Miami win. That's the biggest thing, man, is that they're challenging in the positions where they're not really supposed to be committing towards those fights. Yeah, TJ through the yeah. back end. There's no way this works again, right? So if you lose those two positions, now it's you're going to spawn work. all the way across the map. They needed a full 60 to get back into this game, but it's Miami Heritage finding a break. You would think that the water route being taken on every P4 that's ever happened would eventually be watched. Oh, wait, they broke this the hill. Is game Yo, over. these guys suck. Unreal, man. Trophy system Arrow. that's lingering around. Uh, we'll it, it, every team off, does the same thing all the fucking time. Man, this just feels like. Try, let's get it over with. Let's get to the next battle. series. You think people, you think people are watching <laughs> I mean, fucking ball. Every team wow. takes the water out on a P4, and it works so every time. It's strange to see this because Carolina, I mean, let's be honest, like. Again, you know, schedule-wise, maybe not the hardest ever, but look that they were clicking, man. You go back yeah. to that Optic series, they were playing hard point Miami's well. Miami's the weirdest point fucking team, team bro. But today, it just has not There's been just no there. skill gap in, in the, in the shitter, so everyone's just going to beat everybody. They feel like they yeah. be doing when it That's what it feels be like. The team. Will come it's just through, whoever shoots straighter on the day that they move. play. There's no These separation in, like, the bottom of the league. Up right here. Yeah, that's GG, man. Dude, Miami wow. Is like, wow. Thank Completely God. This shit's today. over. I mean, this, this win Eric shit is barely cleared, but I'm fucking donating, man. To close out this oh series. my God, bro. GG, vamos. Some life. I'm just having a crazy map right there. You walk with the opening HP. You get the map 4 HP, and then you clutch up in the game mode that you have been struggling as of recent in that search and destroy. Everything was just clicking for Miami today. Nothing was clicking for Carolina when you talk about the fundamentals. And now they're in a very tough situation now because they're now 2-4. and four. This is a match that you needed to potentially guarantee yourself a spot in winner's bracket. Yeah. Losing a match. This doesn't make money if this fucking last this leg hits. It's definitely not something that they had on their scorecards. No, not at all. And again, there is, I think, plenty to look at on both sides but i have to go more towards the positive side of the talking points here i mean this this looked like a more comfortable miami first yeah. time we've seen it like we said since major one qualifiers and it, it's again puzzling to try to evaluate like why did it take so long for them to start clicking like this again one no, i mean Chad, i don't want to i don't i don't want to fucking like i don't want to make it about kills but they rarely, rarely, rarely get like positive. Maps All right. Well, fellow. at least we get the main event now, I, guys. I don't, huh? I don't, I don't know. Sound muted. I don't know what to say. Like, I, I think Fell is a decent guy, but outside the LAG series, outside when they're playing like some of these dead teams, like he cannot give them positive maps. So, like, I don't know what to say. Like, both they just got Kentucky fucking fried in this series. There's, there's no, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Clay Story dropped 53 kills in four maps, and Phil dropped 43. Like, if your ARs are going combined... F Sound Sam, what activated. do you think Clay and Phil's combined plus-minus was in this series? Well, Tyler just went 43 and 71, so... Minus 40. That's not bad, right? <laughs> Uh, optic versus oh, team who is struggling overall in this stage. That's tough. Holy fuck, a thank God. This is a palate cleanser yeah, right here. <laughs>
Wow. Thank okay. You, so for two teams that are just trying to my first fear the two dollars just when I believe in Ravens a little. I know. I feel you appreciate two dollars. One of those things. Optic might get smoked because I picked them to win. But you picked Optic to. I think they tried last night. Represent their city well. Let me get to the majors. Oh wait, I picked. Who did I pick last night? I picked Ultra last night. Oh, I picked Toronto. I fear Toronto's getting fucking three old slammed by the Optic Texas. I fear. I fear Optic's getting three old. Yeah, I think. I think Chris was the only one that took Optic. Optic's gonna slay. But honestly, now looking at the map set, you know, post clarity, like they actually did this really well. Their map set was extremely well because they forced them to play two maps where the Optic could put them ahead of Carolina Map One. Ravens who've been slacking in that department in Rio and Sunday. So the fact that they were able to lock up both of those in the hard points, even though it is Carolina Royal Ravens' best hard point map. Yeah, Shazzy got a hot ass line, bro. Why is his line so high? Was Rio and he's been him. Haven't been there. What do they do today? They're getting all the kills and they're out rotating Carolina Royal Ravens in almost every single hill. Miami Heretics uh, the Can I get a big I mean, I still think he's gonna be Rico him and have a good well, map, but I don't know if he's gonna get to be ha that good of a map. Year this year, Unless his team gets shit on and he hard carries deal. again. Yeah, he was on a terror. I mean, you saw on this map like Royal Ravens are one of the best sub base hardpoint teams in the game. Yep. And, you know, Ali brings up a really good point. Like, the slang ability, the pressure is the way that I work it for Heretics. They play at a very fast pace, can be individual at times. And they were able to put Carolina in the weather. Unmuted. You saw, you know, I know, bro. Mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to the bathroom cap, but holy the shit. And the Heretics are just having their holy way fucking with them at that shit, point. dude. You know, this is a series that you look at, you're like, man, Carolina and their. We're going to still make money for this last bed head. these guys. Losing Fuck some my of their life best today. Maps. Their premier players are underperforming in the hard points. Clay did not play well. Fellow overall in the entire series. Got shut down. Shut down. Yeah, the ARs not playing well. And then even in the SD, just uncharacteristic plays, throwing away man advantage situations. Like, this was the worst outing we've seen from Ravens yet. Allie, you got time to talk over our scuff play of the game because it's going to take a minute to show you all the highlights here from. The battle between Miami and Carolina, 153 to 94. I think Carolina ended the game with like 109 points. Yeah, it was just a masterclass uh, hard point for Miami Heritage here in this game number four. Their rotations were perfect. They were winning all of their ones. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is the last time these two teams matched up, it was a Miami Heritage 3-0. Again, this was back in split number one, so I didn't think it had a lot of you know weight when it came to this series. But I will say it did have weight in the sense of a vehicle had an absolute masterclass in that series, and he was able to do again in this matchup ending 31 and 13. Lucky's play right here nameless. We are going wild in the green room. He picks up all four members of the Ravens, secures the remaining 20 seconds of that hill and at that point I knew this game was done. Yeah, I mean they're just setting up in there. able to take their time and just force Carolina into the deep spawn like this is exactly what you want to see and what we saw throughout stage one from the heretics right and you know I'm actually impressed by heretics like sticking to their guns squaring with Carolina on yeah. some of their better maps they're like we're comfortable on sub base and we played good against Atlanta on it like Rio we have the right team for it it hasn't worked out but we have the right team for that map and they still give it a shot so honestly shout out to heretics coaching staff for sticking to their guns we have our monster winner spotlight now with Eric boom the man who joins us for stage two and Eric welcome to the winner's circle first time able to chat with you how's it feel my guy about them time man I promise that was I mean that that win feels incredible because I think it's the only thing we needed one win to get all like get the confidence because I promise that if you watched our our practice it doesn't show like it like it makes no sense that we were like zero five you know so yeah. we just needed this this win for to get that confidence back and i promise we we're gonna come back just gotta get that one yeah you gotta start with one eric you know congratulations obviously you know it can't be fun Thank having you. to have those scrims go that way and then not be able to translate it in matches and because of that what have you guys kind of been focusing on to try and get that translation so just i think just motivating ourselves just get comfy just motivate your teammate right next to you and Guys, everything we we do great to get that momentum and get that confidence back. I think it's what uh, like yeah, what we have done this match. Uh, Eric, first of all, welcome to the league. Congratulations on the W. Uh, how that. do you navigate like the mental side of it? Obviously, you know I've been seeing the tweets from your guys' camp, the huddles before the game fives. They just haven't been going your way, and I know that can be very tough on you as a player. So, how have you navigated that side of it? Well, as a rookie wasn't great mm -hmm. it wasn't a great start 
and yeah, well, I was a little bit frustrated because I was like, fuck, you know, we can get a fucking win. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, maybe I'm the problem, but just refreshing, um, regain and go next. That's the only thing we could do. Yeah, we couldn't like think like negatively. Absolutely, Eric, saying on the topic of you being a rookie, trying to kind of make it in that running, tell us about you, you know, what kind of player you are? What do you add to this team? I think I add like, this energy, this passion to this team, because I have two old people and then another one with a lot of experience here in the league. So I just need to you say old get people? the passion and gas them every single time. So they get like really motivated and they just fry and I just do the, the other work. <laughs> I have to say, man, it makes me happy to see you smile. Final question for you, Eric Boom. What is the skincare routine? Who's going to sponsor that beautiful face? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm blushing right now. <laughs> Uh, it's just the first of many interviews. I have a feeling, Eric. Thank you for joining us here on the CDL. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. That's Eric. I don't Boone. know, but That's I think Miami fellow. I think fellow. Fellow situations holding the back a little. Yo, yo, is Parky risen up? Fucking Eric Boom, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's a little res. Oh, he's kind of risen him up, bro. Time for the main event. The main event of the evening. I'm so excited. I might take my clothes off. Oh shit. <laughs> Close on, chance ring on. Oh, I don't need that shit. LAT vanquished the Vegas Legion. I don't need that shit. Yo, Connor just donated. He said it's an end of an era. It's his last super chat. He's no longer going to ask to be coached, he said. <laughs> Hashtag know. Coach Connor. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to hold. Your game with a scuff. I fear he may bring it back. Yeah. You think he's out? So, Tom. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty. Damn, R.I.P. Connor, bro. The CDL operator, weapon blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store. R.I.P. Fucking Connor. Bam, 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 bam. Wait, Tom, you want to lose full? Yeah, what up, bro? So I am going tomorrow night to go watch women's professional volleyball. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay, Ben. I'm going to watch some women's professional volleyball. Why would you lose full over that? It's going to be know, lit. I, I don't know Why if you guys will respect that or that? not. I don't know. People be no, judging sports and watch. What the fuck? Are you trying to get me fucking canceled no, or some I'm shit? Not, like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Like, bro, that's cool, bro. That's fine. Hey, Tom, you're about to say some real fucked up <laughs> shit here, like, but anyway. For real, bro. What did you think I was going to fucking say, bro? I don't know. I'd be like, I don't know. That's how for a good response. But that was, you gave the mature response, and I respect it, you know? Bro, what the fuck did you think I was going to say? <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say anything bad. I, I got nothing against women's volleyball. What, did, what the fuck do I have against women's volleyball? Uh, tickets for 20 bucks. So I was like, bet. Yeah, it's a good watch, bro. Yeah. Go have some fun, man. Go watch yeah. it. Hey, bro. Vibe out. I don't think I'm going to go to the crew game on Tuesday, you know? You know what I'm saying? Enjoy some sports. Yo, you working with Pokemon or something? Yo, are you no, working with Pokemon? No. Yo, don't let me find out. You're working with fuck. Yo, let me find out. You're working with the meat with, with these motherfuckers, man. No chance, Tom. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know I wouldn't betray you like that. Oh, no, bro. And if I was, I'd let you know first, you know? Look, they're all spam. Look, this guy. This one guy, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, lens, nah, lens in the chat. Lens, on, lens in the chat. Lens in the chat. It's all good. It's all Gucci. Look at this stupid ass fucking map, Bokash. What a fucking dumbass map. I can't believe Tyler Clutch has won before. No, this show is crazy. Part of that at all, and the fact that Priesta accidentally mantles the God Heady. Microphone muted. Like I mean, Joel. Listen, you costed me yesterday, Joel. Nice Why should I tell you today? Yeah, you costed me bad yeah. yesterday, Joel. Plus one ten, minus one and a half.
That's the problem. You gave him all the time in the world, and now Ultra have set themselves up perfectly for the barbershop hardpoint. The apartment. All right, I'm tailing Joel. All the nooks and crannies are now full of Canadians. And you have a BZ at 9 and 22, and this is only a 20-point game. You're looking at big plays in the final moments, but Envoy takes down two. Envoy in the front line. I'm tailing. Player life, player life. Negative push. Watch the A-bomb push. Guess, guess, guess. Oh man, you gotta read that 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 super chat from Genitals. I'm not falling for that. What? Jenna, Jenna just super chatted Ben. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. saying that uh that he didn't answer the super chat. Yeah, okay. Jenna, Jenna, yeah, okay. he's saying that that didn't answer it. Yeah. You think you think you think I'm dumb, Tom? You think you think I'm a clown? Like what's going on here? Huh? Yeah. Okay. You think you're slick? That's insane. I don't know that one doesn't. I don't know how to say that without it sounding like genitals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, ask Ben if he knows Mike Oxlong. Hey Ben, do you know Mike Oxlong? Bro, shut the fuck up. Yo Ben, you know my dick in your mouth? You met him yet? <laughs> That's crazy. W stream no matches so him. far. Yo, you guys think the matches have been an L so far? Uh, I thought the first match matchup was alright. The Vegas it, Thieves. It, I it, the first it, match it, was they were great. better than yesterday. They've been the better first than match might have been the best one of today. Miami Carolina was kind of ass. I feel like Miami low key kind of. They just bullied them. them. They kind of bullied them. Yeah, a fellow Which just I went negative expect. 59. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, sorry, bro. That's what happened. You're reading the stat one. I think I'm most excited for this matchup right here. I'm going to be super locked for this. You think? You better be. I was out of the LAT no, no, I, said, I think this is gonna be the best. Like I think this is gonna be the best match. I mean, the match oh. hasn't happened yet. So I don't said, know. But you said I think I'm most excited for this. It's like, no, I might. Sure. I could be faded just. So if Ozzy beat if Ozzy beat Toronto today, so there there is a chance that we get like some crazy six and one fucking tie for games going on like, for the first four seeds. So, days since these two teams met up at depending on if Toronto beat Optic, Optic beat New York, then we get some, some weird shit going on. Showing since the stage five qualifiers of the last game, Optic is finally playing Toronto tonight. Did you just do that off the dome? I did. That's insane. Big brain. Big brain. I also have a producer in my ear. <laughs> oh, okay. That's You're basically fair. a Mentat, Chris. Yes, what let's take a look mean? here at our friends from Toronto. Envoy joining Insight, Scrap, and a man who dropped ridiculous numbers throughout all of stage one, Mr. Kleenex. Yeah, you know, Toronto, the going has gotten a little rough, right? Not as, it hasn't been as easy as stage one was. We had a huge change in spawns, big patch, and, you know, these guys are sort of trying to add some things to their map. Yo, where do you guys go grocery, Sam? Where do you, you go like grocery shopping? Phase, uh, a couple there, of places. A new Publix, Food Lion, Pub Sub. Pub Sub, Pub Sub, if you know it right, you know. What about you, dog? What about you, mud dog? Um, the closest thing to me is Avon's, so I usually just go there. Nice. But what do you go to in Ohio, Ben? Aldi, right? They got Aldi over there? We do have Aldi, but I go to uh, Market District, which is basically a giant You don't go to Aldi? Mm, I'm not going to fall for any Joe. Bro, 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 what? How, did you, how do you know these? How do you even know that? What do you mean? I set it up and everything. I literally set it up and everything. Low-key, I, you... Low I had you when you say, yeah, we have Aldi. I could have been like, yeah, all these balls in your mouth. I had you. Yeah, you just you're, kept you're, talking. Like, yeah, I did have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, just, you just didn't take the time. I just wanted it to be more clean. I just wanted it to be more clean. For the first time in your entire life, you didn't fucking take her out. Like, it's all good. Damn. No, no, I no, no, I took the route. I just got pulled genuinely curious down. where <laughs> you I was took the route, grocery buddy. shopping at. I took the route. Your boy shot his down. gun, so they knew you were there. I was about to go on a rant about my grocery store, thinking you were talking about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go to Trader Joe's. Wait, but listen. See, that's probably fine. I don't know about you, but there's so many places by me, shit's just locked up. And, like, I don't yeah. want to ask a guy, like, yo, California. can you, can you unlock cheese. the fucking toothpaste, please? California like, fucking cheese. Uh, go back to Publix, though. The pub stuff's the best shit. No, no response from this group about the pub sub. Okay, I do like pub subs. Nice. I never had a pub sub. They are good. They're pretty good. <laughs> oh, Aldi owns Trader Joe's. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Actually, they don't at all. This is meat and potatoes in this battle. We the only Trader Joe's around us is the one at Easton. And like, I don't know. I'm not a fan of Trader Joe's. It's like very busy. 
Nah, now where I'm, where I'm, I'm in LA and Trader Joe's ain't busy. No, but I'm the one. You got like a parking deck and everything, bro. You park in a parking deck, boom, you walk in, boom. You... You've been to Trader Joe's, the only one here. It was, it was right across the street from the gym in East End. I mean, I like it, but it, it's also a mixing map, so we'll see. Microphone activated. It has been flawless, and they're searching destroy some of the key things that were bad in stage one. They've improved upon their top five in retaking. The small little things in SD is what they were focused on, and it's been translating the wins. Now, Wegmans is the best shit, bro. Wegmans, Wegmans is the best shit. For sure. And Easton's okay, bro. I, I don't, I, at this point, the only time I go to Easton, to be honest, is if we're going to the movies. That's basically it. Like, I don't, I don't like go out of my way to go to Easton, to be honest. Brought in Texas again, like I said, they are streaking a hard point, but when you get into the nitty gritty, there is some room for improvement. If you're looking at the maps and modes for today's fight, well, you could have expected a few of these coming. Nameless, who has the edge as we are starting things off with a real hard point between two ferocious SMG squads? Listen, my brother, this is about as much of a square up as it's yeah. ever going to get in this series. Both teams feel like they got their best maps until Microphone we get to game activated. five, where Toronto and Optic, like, they just don't. Yo, that Hello. Play it that often. My stream gets 2,000 likes. Will you shave your head? And in the last interview, Kenny even said no. himself, we just no, he will not. making mid-round adjustments right. on terminals. So if we go to game five, Thank you're you, ready for some crazy fireworks. This is tough. I think Optic has a great start of the series right now. That Invasion control, we all know how comfortable they are in it, and they're one of the best control attack teams on Invasion. And then even that Karachi, I'm I would really, Toronto, like, they're, they're Sam, what do you think about Optic? If we get there, they picked, in, they picked Terminal Search over Invasion Search for Serrano. Uh, wait, what? So, Optic was team A in this series, so Map 5 was their pick. Invasion uh, yeah, was the leftover yeah. search, and they could have picked that over Terminal. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll see if we get I mean, there and see if Optic clutch they're it. Also, they also feel really good about their Karachi concepts, I'm assuming. Oh, fidget spinners are out. We're fucked. Go next. Honestly, Yo, you know, Optic 3 0, hammer the lives. Know that they're gonna be in the winners bracket, we are fucked. Team, I'm telling you, I picked comms. Toronto. What do you Optic's 3 0 in here. They're sp they're uh, fidget spinners are out. Optic is 3 0, who, brother. Who do you think has the best nose for fidget spinning? Which Papanya do you think scraps smoke before the match? I'm gonna go with Envoy. He's just. Because apparently Papanya enhances. I'm told Kleenex, Insight, Scrap, ready to go. Apparently, it's a scientific fact. Isn't that right, Ben? Dumbass. Fuck off, bitch. Also, I'm surprised that Toronto didn't pick Karachi Airplane, so... Everyone cheering for Optic to catch New York at the top of the leaderboard Definitely a map set, for sure. Record. Do you think they got their fidget spinners, like, confiscated? Like, like children? Erewhon? Yeah, I know what Erewhon is, but I don't live I don't in life, so... I don't know what their so. thoughts on it are, but... Activated. Even though, like, Rio... ...can be straight up more of a sub-map, I feel like it's easier for Shaft to get lost on Karachi. Like, it's probably easier to track him on Rio. Yeah, I just... Though, Optic's not had a great history on the map, and Toronto's only lost on it was... Toronto was quite good at Karachi. So, I'm, I'm a little surprised that they picked Skibber a hard point. Team B, unless they know something we don't. Maybe they played really good against Optic on that map in scrims. Wait, who has good side on this map to start? Rio or Rio is Optic's pick. Yeah. So I assume yeah, Toronto. Wait, was that last match? Was that clip from last match? Is that fidget spinner shit? Rio? It might be Rio. That Anything's possible because they showed our watch party like two weeks later and just. Did you say they were showing <laughs> watch did. party clips when that didn't happen? They, yeah, they most certainly did. We literally had a discussion with the league about it. That's good. You wait, you talked to the league about it? I think DK did. That's funny as fuck. She's like, "Yo, is there a watch party?" You just peed your head off. <laughs> Answer this one quickly. To the pecs. I literally, when they showed that on broadcast, I literally texted fucking our chat. So I was like, am I just a shithead? Like, not showing up? That's crazy. I thank you. I didn't know that. I'm Sitting in my house five minutes well. away. It's going to be Envoy. Envoy, okay. I'm going to go on Optic, and I think Pred takes over Rio. Pred takes over Rio. Chat, let us know where you're siding with the individual. Do we think the fans picked Toronto? Using some math to Whoa. Do he's winning this hard point. Did they? The fans picked Toronto? Yeah. The fans picked Toronto? Damn, that's well, a it's, it's based on the pick. I'll tell you right now what, it, what this what is. <laughs> I got him again. 
Yo, the, yo, if, the, if everybody's disliking your VOD, it fucks up your VOD, right? Like, it fucks up the, the amount of people that see your VOD when there's a lot of dislikes on it. I have zero. Oh, no. It was Toronto 6535. Those even close. 65.7 uh, versus 34.3 on the fan predictions. It's like, it's a different feeling when you're waking up knowing you have to play against a team like Toronto. Two times. A team like Optic. So the fact that they are going head to head, it's going to be fun. You heard the desk talk about the map set. It's just went around basically the entire way through. Patty P's power just went out. Right in time for the series. For the top four. They're going to find the Pat power went out. At yeah. Some point. Yeah, you watch from his phone. Dude, this is gonna be gotta be a gotta be an optic very, loss very right here. Shotsy point four powers out. This is definitely the match of the week, and we're excited. <laughs> Have it last here for all the European fans staying up late. Sorry, but not sorry. It's just the way. Let's go. Goes here we go though. Map number one into Rio we fly, and it's the man of the hour, Shotsy. We already know that he is impossible to and contain. They're all and the lower level teams, they get body <laughs> by him. Well, on the opening break, Toronto, well, they handle it perfectly well. The nades on Good point. Break. The coordination is there. And, I mean, even better news, you flip the spawns as well, or at least potentially. You're trying to work on that for Toronto as they're collecting the initial time. Lovely opening kills. Shotzi moving. Scrap and Kleenex in the feed there. Still maintaining a nice hold over P1. Holy so shit, the shot. Here. Many angles to worry about and isolating those fights, knowing where the enemy's coming from. It's on the, the Pickham's website, that's where they're pulling from. Microphone activated. It's beautiful as well. I mean, this is as oh, good as the, the time is oh. really Oh my god, he was one at. Ernie's on. Ernie's on. Optic, maybe good news is you believe that. I got Pooped pooped on on the P1. Partially keep the spawns over yeah, towards new. It's going to be saw him cross. with Pred on the right side of the map and maybe an opportunity for Shotzi to make the play be a nuisance on the map. His team Ant is in a great corn. corn. Shotzi, though, oh, we didn't see him? Oh, we didn't see him. Oh, finds himself in. FOV Chi's there. Not expect it. And this is where Shotzi can turn this map into his playground. Beautiful stuff. He's already managed to subdue Kleenex, keep him back, not able to get into the fight inside. AG loves his off angle late on cheese. Towards P2. All Optic Texas so far. Good stuff from them. Keep a hold of this hard point scrap yes really trying to make his way forward the guns ringing out dashing out toe to toe on the point with kleenex wins the fight optic hold good handles as well now it is all just one direction guns looking forward and for 30 seconds on this Jamie time, is not off the best of right now and it's already some rotated some good gunfights coming through inside actually the ribs dashing that here, you can off of the old hot dog stand but in the meantime while toronto is sort of battling for that old time to make sure optic can't Ooh. get it a little bit of square up on the other side of the map and Shotzi constantly behind you. I think almost every one of his kills has come around the boxes section of the map, but now he gets to play the cutoff man. It's run up. They do get the left side spawns. They get to square up with the pressure from Optic clearly present on the hill. Oh, James got to get one there, bro. Oh, he fight. doesn't. Will he get it? Kleenex backs up. Scrap with the teamwork. Fred from up high. Can't get both. Nice yeah, shot. Nice work. Too. Optic take the hard point back. Got the spawns as well. That is the big thing long term. So a nice moment oh, there for the Texas. Window though going to be opened up as soon as Hoptic have one yeah, thing going for him. Kind of double flip. trials yeah. rolling through. It is a Damn, four a man wipe. Break. And the spawns are gone. The hill time gone. Toby's already got Toronto 10 kills. Now, Meanwhile, Jamie's is a banger already. sitting on the one piece. Here on the point. Jamie's got hard bro. New there are tr oh, this could get weird. Toronto's already a new, bro. This could get bad. Be taken care of. Dashy with a trade. A second for him. They need to win these scrap fights. A snap, but not enough. I'll take a still holding it. Fred waiting for his moment to strike. Like Shossy though doesn't wait for a second. Saws on it. Got stung. I think they know he's here. And the final ten should go to Optic. Yeah, now Fred trying to put on the pressure. Right, Optic just is like that time. He's always in front there. I should say Toronto over towards the new time first. Yeah, but they can't feel comfortable. Yeah, I feel like he, he needs to just play corner boxes there. I don't know what go he's well. challenging from. He's going to thrive, but three and seven for the moment. You see, I'm right? really bro, I can't pace. hold it. No, you're not trying to hold it. No, anytime I'm going to do something, I'm going to bounce back and does it even better. A near four man wipe is ultra. Reclaim the time, get back in position, and on void. Bouncing, ready, waiting for his next kill. Significantly outnumbered so far. Can ultra find a few more? Unfortunate back and forth. Oh, never mind. Absolute bloody pandemonium right, here on the outside of Rio. Lovely shots from yep. Scrap. Scrap as he puts Dashi in the dirt. 
Yeah, that's like the extra lethal threat that you have and one of your main AR players can rock an SMG and thrive like he has. I mean, he's putting no, up the Kleenex no, Toronto's numbers. Just so in this map. Scrap, Optic's you know, going the back for the whole time. MVP, yeah. Always going to be there. Right now, cutting off Optic from making their way towards the hill. And the cutoff should be Toronto's already you rotated too. trades to exist. Insight going to deliver. Pred last man standing, though, wins the gunfight. But that is all for seven seconds over towards I mean, the only time Ultra, they front ran is when fucking shots he rotated 20 seconds. Not wrong. Pred 14 and 9, certainly taken over but his team not so much ultra still with a commanding lead still with full control a bit of a help for there from kenny as the Sentex clears the point briefly envoy soaring through the kill feed right. desperately now onto the time optic oh, the counter attack is not quite over nah, yet. Shotsy, i know i know i'm being sarcastic i know taken care of a shot he finds two gotta be careful when you say that i know i know every loser needs full. to respond just to call on that just because there's so nowhere else to fucking play that deal is really like now i'm trying to die either there or just Lick it behind a pillow. Oh, finally there to shut him down. That is the nice little or bounce back close wall moment. There yeah. on the other yeah. side. If, if, still if he lays down on the stairs, like which is the top. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. see yeah. every yeah. trophy, yeah. every player. This hill is being lit up with everything. There's more summit. There's even more leeway. Seconds. It's like you literally I mean, honestly, on real. can't lay. It's like three spots you can play on the yeah. Difficult to collect this time. This is definitely a high octane match. Revenge on this first row. Oh, indeed. Absolute non-stop chaos. Now, as hot as the game may seem, I know one thing that won't be that crazy. And that's the call. Meanwhile, scrap 17-11, Envoy 15-11. Pred still, right? Did we kill him? Yeah, 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 yeah,
as Ultra still climbing away. Oh, it's gonna be a right from Toronto. So nice. oh, you can see the cannot hold a hill. So the They're only losing by like 10. Right now. This is insane. The They've been broken on this field like every fucking hill. Through. It takes all but another second to figure things out. But Ultra with the advantage in the game by a very small margin inside the time as well. Doing the dance to try to stay alive. But the nades and stuns and the players flying over top. You can tell they're feeling the pressure, but the coordination is there. Scrapping Envoy able to light up the feed and still stabilizing and holding on but by god they are just desperate for a trophy it's not stop man anybody my kingdom for a trophy is inside <laughs> in so the engagement now as optic fly for once you want to get the break here no inside right. pulls a couple with him down to the depths of hell well from there we now go why did inside shoot his gun there the side of the map you can't shoot through it. yeah this absolute banger of a map straight so half a step to the left and kill him out last go around was ultra got there first and then shots he just broke it down this time ultra got that's why it sounds like i was trolling i think flash is in the winner's final ladies and gentlemen we have three out our last two or three matches jesus christ and we are now in the winner we are now in a grand final scrap is having a fucking master class on that yeah now the optic fans are all he's done all three of them that is fucking tough you talk about a Bro. game with spawns that are difficult it, to predict. Oh, this is so annoying by Dill. Obviously, yeah. a good job, though, like, oh, like playing away from him. They just played that so well. Holy shit. So much time for his boys. It will amount to nothing. Optic break the point. They've got control now and 20 seconds with their name on it. I mean, you're playing for everything, but yeah, it's still tough to read. And even Ultra getting the split spawn. So this is a hill where you are constantly just head on a swivel. Envoy, though, fighting for these final 10 seconds. Any advantage you oh, get with this small amount Lord of time is going to go insane. such a long what way in Ultra again. It has been consistent. I mean, just good, so slightly ahead of the game. Again, that's oh, the position. Yes, we are. Shotzi he got gun. For the flank, but Big kill on the pinch, though. It, but again, the reads are one thing. The execution is different. Right. They're playing be going on tears should everywhere be on this. Ultra still full control of P1. Uh, let's go, my bad hits. Big money back. Stay alive right here, right now, Let's Kenny. They're not reading Manages that. Just to catch out one, fly forward. Optic with the numbers now. Can they help Hill? Oh, they're dying outside of it. Big trades. Doesn't get a mount for anything. Dashy gets one. Trade it out. Ultra still with a contest. Oh, big trades. Oh, big trades. Oh, this, this is doable. This is doable. Big trades. They get all this oh time that went off the new. This is doable. This game play if you keep the pressure on that. Toronto's not rotating. Make sure you maybe even block those right side spawns again. Again, a situation where Optic are just reading and preparing for the worst. Oh, they got two. It's the square oh up. It God. is the break. It is also there. getting the first two kills, but they've yet to get that time. Still think about the rotation as well. There's They're a big the... win, and that's it. Oh, this is big right here. This is big. They the win here on the map, but they put themselves dangerously close. Optic already looking towards new. Scraps going to oh, right oh, oh, that's, that's big. Is that is so the big. The is now open to war on two fronts. Kleenex taken care of as Optic did. They're pinching. And you got inside flanking too, so you got every member on Optic with their head and on a split. Kill. Oh, oh that might be G. are going for the break. He's going to get maybe, his maybe third not. on this. Well, Optic can't win off this hill. Optic off the time. And he's still getting the kills looking for the new looking for the new envoy in time going to ultra optic have got to find it again and oh, it's to get in. the late break holds it down you've got an open angle now war on one front scrap destroys shotsy holy fuck that's a good trophy again, but nobody close enough to get the time nades from scrap Endless holy shit oh, he's trying to the get behind the fucking hot dog cart there's two the that's there's it. three that's good there's four kleenex drives them back I was a mixing map pro outside to my lot, but of course, him, bro. Of course, Shotzi got a kill at the end, <laughs> and I lost my pick. Holy shit! That was bro, a Optic. really good play from Toronto there. Optic they, they, they front ran the whole like map, but holy hills. shit, Optic cannot hold the hill. Like they got broke so much. Dead ass, bro. Dead ass. For every single spawn out, waiting for the rotation to go through. That was actually well played by Optic though. For I think the slaying purposes, for how poorly they like a majority like their initial pushes went, that was a close. Come out on top yeah that is square up microphone map like good that's trucker. good draw with that yeah. extra edge things starting good well, the Rumble in Rio is over. That was exciting. My goodness. Great plays either side, but just that little bit extra from Toronto. Microphone Ultra, the game activated. Flow will show you that, but before we get that to the stats. I see, that could have looked a lot different. The Kenny scratch, dying in the back was, was big. Yeah, the, the was one scrap killed him in the back. Yeah. I think him dying there and, and Jamie not pushing time after he got that kill. Jamie, like, stayed front. He got a kill and then, like, didn't advance on the map. And the, the spawner that he killed ended up shooting him in the back. 
Yeah, we'll watch. Yeah, we'll watch back the end of the flank, but I think Kenny like, should have played maybe tighter like there. Stat line that we just had to. <laughs> that was fucking. It's actually crazy. Like, Did not actually lead this wire to wire. Damage. Every single player just yeah, about had more on scrap, less on Ant, and Ant got a, his and line was 26 and a half, he got 27, I lost full. 36 kills, but for a balanced score line and a balanced <laughs> game, but it was quite literally, I mean, the biggest hill was just the opening break, right? I mean, Toronto Ultra get 46 to 1 after the fact, every hill, it's a bit so, of a So, uh, Toronto between, picked this next so map, Karach, which is a good optic map, but I've always thought that map, there are... As long as you can continue to play nearly perfect, if you stop Shotzi on this map, I think optic... Can't play pretty predictable, so we'll see if Toronto's so put a little bit of homework the here. They picked it, sure they forgot some counter strats. We'll see, chat, if uh, uh, they shut down Ant in red. It's Ant's go-to on this fucking map, especially on defense. Middle, red, he pinches a lot, like... Optic or like PSG? Optic or the Dallas Cowboys? Listen, Ricky, the best way to talk about Optic is they are the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know what to tell you. Like, the Dallas Cowboys is and will always be like the best fucking thing. You can't really say like. Yeah, no, no, it's it's the Dallas Cowboys. I don't hate Optic, bro. I don't know. I don't know why you say that. That's just an uneducated take. Yo, how we doing? Hello, Ace of Beyond. What's good? Hey man, what's up, man? You know what I was fucking streaming, vibing. I didn't get to watch the map, the map one. How was it? Uh, it, was a, it was a Griff Fest for Is sure. Mixed Fest? Front on slated by a bunch, but one by like 50. Okay. Now we're going to a Karat search, which was Toronto's pick in the series. Chris said $2. Dollars, Kenner Dash is pulling our sub out. Uh, man, yeah, I, I think three subs, by the way. Appreciate the $2, though. Microphone activated. Fuck you, Asim. I don't know why you're telling me to go fuck, fuck myself, but fuck you, bitch. Go fuck you, Zav. Fuck you. Hey, what's good, scene? Yo, what's going on, Sam Aru? Congrats, man. Your team made winners. Thank you. Thank you. I did it all. <laughs> yep, we you did. did it. We made winners. Your, your we did it. Yeah, me and Sam did it. Yeah, me and Eric spawned it and made winners. Vibes, coordination. Uh, I'm gonna feed my dog real quick. Just for a moment, and I think that oh, sort of comes chill. down again to the good comms they have. There's not so much. Air, there's much more airspace. You see Baker Mayfield's hundred million dollar deal. Yeah, yeah with, the, with the Browns. The Browns. Can you believe? Bro, can you believe going from four million dollars to a hundred million? Uh, absolutely. I mean, That's kind of crazy. Uh, like I mean, he's getting other contracts who's making good coin in the fall, though. Oh, has he? Like Karachi, yeah, I mean, he was like a, he's a top draft pick, so. Oh, contracts. Is, uh, original contract was four years, 32. So, three years per year? Yeah, because it's a rookie wage scale, so. Wait, does that mean 32 million per year? No, it was... Probably oh, right. eight mil a year. Oh, okay, okay. There, there used to be so the way it used to work is there wasn't a rookie wage scale, and then a couple CBAs ago they added that. Oh, but he he still has a big jump though, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, you got a bridge now deal. It's, now it's 33, like, shit. Uh, Let's see if Shotzi switches it up and every single spot on a bomb on defense. Let's see it. Let's get a two I got my shit fucking worked every fucking A round, dude. Guys sitting in mail, top bedroom, on the bus stop, like, oh, dude, it's giving me nightmares. thing that is universal, but, you know, he can be a route man as well, leaning towards the A side. Uh, more often than not, a lot Yo, of what up? What's up, man? What up, Asian? What you up to, dude? Over a, but in the meantime, uh, watching the games, taking notes. Does get traded out, Kashan. Get ready for show. What you doing, bro? Avenue. Not too much. Just got back. No way. It's very weird, weird that you still don't say what's up. Does, but he's a little Rip. bit fearful as you should be. Oh shit, he's out. Shotzi able to get that next kill. Just right smoke at a guy. <laughs> hey, here's a one way, bro. Enjoy. Towards me. He's looking like a B hit overall. Those players did not go past him. He's still carrying the ball as well. So I'm with my shit. I'm bad from top three. Maybe more than his spidey no. senses tingling, no, no, no. but he doesn't actually no. see Pred get the plant down. My God, he's playing himself, without a B smoke. Only for a oh moment. my God, he got out. In this two v two. Oh, they didn't have a B smoke because you know. You expect he one oh. way to the bridge, other guy MIA. Wait, that was not terrible the smoke. Yeah, it's fucked it up. Yeah, that was bridge. terrible smoke. Awkward moment. They're going to hunt down Pred. You at least have to get this trade. You set yourself up for the one v one, but they have no intel on Dashy. Damn. Oh. Bruce is challenged that shit. <laughs> on the second attempt. I like it. 
Envoy simply not able Good to handle that kind of gunfight. We will see Dash's POV for that final kill. Hey, a very, wake up. very strong showing. No problem for Big Bruce. Two on the round. Uh, that to me is just great instincts, right? Like, you know, it's Envoy. You know, he's got the rival nine. So as soon as he gets that intel, he's like, well, he's going to have to sprint. Out yeah, both have been playing good this season play. for sure. So Dashy, instead of leaving it up to the finesse Microphone game of activated. Envoy, goes for the instant child, has the advantage with the better gun. So Dashy on point in that round. And Shotzi as well, making a nice little route sort of play. Maybe another one going to come through. Two players at least throwing nades out from Ultra. Looking straight towards the middle of the map. But it is Kleenex that comes out on top. Gets the quick for his blood. But heck, SMG is there to trade. Pred up top being annoying. dashy has got the coverage and optic right seen. now. Just, I think on on. point so far on defense oh, to the point where Pred, I mean, he's already made the play. He's made the play. He's behind number seven. He's behind Insight. And Insight's oh out. Oh my god. So an awkward moment where the lights are on. Oh my no God, all the time. Oh, saw. How many more players yeah, will run past all these one times another? Are insane. All down, a scrap now. 1v3. He's got to find that bomb just down by the B-bomb site and somehow take care of three members of Optic. And this is hopeless as well. Gonna have to absolutely gun some players, but good shoulders being thrown. Dashy even throwing the extra shoulder to know he's getting pushed. And that just means Pred gets to go active. And you got Kenny and Dashy grouped up together. Good shots, shots coming Ooh. through, but it doesn't make a difference. Dashy right now. Nice. He's this is a good round for Optic right now. Point. Yeah. And this is the Dashy that Two so many points. teams are worried about. This is Big Bruce when he's absolutely gunning. Look at the confidence here in the re-challenge. He doesn't necessarily have a huge advantage over Scrap. We saw it from Scrap's POV, but Dashy certainly feeling himself. Immense confidence so far out of the Optic squad. Yeah, in perfect shots as well. Advantage or a disadvantage doesn't exist in certain gunfights when these guys hit every bullet. It's just who gets those first tags. And again, Microphone let's go, Bray. Right, what's good? Focus. Microphone activated. No joyous laughter. It is on to the next round. 2-0 lead right now from Optic on point for the moment nate's coming through as well doesn't look like there's any heavy connection you got envoy being annoying as well talk about a row envoy might have found oh, the space. hole in the net he's got the intel not a shot you can take but he's coming to his team hey they're more pressure over by a gotta be ready for it i mean you're looking at a very very close first and second for the most annoying cerebral players in the league between Shotzi and envoy guys who really do get under your skin and in this point Point directly under Dashi. That's the damage dealt insight. Cleans it up. First blood, Toronto. That is wonderful teamwork as well. Shooting a guy jumping over like that. Now you got Shotzi on the flip side, though, making the other play. So again, the route men on point. Shotzi, this is the part where he is a colossal pain in the ass. You lose track of him. He can be anywhere, like right above you. So difficult to contain. We can see the routes he takes. We get to peek behind the magician's curtain. With the bomb planted now, Ultra have got to make a move. Oh my god. The Kleenex is on. No, 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 no. We'll have to check it. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, if he if he actually got it out of the game. Oh my god. If he had gotten it, I was going to lose it, bro. Oh, that would have been insane. I'm giving fucking all credit to Ken for pulling them together there. Because I bet we'll have to get Ninja. Well, Ken's got, they've got Ninja defused in that situation before this year. No, 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 they didn't. Ken's perfect. Oh my goodness. He's kidding his ass. He's on outtake. Why, why, head ass? Not getting fooled again. I don't know, the Dikembe Mutombo finger wag towards the end. It was close, though. It was a good play out of Kleenex for a 2v3, but yeah, I don't think there's any uh, ninjas on Optic, at least in that sort of situation happening. <sighs> that would have been something. Wow. Well, three to nothing so far with Optic Texas. Looking particularly dangerous here on Karachi. What are we going to see this round? The team shots have been very good. Great heads up play. That stun's going to land. A little bit of information here in the Envoy, the bomb carrier. Soon to be the man who delivers the bomb nowhere. Nice bit of work there from Kenny. Slides on through the smoke. Can he get a kill out of this situation? Maybe. Spots plenty. Big win. The second. Kenny gets it. That's an outstanding Jamie's so getting far. fucking no gunned this year so far. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. Well, Dash is getting active, though. It is a 2v2. And if you try to plant this bomb, you might get caught on some bad timing. Because oh, this, 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 this is the shit I hate, bro. This is the Vegas. This is the trap yourself so in he one corner of the map. The Vegas they're Legion trap right here. Or they're trapped in P2. The patient's on point, and he gets out with his life. Dashy making Ooh, plays get all over the map. running these boys' pockets. <laughs> closes the door. Yeah, but they got to play respawn, Nick. 4-0 in round count right now from Optic.
Some of the best SMD they have played all year, and they're bringing it out in the right match at the right time. Don't count the eggs before they hatch, though. Things are good, but it is not over. You know, Ultra, a team that can absolutely fight back. They got to keep it up. But again, perfect play. I mean, Kenny's picking up pieces, finding the timing on the, the right routes. Everybody from Optic right now getting involved. Wonderful looks out of Optic Texas from Karachi. They are swimming through this one so far. Attacking round now. Kenny with that bomb in hand over towards B. Those eggs might not be hatching, but there are chickens on this side of the map. Let's find out who clucks first. It looks like Dashy, but the trades have gone the way of Ultra. They've just like swarmed as well. I mean, those players absolutely disappearing. Dude, Jamie is... able to get active and catch one, but in the meantime, Scrap, I think, is going to hunt him down. Oh, and he oh just my God. Did you see his camp? Did you see his camp? Oh my no. God. Oh, that's bro, cool. Ernie just tweaked. The rival nine, what a gun. Got a Wait, one. his really camp was crazy right there. Let's get a player cam react from that fight. Scrap, not impressed. Kleenex now 1v2. Fred. Oh. Bang. Wait, his cam was comedy Ultimate right Texas there. With a dagger round. Holy that shit. was the confidence killer. Look at the smiles on those boys. Yeah, he's blowing away on that one. That's just, uh, I don't know. Them's be the break sometimes. The rival nine, absolute shotgun in that moment. Scrap makes the perfect play. That is not a player that misses very often. And I don't think he I wonder did. why Try would pick Optics main search map. This is what me and fucking yeah, Sam. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, that cam was comedy. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this is what Sam and I were talking about before this. We saw the fucking match. Like, mm, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what it is. This might be the seventh 6 0 like stomping we've had in Search and Destroy this year. Toronto Ultra, they found themselves on both sides. They have indeed. Well, you're about to find all four members Their of Toronto, Toronto Ultra here by the beach box side. Pred. I don't know how many red dots he saw on that minimap, but I tell you what. It's looking deadly. Lovely shots. Insight can't keep up with him. One more kill gets Pred and Cruz, which in this round is basically it. Can he get another? Shots, his first blood helps out. Oh! Sugar. And that's, <laughs> yeah, the, the, and that's the game. His job, yeah. <laughs> Got of counts. Inside now, 1v3. They got fucking slant. They just got fucking speed bread. Get it done. Shots, he wonderful damage. Not enough to get the kill, but plenty to make him move. Optic are holding hands. You will not I be fighting Jamie one is at a good, time. But not this unless good. by some stroke of magic. I mean, there's just simply no way, right? I mean, bomb downs over toward B, 35 seconds to work with. You're going to have to guns just straight up at least two different players, if not all three. And nobody's giving away any freebies. Kenny's just going to be throwing shoulders. You already got the intel playing his life as well. You get time to flank. This is going to be a oh goose dad, egg. This is Optic is wild. dominating Toronto Ultra on one of their best maps. I was going to say, 15 seconds to go. There Yo, is no they way. just He's fucking I just got speed ran at them. Green. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a questionable map choice out of Toronto, not gonna lie. God damn. Right Holy. Well, that's a good map from Optic. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to bounce back. It's a great map. It's a great map there. Number seven on the year, I do believe. Ultra, I think, are responsible. They've been a part of four of them. I think they're responsible for two. But a wild thing to see Ultra getting goose egged again in stage two. I mean, they were on pace to maybe break the search and destroy record for the number of wins in a row. But now we go to a gritty invasion control. Kibachi, and for Optic Texas fans, got to be happy with that SD performance. There is literally nothing you could possibly complain about. First blood's on point. Big plays from every single player across the uh, board. Can we get the scoreboard? What are we looking at here? Maybe for Pred, just a, a little bit of electricity. What are we doing here? Hello? Man's gun. There we go. Rifle, invasion uh, search was right there. Invasion search was right there, search was right there for them to pick. Map two in this series. You know Optic's not that right good at it. Yeah, you pick Karachi. Is it fucking dance. choice from Toronto? No I'll tell you that. Though, just yet, we might be getting a third base here on invasion control. That's map number three to find who takes the lead in this series. Skid Row and Terminal to get to that end of the series. And again, we've talked about this. The desk touches upon it. That Terminal is a spicy one for both teams. We'll see what happens there. See if Optic can make those mid-map adjustments. We'll find out if we have to go to game five. Way ahead of ourselves, friends. We're going to go to a quick break when we come back. It's time to play control. Don't go too far. It's Optic Texas. It's Toronto Ultra. This is the same. Well, you try bet to hit. Well, the. The three legger is looking good. Right now, Ant's got one more kill than Envoy. And I feel like Ant's going to feast on the next two maps at minimum. As far as the minus one and a half, I need Toronto to win the next two maps. With the executive what I need. Chef operator. Now available in game in the Call of Duty store. I mean, maybe the only thing I can think of is that Toronto figured if they were going to take 
Invasion, then Karachi would still be in the series because Phase because uh, Optic would pick a game five. Is the only thing I can like think of? You know what I'm saying? That's the only that's the only thing I can think of. But we're gonna do an invasion control. This one's a bit of an interesting map. Um, you know, Toronto's D said this map. They have a winning record. Optic four and two and Toronto three and two. So they're really both about the same on this map. So we'll see if the square up goes in someone's favor. And then we go to a skitty. So Toronto's Toronto, the, the map decisions here on map two and four can come back to haunt Toronto in this series, depending on how it goes. Or, you know, it can look situate it can look fucking great if they win the next two. I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna run the bathroom real quick though, Chad, be right back. Is it me or do we just keep seeing invasion so much, guys? Microphone. Uh, yeah, uh, I will say right that uh, I am so much, bro. What was the ban in this one? So Toronto had the opportunity. So High Rise got banned, and Toronto could have picked Karachi, which they have a good record. Optic is a good record, and they picked Invasion, which both of them are like pretty even. Talk about S and D, Ben. No, I'm talking about Control. Well, Tom, Tom's talking about S and D. Oh, I don't know why. I, I the only thing I can think of for Toronto. Is that they figured that Optic was going to pick Karachi Game Five anyway? So, was it would you rather have in Terminal in the series, or rather have Invasion in the series? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything go. about Invasion being played bad. I'm just simply saying that this map is dog shit. And I'm tired of watching it. That's all I'm <laughs> saying. I just, I just don't just want to watch any, any, all, gone, any and all Invasion. Wait. You know what I mean? I just don't want to watch it. You're, you're, I'm, you're, done, I'm you're, done. I'm done. I'm over you're, it. Bro. You don't like I'm a good gritty it. Invasion. I just hope that team, like I know teams are gonna vote biasly, of course, but I just mm. hope that it, it shakes out so Invasion is just gone. I, I like Invasion S and D. Like it's not too bad, but I mean we're going into another Invasion Control. But I don't know how many Invasion Controls I can watch. I actually don't mind this one just because. Both these teams are very good at offense. Well, it doesn't matter with these two teams because anything they play is going to be interesting. I mean, Tom, I, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I, I think we, I think we're going to start buying teams off in the vetoes, bro. I think we're going to start throwing some cash together and telling teams if you win the coin toss, we need you to pick this map. Yeah, yeah let's do that, man. Yeah, especially at the end of the season when people have already qualified for champs, you know. I need Vista, dude. We'll, I think Vista would we'll give me the most amount package of and make sure. I feel like Vista would give me dope too. End of Parchers. I, really, I don't know if Departures are going to be there, but I want at least Vista. To your point about Control, though, Tom, do we know if Vista or Departures Control is good? Do we know if anyone's tried it? Uh, mm. I haven't tried the Controls, nah. I, I got oh, you, I Kyle. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you for that fucking super chat. I hear Sorry you. For Bro, chat, Sorry stop for saying Hotel Inn. We don't got Hotel in private games. Hotel what do you want to do forever, about? chat. Sam, look at you. You're on fucking stream right now. Let's go. Look at me. Yeah. To map number three, look at me. The so far Here I am. Look at me. Very, very spicy. Serious, sure sir. Online. You can watch the show in person. Come on down to my and let's go to the five dollar super chat. Ben, my pants are off to the map. That was a great s and from the other boys. Simple map. Find up on one. Appreciate the five dollar super chat. That code, maybe the microphone activated. Maybe if you put your phone, I don't know, if you're watching this on a mobile device, good luck. I think you can screen grab this. There has to be a solution in there somewhere, but do what you can to grab yourself a major two ticket and come to the game of G. Yeah, this, this, they're absolutely. making a very funny point about, about that graphic. Do you hear what they just said, Sam? Again, it's going to be a good time. You're going to see these teams in person, up close and personal. For some of them in the splash zone. So let me tell Bro, you. Muted. they made a really good point about that fucking ad. What's the point about having an ad with a QR code if people are watching on PC or on their phone? What are they supposed to fucking do about it? They really didn't think it through, did they? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Bro, what's the, what's the point of that fucking ad?
You, if you're watching on mobile, you can't scan, scan the QR code. If you're on the, if you're on your computer, you can scan with your phone. But when you went just fucking URL, you can type it. You know what I'm saying? All righty, gentlemen. Phone activated. And they're on the made it to the point. Explosivo start. Kleenex on the absolute snaps. Pressure out from optic on towards that. A yeah, He's trying to get the players out. They do shots. He's the man to get in there and slice on Voy up. Kleenex trying to hold position, trying to hold this forward spot. Shots he's going to keep him at bay. So far, so good. Toronto find themselves over by B as well for now, and this is a very, very clean kill feed for the boys in purple. This is just unbelievable patience by Kleenex as well. If he had ever like taken a step forward, shots he would have killed him from the sort of window jump up. But if the kills weren't going their way to actually capture A, got to make sure you play your life. Oh, that need control. Someone needs to watch Dark and bounce. someone needs a trophy. A peach of a nade right, right there just to eliminate the players from the B zone. Make your life that much easier. And Scraps over here taking routes. He doesn't have much team support right now, but every kill he gets is going to soften the blow. Right. Oh or my god, and actually got away. I didn't see him. He didn't see him. He didn't see him. No one's going to turn. Couple tags coming through. There's number one, and he's doing his job just by staying alive. Straight on the eyes towards the sports as well. Oh, oh come on. Shots. He's playing real good tonight. Nice tags. There's the damage from the rest of the boys as the reinforcements arrive. The cavalry is certainly here. The shots he is still in ooh, Pinch ooh, City. Ooh, ooh. And fuck somehow is, still alive? is evading danger. I don't have a clue them, as to oh, how he has oh managed to survive this situation for so long. How the fuck is he alive right now? B is still in danger. The problem is the guys with the hop on fucking A though. Hold on. Oh, they'll get the last cross. Oh, here it is. He's just made his way to the A zone. He's got Kleenex as the cutoff man. So shots he's free is fantastic. He's got a cruise that is great long term. Turn, but in the immediacy, oh God, he's 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 to get it these players off the of A, Shotzi's still him. a cutoff man. Nah, no him. one else on his team is repositioned. Is Shotzi versus crying. the world. Nah, he's Can his him, teammates bro. get inside off the point? Thank you. They did give away an extra oh. tick in the meantime, but Holy if you keep fuck. them off B, this is a three. beautiful, a gorgeous round right now from Optic. They are enjoying this one right now. What a round of control this young man is having. Cruise there, 50 seconds ago, he could play. And pass for Christ and Gabe, he just fell to his knees in the Walmart parking lot. And got past power though, holy shit. He's on a 10 streak, but he hasn't died. He's in town too. Oh my god, bro. That's the what round. the what fuck? Around that he is fucking for a while. Nah, he's him. Nah, he's him. He's him. Damn. Lupe that was fucking Fiasco insane. Many years ago, nah, that kill on Bill when he was stunned front this ice cream was fucking insane. That was insane. He played this one kill for the three. I have reached out to Patrick Price for comment on this first round of control. I'll let you know when I hear back. Good job of picking apart the spawners before he even turns to help. That's literally perfect. Every child, every reposition, playing your life, going for the ego. I mean, talk about, I don't know if that's like a top five player or what you want to call it, but one of the best played oh, rounds of control God. you are ever going to see. Right from my, plus my, my, my fucking head yeah, to head, by the way. Stuff. Well, on the other side now, we've got Toronto Ultra Dylan on defense. Seven, where they get fluid and it's yeah, he's in the head to head against Amp for me. Were there. Wonderful, wonderful start to this invasion control. My goodness. We're still on board with shots. He's got to retract his take now, guys. You're going to learn very quickly that Patty's going to hold the fucking line. He's just going to go blue and be the way to turn the world into Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's got to get traded here, right? Thank fuck. I'll come up with the nuke, bro. Lucky number 13 for shots. 13 and 1. His first death in three minutes. The man pulled off the double Drake, and now you just have Optic pinning Ultra. Double Drake? Double Drake? Did he just call it a double Drake? He did. I was going to say, you got to check every corner as well just to kill Fred. The amount of map control optic has you're never comfortable you're begging for some trades luckily for scrap envoys there to help you out but now oh you're my scrap, God, you gotta deliver that. against shotzi and he does yeah, Todd takes. So the trades on point ultra finally able to stabilize yeah, well, that's until the B zone is already secure optic can set themselves up beautifully honestly if i'm then if you ever get that like cafe control get pushed up in rugs get players behind enemy lines i'm calling in that cruise straight away middle of the map still being held on he's in sight at range man a lot yeah, yeah, right of right are now. going fucking through it Ukraine yeah after this some stuff here comes good. the next attack yeah. from optic they've made it through the old b zone that side of the map's all theirs stun check but no one's i have a response from patrick price you guys curious <laughs> yeah what are you saying pat patrick price said what <laughs> question mark that's how we know he's not a superstar getting excited over some random invasion control defense round 
come no one finds it. Comment for Patrick Price regarding that last is, round. Every, there you go. Dude, every death. He started off 13 and 0 against the major one champions. are going insane. Yeah, Shotzi breaking records against the best team in the world. Leaving absolutely no room for doubt. <laughs> Not that there ever was. Now from Optic still though, trying to get out of their spawn. And Shotzi, the most aggressive player on the map. He does not last for long. But still though, A Street, nobody's pushed up to the bridge. It's 55 seconds right now on the still game. Still is having Optic a right now, fucking bad one. Hunting for that clean three or four down. Beautiful it's shot us. out of insight. My word. I need a few pixels of Kenny's head there available to work with and he gets it. That gives Ultra a nice life lead. 18 to 13. We're looking at 35 seconds on the clock. Again, Jamie Craven keeping the middle of the map safe. Pressure is now on. Here comes Kenny. Optic with a bit of space <laughs> to work. I can't even get across the 50 yard line right now. Trauma's though, playing again. as well. You still have the crews, but with this much time in the game clock, I don't know if they're going to find the moment yeah, to actually make crews, that investment. Yeah, you definitely do not shriek. Oh, no, I've been sitting on eight, eight point, point for a minute and a half. And it's the best to strap on the hall. Two and 11, looking for his third kill. He's going to get double challenged. Good damage. Mm. He gets at least one, but here the comes the flank. Here comes oh, Shotzi. He knows he's going to win it. He's forcing out the deep spawns. He's getting his boy over towards time. Oh, my God. Oh, he's still playing. Kills too. Dodge some nades, but the nades are oh coming my through God. as Shotzi is eviscerating you. 4.9 seconds fuck. on the clock. No option for a stack. It's just right. around. Like oh I'm not going to say about a master class invasion offense. What are you going to say about that? Who the, the fuck got it? Was that Jamie that got fucking fried? This could be the most unbelievable turnaround. Yo, Shotzi is him, bro. That was so insane. He's him, bro. Shotzi is fucking him. Coming through a stack just yet. Shotzi is eviscerating you. Force. Here comes the flank. It's a master class here in the S and D oh, and in the control. Yeah, now that now they, they got a defense the, and they got streaks. This is talk. This is over. This is over. This is over. Joel, you just cost me money for all the time, Joel. Dude, was it? Dude, Jimmy got fucking spin bottled. He actually got shit on. Holy shit! Spin bottled. Spit shine. Thunder clap. Right now, as the Y two rounds in, nineteen and four performance. He's nineteen and four. Round five, Shotzi. He'll break the kill record. Shenanigans on invasion. Ultra, though, far from over. Okay, fine. Dude, Shotzi is. He can do zero one. wrong right now. This is insane. Is he about to relax? Yeah, he is. He should shriek. The work they managed to get done there over by the A side of the map. He's just gonna black out. He's gonna kill. He's gonna fuck running at people. Yeah, he's real fucked. I shot some cleaners. Okay. Shotzi, his fifth death. Yeah, Bro, they have a neutral yeah, host. They have a neutral host. So there's no one, no one's on the host. See what, you see what happens doing when you, you, you put an MCW in zone, and talented sub through. players in. Yeah, because Scrap had a sub on right on Rio just pissing. Yeah, true. Oh, okay. Can we get picked out of fucking A, bro? You're not winning the fight over towards B either. Maybe good news though. Looks like someone got beamed out of the zone, but it doesn't mean the pressure isn't still on. Yeah, Tubby's got a one. He's got a trophy though. He can't play the play as a trophy. Team. Right now, he's just dancing, trying to stay alive, doing an Jesus electric Christ. job as well. Oh, he's bought God. his teammates a lot of space. He still have to get the kill zone for the here, moment. Actually. Ultra struggling to deliver. Maybe just a one v one gunfight for time. Yes, done. And they yes, done. And they. Oh, oh Jamie is shit. getting world star this yeah, series, bro. I've not seen this guy win a, man, he can't, he can't win a big gunfight. Yeah, he really can't win a fight. He can't win a big gunfight. Very, very solid attempt towards that at his own. A single segment is all they've captured. Two more to go. As Optic now set up for the hit. Shots he back at it, he goes back on well, his. It's kind of crazy. It kind of has all their kills. The of this map. It is one pause. Everybody else is. To to break the kill but at this point in time, all he wants to do is keep those boys away from the zone. As much. Job I mean, stay a right there. You're just not going to be able to go to round five. In the meantime, by the way, Scrap has 21 as That's well. Good so corn. it is certainly a Break battle corn. in the kills department. Corn. Yeah, this guy can literally do no. Every play that he is thinking in his head is the perfect one right now. He's insane. He's fine. Supreme flow state. Yeah, right uh, to control, but as soon as they hit the 50 yard line, they are getting completely these buffers, shut down. Bro. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's corner to corner. Can't these buffers, and we're not here. talking about Michael Buffer to go. Very, very little long range gunfights outside of what we've just seen. Thank you. And everyone from Ultra do what they can to find these kills decisively. Preds on a massive flank right now. He's about to get himself a couple. Slowing down the hit from Ultra as they are just unable to really get the ball rolling. Wow. Unable to find that momentum. Optics still holding it together. He's, He's doing whatever he wants. Yeah, he's he's doing there's two whatever he wants. Does Shotzi want to flank or does he want to rat back and help his teammate when this happens? He's going to rat back. He's going to gumbo these guys. Watch. Coming through from Bruce. 
I want to see 360 Blaine's somewhere. Blaine's so smart as well and so patient. But everybody's oh, grouped up. Stuff. Everybody's right here. This is the big hit. Ultra, they get the first blood. Find a few more kills here and you're laughing. No. That could be it. We could oh, be now wow. to the point. Dashi's got to do something absolutely unbelievable. Oh, he actually crossed? Take down what many the members fuck? of the Toronto Ultra roster. Two of them on the inside. Dashi goes for the slide. They can get the win right here. Big Bruce finds one. Somehow they get the take out of there. Shit's over. Yeah, yeah, is. It's just, I've been in straight up. I like it. <clears> the cruise is here. 25 and 8, dude. Oh my god, he's going to get ready. Three piece. Oh no. One round away. Players out completely exposed. He only picks up one, but it's a 3 point system optic easy gun fights, but that is yeah, that's a pretty good. master class performance. He's got a 3.0, bro. Oh my major, god. I'm practice trying too. Shocked if Ultra run invasion back again. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh they got shit slammed. That was fucking so right insane. Green had a very big part to play in a historic invasion control. Jesus Christ. Optic with all the momentum Optic right now in the series. Nah, this guy It's the composure and the resolve of Toronto. Well, Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. The series. Will we get to Ladies and gentlemen, what did I tell you? For now, we're basking in what has been a very good series I picked Toronto. So Optic's far. winning his shit. Hey, dude, I know around Shotzi, there's been a, a lot of yapping just for like the, the sake of it in a sense. But I think maybe the most telling thing was an interview Shotzi had a few weeks ago where he was just talking about through stage one, he's playing with new teammates. Like he goes from playing with Hook in Modern Warfare 2, who believe it or not, has a slightly different play style than Pred. And there's an adjustment period to get used to it. But Shotzi said that he's found his stride, that he is much more comfortable and my God, is he showing it off? He went on a 13 spree. That's ridiculous. He double cruised. Microphone. Yeah, muted. Envoy got put in the fucking blender of that map. But. Uh, in control against the best team in the man, game. Man, it's fucking Brian, bro. We have our highlights from this. Uh, matchup, uh, not only your highlights, but it's also our scuff play of the game. And yeah, you guessed it, boys and girls, it's just Shotzi. What an unbelievable opening round he had, start to finish, a masterclass from the young wizard. And I just love the looks too. Again, it's like down to the detail, the number of things he's doing is perfect. Every child reposition, the decision making on when he wants to jump on the gunfights and go for it. When he's living inside their base, it's like the wrap around. You're feeling the pressure when Toronto's capping the A zone. Still plays for the spawners first before he turns around and like, he quite literally was Mr. Do It All. He was everywhere on the map. And again, just a player that is impossible to keep track of. He had to like three piece ultra before the first. We're gonna head to a skitty. This was Toronto's pick. They will start on the bad side of the map. So Optics going to win the just break, and then it's gonna come down at P2, man. The they need really Jamie inside, who's probably gonna be the one sitting at P2 to really, 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 really get it fucking going now. Because the ARs at Toronto, outside of oh, sorry, Scraps had a good map, good series so far. Envoy, even with that bad map, three had a good first map, but. Haven't gotten uh, the best shit from Insight and Kleenex so far. I'm thinking this is actually. The stats are incorrect. Hold on. I refresh. It's not. It's not correct. I was like, hold on. Man, these, 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 these tell us don't make sense here, bro. On the flank? Oh, you mean you mean you mean from from uh, Pat and Chris? You mean? But Shotzi had a life where he's playing over by the A zone just around cafe didn't get a kill for 45 seconds but you can see the sort of work he's you mean it's just it's two like, people bro just understand the map control that two is people like the, re the rest of us live in fucking reality bro please learn from Shotzi. you're definitely not all right envoy's got a 0.76 toby a 0.84 give me a 0.81 ever since we're not outside of scrap got the game fucking slammed so far with that control blowout so yeah this might be a 3-1 Microphone. It could be. I'm feeling a 3-1 be just because of the sole fact that Optic, the way that they won, the way that they won maps two and three. I'm about to be 0 for three in predictions today. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> but it's actually fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm about to be 0 for three. So this is Toronto's map pick, so I assume they're on bad side. So they need fucking a great P2 fucking all here to like knock it absolutely well, fucking piss land three maps in a row <laughs> yeah, uh, well, again, there's only so much you could do. Like, trying to replicate Shotzi's gameplay at times can be a recipe for disaster because there are very few players in the world that are actually that good. But... Yeah, but the call. This is egregious winner. It's 
tweets coming through. Shotzi, stop it. They're dead already, says Nolan. Stop it. It is a masterclass. It really has been. I mean, look, there's a lot of these tweets. There's no doubt about it. We're all talking about it. Hey, Johnson, the series ain't over, though, though. Series ain't over. That is still the true thing. It is still Toronto Ultra. It is still a hard point we're going into. Let's go. I'm hitting it two no times, guys. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah. just keep the tweets rolling. How many was that? Let's go, guys. 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 let us go Map, but that's because their holds and breaks are basically second to none so they're take are happy to take that exchange we get 50 seconds on p1 and we trust ourselves to break down the money hill because even if they don't it's virtually just going to be a tied up game a couple trades though getting exchanged at least no flanks are coming through maybe envoy toying with the idea of working through garage but right now optic just trying to pressure the man on point pressure is the name of the game and they are winning it so far Boarding our fly. You've got a bit of space to work with. Kenny checks every possible corner. You know those players will be coming out of tunnel. Have to That's move quickly. Stun. Get involved, Kenny. Target it down against Kleenex up close and personal. Yo, the Jamie has there. not the shot his done. weapon. Last two members of Ultra. There we go. The walls are closing in around them, there but in sight. Diamond. Right, we're back in it. Absolute SP2 gritty fucking holes. Doesn't go down. Ultra hold. Yeah, absolutely on point. Ice in your veins. It is not easy. Well, it's extremely easy to be the guy in the hill in those moments if your teammates have good comms, but it gets a little bit nervy when the jump ups happen. And maybe better news from Ultra. Not only My do they get the God. full 60 effectively on the not slow down on rotation, an opportunity to at least be a new scene. AG's having a sneaky good series. I know, too. Yeah, I was going to say, AG, AG's going deliver. under the radar, bro. He's been playing really good. No, but we're not talking about shots. He's like getting the shine, but AG's having a really good series, too. Most damage last map P3. too. He's Tesla he's been getting in the mix, bro. Here it comes. Oh Jesus! Oh boy, gets it done finally. Contest. Oh, great break from Toronto. Oh, What's for What's Alta gonna do here? Your channel was kicked from, from the server. I'm about to say, yeah, I had, had an NBA joke, but we'll hold that for the show. Victory. Drills with a super chat, you pigs are atrocious, go fuck yourself. Hasn't died yet this game. Four now. Nice. Fucking drills, bro. Fucking drills, man. I took his SR earlier if it makes you feel better. That does make you feel a lot better. Thank you, Sam. Optic now with another chance to hit this one. Try to get the break. One side dealt with the other done. But then he dodged a hacker for me. Jimmy is 5 and 0. You don't want to be going there. One off the stick for you. Barbershop. Envoy trying to get involved. Dashy on the god steps. Good row by Optic and actually doing what people should be doing. I love this. And getting a chopper's boy. All good. That's good shit by Ant. Like that. Free life. Talk about the longest life. This is a three minute straight. He's got the cruise missile. He's blocking the back spawn. And now for one of the worst hosts in the game. We just bang this shit out. W Nage. Exchange a gunfire on the inside. It's a very, very close space to be battling in. Looks around. Nobody home. That's fine. The top mid bottom mid spawn one time. Oh, good pinch number eight. There for Ultra. They've got to dig in now and try to deal with the counter attack. His optic's still very close. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll be playing this well. Or trying to finish this Oh, and they got row. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah, uh -oh. now they've got to read the spawns. The right three players. Optic has to hit old here. Gas form to read it. Everybody turns around inside. There's number Jamie's not that, by the way. That was first half. He's finally going to fall, but on the rotation, Ultra. Way I just wasn't even paying attention to that. That's insane. Jamie didn't die for four hills. He's for fucking four hills. He he's, like, he's like, he's like probably a minute and a half to a minute 45 of fucking hell time, too. He's actually crazy. Unbelievably involved so far. 13 and 11. Put them together, and what have you got? It's not Bibbidi Bobby Boo. It's engagement. Well, maybe, maybe so for all of our crises in the Toronto map, too, they might have been might have been cooking with this map for a Time going their way. Uh, this, series like, is really this, this is good. This is good. This series is good content. Ticket, but you can see they're concerned about the garage flank. You start running down. Scrap's got an angle, getting out some damage. You got I need to Ken to there for the cross turn up, bro. Fire with Envoy in the setup. He's not had a good chopped already. Yeah, because he Jamie's got that straight too. Which yeah, is this shit might be over, bro. Free from Kleenex because the nade is on point and
Vulture here is their resolve. Is how uh, uh, yes, the first kill. Where was it? I wonder. Unbelievable okay. defeat on invasion, and they bounce back magnificently. A couple down though. Here, is that enough to turn the tide in Optic's favor? We'll find out. But as the first set's done, chance a very strong look out of the purple team. Yeah, not a perfect full 60 on P5, but Ultra is certainly happy and going to cut their losses yeah, for the final 15. Should be chilling here, yep. Right now, Ultra oh have dominated God, the Money Hills. And now even towards P1. This is where Optic oh. got more than half of their time was on this very P1. And right now, Ultra, you can Optic see they've got break the swarm in the kill. Or this game could be the Insight is 8-2. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. least active... They can't even rotate. They literally can't, can't even go P2. Play. They have to hit this. Rival at hand. Can he take care of any more of these players? Chelsea finds a two beast on the inside of the hard point. Here come the rest of Optic to try no, to it's fine. No, no. I just want to mark that Jamie's Ernie. eight. Jamie's eight, eight and two right now. Path. They can test it for a moment. Generational. He's got, he's got generational. Oh, so he had Jamie. Two minutes. I right know, bro. He's, 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 he's got more than two minutes, I think. Yeah, he's got a rich Probably like 215. I mean, I'd love to know if oh, fucking Cog guys are going to bust it. Oh, tunnel pinch. Uh oh. Really good pinch, but they're obviously in the unwinnables. Ah, scrap control the rotation. Yeah. If you're Jamie, probably just hold the streak. You don't use it for this, right? Or do you just try and fucking. Nah, they killed, they, they killed one, I think they should shriek. Since that guy crazed out, I think they'll shriek. They will win the game. There we go. Ultra trying to get the break so far. The money kill. We're just sprinting at tunnel like they're not gonna be there. No currency conversion just yet. 45 seconds to go though. A little bit of time to get it done. Oh, he will not be Holy fuck. To get the break yeah, the just put his head off. Dang. What they can to keep that pressure so. on. Not when Dashy There's just not like a better like streak opportunity for the rest like of the game. Other than until it gets like P5. P5. P3's like, like, like a mid. Dashy like if you don't want like this like game, to get, game to get to a P5 if you're Toronto. That's a moment where I think you get up to the craze 99 out of 100 times. But Bruce... Gonna be the man that stamps it. These are the big gunfights to win, by the way. But it's Kenny from yeah, down low that helps him out. So there you go. That is tough with a dead body just sitting on the ledge. For it. They yeah. are able to secure it. The opportunity to get back in this game very much alive. On the rotation, though, Toronto Ultra are gonna be holding the back spawns. They're gonna be towards new first, and it doesn't look they like they're gonna live on the flanks just yet. Shots are gonna do it from up top. All the together. Oh, this is a big break here if they can do this. Oh, this top, bro, they have so many layers right now. This top mid guy. I mean, Ultra so 1 when they brought the P4 and changed the P5. Yeah. Is, they're just staying ahead of the game now. They don't even need to stay ahead of rotations. And good. Uh, window pinch. Nine, nine, six, dude. I didn't see this whole time. This is insane. Really flank. If you go through top P1, players for Toronto were nearby. And any kill they get yeah, from Optic is yeah. just getting traded. I got too far away from Optic. They're chasing the game now. And unfortunate right now from Optic, not only do they have to rotate, which there's no time to do. Not 10 and 6 with a shriek is unreal. That is so weird. You're not going to be able to get it done. He has three minutes. He's got to have three minutes, bro. He's got to have three minutes. There's no way he doesn't. He's got to have three minutes. Other end. Map five. Get terminal search. Terminal we never seen Toronto play it. Terminal search. We never, we never seen Toronto play it. We, we did the first time red against Optic. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. We got ourselves a series, guys. Holy shit. Thank god, bro. Oh, thank god, dude. <laughs> And I'm just curious oh, as to what sort of like absurd stat line is going to be thrown up in the map five. Like we had the map one Rio that might be the most balanced sort of score hard point sheet that we've ever real had in terms good. of damage and like output or at least that one does first little shaky, but... for both teams. Then we well, had bro, imagine how to win this in Nezlo Tor. Are we counting in Nezlo? Like, again, yeah, we are. Two, three, five. Exact same score line, by the way, on the opening break there. People say Nezlo is like two, four, or five. Or we gotta be two, three, five, right? Nah, Nezlo's two, three, five. That's the exact same. That's because who said who said Nezlo's two, three, five? People call Nezlo just one respawn nowadays you know, instead of two, three, five. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like two SDs, one respawn. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Bro, I gotta see Jamie's time. Please give us a hill time. I need to see Jamie's time. A rarity struggling on skid route. They don't even, what are they not even show that shit? So Might pull up like the in game scoreboard. And see what they have an in game. I'm waiting for a uh, breaking point usually get to pretty quick too. On Skid Row. And again, that was the performance from Kleenex 27 and 20. Nearly 5,000 damage. Massive work from them. But that is just another chapter in this saga 
of the build-up towards Major 2. Optic Texas have pushed Ultra the distance. The last search and destroy in the series was a 6-0. The invasion was a 3-0 in control. And now in Terminal, we've heard how they've struggled in the mid-game adjustments. The desk touched on it before. We find out how this one goes down. What a marathon this series has been so far. An absolute I'll tell you right now. I think, I think it's out. And folks, we're going to the major. We're fucking we breaking points. What's that, person as well. Charles, how you feeling, mate? I do just insane. I feel like my head's in a blender. Kleenex yeah, just had 47 yeah. engagements to Insights 19. So two very <laughs> different styles of Call of Duty being played. And as you pointed out, a one in five record on Terminal from Optic. It has been their pain point, their focus, the place they need to make adjustments. And for Toronto, it's just their first look on it. It's a brand new map for these guys to see how they play in S and D. So very interesting to see how deep their map pool actually is. We'll find out after the break, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new map for Ultra, but for now, it's a commercial break. On the other side of this one, Game 5, Optic Texas have done the unthinkable. Can they take Ultra down? We'll find out after this break. Microphone muted. Well... <sighs> This is, listen, this is going to be like the toughest L of all time if, if Optic loses series now because it's like, bro, it's like, bro, we did, we put in all this shit. We put in all this work and fucking we, we lost a terminal SND. Like, that's, that's that, you know? Like, goddamn. Yeah, I'll have to give five six three and we'll see. The tough thing for Optic, bid. You probably you're probably no tape on Toronto on this map outside of like scrims. Maybe someone sent you some scrim film, maybe you have it yourself. And Toronto's got infinite film on Optic on this map. So Both teams losing a map pick in this one is kind of hilarious. It's been been a gritty one. Been a fucking gritty one. I'm trying to see this hill time when it pops up because they haven't updated yet with the hill time. I want to know how much hill time Jamie had, bro. I want to know. But chat, we'll be flip switching on over to Twitch um, after the series. Getting ready for the flank. And then probably some club skis afterwards. Probably a little bit of clubs after. Love camera has been struggling a little bit. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, there's, there's only so many kills to go around on the map. So... There's only so many kills. Uh, I'm gonna win this. Uh, I'm gonna win this fucking other bet because Ant's got 74, Envoy's got 56, so that one is in. So today we are. I made eight, bro. Chat. As I made. <laughs> I made 80 cents today, chat. I made fucking 80 cents, bro. Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Oh, uh, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? I made 80 cents today, bro. I start off today with $85 and now I'm at 85 and 80 cents. Uh, the player picks are the only shit they hit, by the way. All the other like random shit that I did today just did not. The player, all the player picks were on point though. All that we, we predicted, we predicted all these head to heads correctly, which is nice. Even the crap in Nero hit, cause that just seemed crazy to me. That one was that one was a nail biter though.
guys, welcome back. Game five is moments away. Terminal us indeed. We've got Toronto Ultra, we've got Texas, and it's going to be an absolute delight. The series so far has been a nail biter for one reason or another. And whatever side of the fence you're Mike on, Sam, it's Sam a fantastic here. day for yeah. COD. With fans. all the bets today, I've right. officially made. Uh, wait for it. As well. 80 cents. Sort of idealistically be in a situation where you have to rely on your. Was that you betting on this map five here? Uh, no, I'm not because I want to. We're, we're going to walk away with a little bit of profit today. Perfect. The team's KD at 1.63 is. We're going to walk away with 80 cents of profit, bro. Factor in that KD is Envoy doubling up on the damage there. 2.33 is completely absurd. But again. This is the first Let's look go. we've seen from Toronto on this map. All right, Optagon the O. It was the exact same. No truck around. We just going to uh, I hit it two times. Yesterday. Yeah. Just these teams pushing their map yeah, yeah. right before the major. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the attack first, Shotzi, maybe one of the guys to lead the charge. A little bit of intel coming through and doesn't waste much time. He's already on the hunt. Slinky shoulders there from Envoy. Shotzi not taking the bait just yet, or will they? Again, decisions now. How do we take back that plane? Try to get that bomb down over towards A. Gunfight over by B. Slows down Dashi. Now the mind games continue. Yeah, Envoy trying to disrupt the timing after you clear out the cockpit. Maybe that's when you slide in, so that's why he's ch chucking out the nade, but you know, the Whoa. plane is coming. You know what what's going to happen in its Why did he run forward? It gets that first blood, and they got the pressure down low, and oh. Shotzi is already hunting you down in your own spawn. Oh, oh we're out from off there. Pounding on that was fucking insane, I had done. Maybe a slight mechanical error there from Kleenex. Can't quite hop the box. In sight now. Takes one. Tagged up. That is round time. one. I don't know. Optics S and D might be clinical. That's a big offense. It is a big offense. Damn. Optics that is best. not gonna last long. Yeah, that <laughs> is an absurd round. I don't. Was it Pred that slid into the plane to get that kill? Yes. Or did he wall bang from outside of it? If he slid in and got the kill on envoy like that, that is clinical. Yeah. Able to he, get three in the round. It was able to get the well. big first round, it bro. Was the start. It was the nade from shots he cooked to perfection. It looked like an impact grenade. It hit that wall and exploded immediately. The inside of fuselage pops. Shots he sets up his boy perfectly. Envoy had nowhere to go. Round two. Here we go. Yeah, you talk about mid round adjustments being the focus point. After they got that first blood, they just ran it down underneath the plane. That is a very discomforting feeling for Toronto. And. Now on defense, 2-2 two -two split, more or less from Optic. Kenny roaming more towards so mid, but he can cover everything on the map from top third. Ultra making a good bit of noise over by B, but Envoy with the bomb, repositioning, and by the looks of it, it's going to be a bit of a late plane hit. I think for Optic Texas, the objective is don't let the round get to that sort of middle portion. Don't worry about it. Shotsy Pred on the outside. Catch it's a very aggressive rays, way to hold this fucking A site. The bait. Can Pred keep the spree going? As we are running I think out I figured of time out what Toronto in this, this round, man. those two members of Ultra. Here they go. <laughs> Envoy. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Go dreams, do nothing. Drops down immediately, and if anybody wants to drop down to trade Pred shots, he's also waiting in the wings. Get the plane cross. Toronto, you, you got to make a play. Low, and you got a man advantage. This is looking like a gorgeous round from Optic. Like that as well. Oh, Seemingly the bait. Nothing can go wrong for Optic. You better have to slot into the plane. The Pred's still alive out here. Uh, he's going to fucking... He's going to the super spot. Time yeah, he's going to shit. Oh, he so died crossing. Nine, nine, crossing. And the round. That's the round. I don't know what Toronto's doing. They're taking eight Inside years to make a play. I see why they beat up this shit. Fred's on a five. They didn't even there. try and Fred attempt to push plane until the there was 30 seconds left. He's one away from streets. Toronto hasn't won a round yet. Nope. That's just another, I mean, again, Gorgeous He's on a five, too. Fred does everything right. Gets the first blood. Really quite literally playing and like a predator. Just, in the just picks his spot and just waits for the kill to fall into his lap. Shots he may be getting caught. Red Dot chasing. Bro, just if Optic touch, win this series point, with a Nezlo winning both searches, holy shit. That would be, fucking hilarious, that would be Watching insane. The cross towards plane, so the wall bangs and shots on the cross completely on point. Back to back, beauty, beautiful rounds coming from Optic. And also, eight rounds in a row in Surge and Destroy. Just yep. throwing that out there. Oh, yeah. A few teams have done it. Let's see if Optic can join the few. Nearly every round has been so slow in the opening break so far. Not a lot of opening action. Both teams doing a very, very good job of feeding each other out. 
Oh, the double nade. They oh, double nade. Yeah, they they coordinated that. Dude, they're, they're getting picked to apart. Yeah, this is actually Kennedy gorgeous. In the meantime, in another cold, Dude, they're, they're getting slammed. They're getting slammed. They're getting slammed. They're getting slammed. Bad. This is going to be nine rounds in a row from Optic against Ron Ultra. I don't want to ruin it, but it's looking good for my bet. Fucking torpedoed in search right now. And the bomb's been planted at B. That should be it, those tags. Give it to Pred, give it to Pred, give it to Pred, give it to Pred. Come the members of Optic, hunt him down in the round. Oh, we died. We died. There it is, the trade's complete. He lost full, that would have been big. If he got the streak, that actually would have been big. It's not even a moral victory, Hill. We should have aggression at Toronto, like in one of those any rounds. Hopeless round. That is perfect made coordination coming out the start. It was a we had Ernie coming on the show saying like, you know what I mean? But also the nade from Shots. Yeah, that's if they were going to get the yeah, rep. And he said, yeah, well, that damn. Right there. Absolutely perfect. And again, Kenny jumps on a player as well. Him and Dashi also making plays on the other side with the distraction. So both yeah, duos right on, now yeah, from Texas that. putting in work. And again, nine Also, Toronto loses map. Detroit First time this season they've lost back-to-back -back games. Against what we might have to say was formerly. Not to see going into last season when the last time. Here we go. Some beach owls. Here we go. They're getting mowed. Trades, Kenny. Ooh, Damn, got Ooh. Ooh. Yo, they're not going to win around. Ooh. Ooh. They might not win around in the yeah. series. <laughs> they might get 6 0 Clean. As the writing is on the green wall, these boys are absolutely running <laughs> ultra over. Don't want to deal with Shotzi by the plane. Have fun dealing with Kenny over by Eski. My Three fucking God. In the round in seven Yo, Toronto's overall. not going to win a fucking round. They're not going to win one. <laughs> They're not so going to win a round. An aspect of the Wait, they didn't win a round in the control either. Right no. Absolutely thriving. Holy fuck, they're heart point stars. Ten rounds in a row. This is a spectacle. Make Make holy holy shit. Again, uh, game plan on absolute The Toronto has lost. Lose, he's chilling. He might pull a Nicola. on the It'll be four of the last five SNDs. That they've lost, they lose this map. The only one they won was against Seattle or Karachi yeah, SD. They lost an SD Rio to Vegas 6 0. Toronto is going to pull an Octane. Okay. Oh my god, oh, he's going to be The Vito. Look at these Toronto cats are in a real. In a real bind with their SD. Vito out of the Toronto Ultra. Well, Pred's got the hallway. You got Dashi looking for the flank. I think if he's play high rise, Toronto's so never playing terminal move. again. Someone's going to catch it. Pred able to get it. And now a four versus two with so much GG. time. And you got Dashi hitting a late pinch. Dude, mistakes. they're not going to win a single round. Pred. Awkward timing. Uh, inside dead. Dude. Oh this my is, god. It, like, this is the best search and destroy performance of a series that I've seen. This is insane. Again, I can't <laughs> they legit are going to get 12 out. They're not going to get 12 out. That's actually insane. And it's like none of the rounds have been close. It's not like it's coming out of some. No, if you count the control. Yeah. Wait, no. This is over. This is over. This is done. This is fucking done. This is done. This is fucking done. They are getting obliterated. I think the slave just fell to his knees again. I think the slave man fell to his knees. I think the slave fell to his fucking knees. He's gonna say that Toronto is online, and they don't care about online. He's gonna move. He's gonna move the post to land. Here we go. Definitely moving the post. He's gonna move the post from not performing against the top four to not performing against the top four on land. That's where we're gonna go. I can see it now. Jesus fucking Christ! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God! And we're double pinching. Surely this is Optics not going to get right, right? Ghost. Oh, timing. He's uncatchable. He might better get another hit. Oh, oh thank God. Oh. The MCW oh, is OP. What the fuck was that? Shots, still a two oh, versus my two. God. He got a submachine gun. He snapped on his head. I think Dill has a donut right now. I'm with two pretty sure he does. Kenny. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They might not get 6 0. In the meantime, actually finds the pig. That's from down range. Oh, shit, they're getting 6 0. Those are good shots, but this is Pred. Hold on, Scrap, Scrapper's Ernie. Clutch. Or Scrapper's Pred. Scrapper's Pred. Scrapper's them with the double 6 0. No, AG, you gotta win this, bro. He's gonna get timing on him. He's gonna get timing on him. The timing of this one. Wait, I don't believe it. Damage. Oh, Scrappy ran? Pred holds his irons. Will he chow this? Oh! oh he RP, 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 the fucking blowout.
That's tough, bro. I just he lost four. And that is all Yo, it he's takes. Yo, he's pissed. Oh, I saw it. He saw his game in lights. He's pissed. Uh, no way, bro. No way. He's pissed. Well. Hold on. It looks like Pred lost them, but the match. Oh, it's the that's thing funny. that's ever happened to him. <laughs> he's going to hear about it later. That's like a trash talk 1v1 that Scraps is going to hold that over his head, but... Is Pat's Game's power come back on? Ultra, maybe thinking about the concept it probably is, but you ain't showing up. Like to have a comeback, <laughs> but right now, Envoy. Yeah. Man in Game 5 has the 2 plus KD right now on a goose egg. God damn, Dill needs to get now. one. Still looking for his first. I think Pred's buying He's still on a donut recently. Tonight. His cards on the table. Oh, 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 oh Jesus! No shots. He needed himself uh, somehow. Oh, this is how it starts. Imagine they get full sale. Oh, this is how it starts. Imagine they get full sale, Sam. Uh -oh. Nah, if there's a full sale, that would be insane. Or if a frag that on a Toronto is not lost best back to back, back, back like games since uh, Major Four qualifiers last year. Until right now. But you never know. Either way, first blood. As that far. Congratulations. We'll see if they can make something of it. They've kept Optic on their side of the map. Lovely shots from Scrap. Really nice shots. It's going to slow him down once again. Clock's still taking 40 to go. Very difficult to be comfortable in these moments. You do have Dashie in See you later, Jamie. position to get a freebie. There it is. Even up the odds. Three versus three. The B site much more open now than it was before. And Scrap, if he wants to make the play. And eight and three. Jumping straight into Kenny. We're playing for Berg. We're playing for Berg. I like this. I like this. But even with the way this round started, I right think this play. is incredibly clutchable. They're very Back him up for Berger. They might, they might double him out of getting this one done. Ultra now scrambling to find the approach towards the bomb site. Rand's a little isolated Phoenix, now. The closest man. Shoulders thrown. Doesn't see anything. Rip. Ryan Brand's over there. GG. GG. Sassy lost guy. Fuck it. Sassy him. Sassy him. I fear Dill 007. And Prez DJ. Puts in the bed. Yo. <laughs> it was HG doing in the camera, bro. Absolutely. Shot the camera. Destroy. They win the game five. That GG. was slamming. Oh my god. Confidence to begin with, but if they weren't before, they are certainly infinitely more confident now going into the new major. Well, that was absurd. On the Texas that statement win. They started to troll a little bit in like the, the very final. Toronto round, Ultra. That, first back to back losses in about a round. They had a game plan the mid about 10 months on point, hunting down the players on Ultra right from the jump. No fear in their hearts, all the confidence in their world, and a very solid Game 5 victory. One thing that has certainly been true from Optic Texas, they have been clutched throughout this entire stage, and, well, more things to add to the pile. A donut there from Dylan Envoy. And another 6-0 defeat as well. Ultra, this has been an incredibly interesting, like, qualifying stage for this Toronto team. And honestly, I just can't wait for the major. I can't wait for the major, but yep. Another donut. Another man in the running to be the next James Bond as Daniel Craig is getting a little old. But there we go. Search and destroy done. Game five. Complete optic. CDL points go their way and confidence more than anything is something that we'll be looking at for time and time again for them there. 603061. No way. They Nesload Ultra. There you go. But the score lines in the hard points still very, very promising from Toronto Ultra. Plenty to work on there on that terminal and the Karachi. But invasion so control, Sam, you here? Actually, these are really tough ones for Ultra. They certainly so said we will square up on your Sam best maps and see how it goes. It That's bad. What's that? that? Great. So, so Ultra, Toronto now, because of this loss, they're lost to, to Atlanta oh God, what a good and win and like lose, you know, win loss record. They can only finish as high as fourth seed now. Toronto. Yeah. So gotta take a leak. the likely opponents that they would get oh. in fourth seed are either going to be Thebes. Or they're going to be the Las Vegas Legion. So Toronto's going to Toronto's going to end up probably getting whatever non-top four team that's probably most in most in form. Oh shit! We got op. Wait, we get opting first New York next week. Yeah, heater, heater. Wait, round one. Round one, yeah. Thieves, thieves is. Uh, uh, Doug, leave this for out a graphic. No, listen, bro. We don't care about that shit. We just play who's in front of us. We're not going to talk about LAT round one. All right. We're talking. I'm fine. talking about it. You're not on the. No. Bro, I'm not. Fine. Well, you're actually going to the fuck, fucking deep, Sam. Like, they're going to be pundits, bro. <laughs> It's a buy. It's well, okay. I think he's on the team, like it's a buy. It's okay. 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 Buy the losers bracket is what's gonna be, Sam. I say yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Some of my chat asks, is this the most dominant Neslo of all time? 
This is definitely up there. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta Bro, be up there. This was a game five no, no, series, and it wasn't close. It's really gotta oh. be up there. They they only lost one round, one round between the S and the control. I, I would I think no it clue is. how a game five series can't be close. It's lit. Where's a box score? That's actually a good Give point. Multi, that's score. a good point. We're bringing it up on the show. Where the fuck is this shit at? Here we go. Damn! Wow, Scrap is looking around fucking mind blown. Wow! Wow, mind blown. Just allow Dashi to completely focus on his hallway and three story. Like, these are the changes that they need to make to win the map, and it works. It's really interesting to see the top four right now. Subliners, they beat Atlanta, haven't played the other two. Where's the interview at? Toronto, Atlanta has beaten Toronto, but lost to New York, <laughs> and of course, had that match against Optic coming up next week. It's going to be exciting all the way through. And tonight, Scuff plays. Which way the seating is, uh, was, uh, Dr. Doug. His, uh, Twitter is. I'm going to retweet it right now, Han. I got you. Just look at my Twitter. I just retweeted it. It's Doug, Doug Lieb on Twitter. Look at my tweet. But that's the uh, seating. For the finest control performance we've seen from anyone on that green wall. Listen, this was just crazy. Off the rip of the first round, Shotzi goes straight through the middle of the map, reflinks through ice cream, finds four consecutive kills to clear them off of B. And with the help from players pushing up river, he gets into their spawn. And when you go back and rewatch that, user joined your channel. You're going to see him every Mr. Chris. Yo, what up? Bro, bro I thought I was about to go 0-3, bro. <laughs> For predictions? Yeah. And then Optic fucking turned up. They won both searches. I figured I got slammed today. <laughs> bro, why, why is Toronto just playing everyone on their best maps? Like, I think they're... They gotta be, like, strategizing in a way, you know? Like, this no, doesn't make sense I, I at don't all. Think so. I don't think so. <laughs> it's holding maps for land gimmick is is not a real thing. I don't know if it's holding maps for land. I hope it's. I think it's, it's not. just them it's trying not, to don't, improve. Don't their... feed into the illusion. It's not a thing. You don't, We're not no, making no, it a you, thing. Do you think? Do you think they're trying to improve their map pool by playing the best teams? Why on their would best you? Shit? Why would you? You would just lost to phase. You're gonna put yourself down an O2 fucking hole. Like you're playing the maps. Mm -hmm. They think they have the best chance of winning. It's not a series where testing map pools. <laughs> Do you really think they have the best chance of winning in some of these? Terminal? Or not Terminal, Rio? They won it, but they like... Won. I mean, the, the only troll pick... The two, <clears throat> the two troll picks out of them, Chris, were... Well, on AG interview. Karachi oh, search. Well, Karachi search. Yo, I was actually so mad when we lost that 1v1. I felt like it was like around 11. That's how mad I got, because I knew it was only two. But um, yeah, I was, I was upset, honestly. No, we, we saw it on your face. Yeah, you had the hands over your mouth. <laughs> you could just see you were I choked. lost the series. But you guys came back and you finished this one strong. Clearly, SND has been evolving in the Optic camp. Is this Damon Karma Barlow stepping in and coaching you guys <laughs> up? Or who's who do you give credit to all the improvements? Honestly, it's a collective. Our coaching staff has been on us a lot about getting improvements in SD and just, you know, just going on the map and just running around together and just figuring out, figuring out ideas. I feel like that's something that really, you know, hopped on us to do. So it's a collective group. You know, we've been. We, we've been in the lab, honestly, just trying to get our SD better because we knew that that was one of our uh, weaker, weaker flaws. Fred, you guys have now surged to being 6-0 heading into Major 2. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen this dominance of a performance from Optic Texas. Assuming you guys make it to that grand final, what other team you think is going to meet you there? Honestly, we don't know. We know the top four teams are, you know, they're all really competitive. Uh, you know, New York, Ultra, and Phase. I think they're us four. Are like, you know, we're all going to probably meet each other on Sunday. So, at the end of the day, you know, these online matches are obviously good reps. And, um, you know, I just think between us four, it's going to be one of us in the grand finals. So, hopefully, it's us. Uh, Pred, talk to me about the hard points in this series. It seemed like they got away from you guys a little bit, especially on that Rio. A lot of times, it felt like it was just Shotzi making the huge plays on the rotation, and you guys can scrap a little bit. Talk to me. What was happening throughout these these HPs, especially that Rio? Um, you know, when you play a good team, there's going to be a lot of situations, and you know, sometimes the better teams just end up playing situations better. So I think it, can, it comes down to a lot of the calm things. I feel like sometimes if we calm and understand where the pressure's coming from, we can react better. Mm -hmm. So I think it's honestly it comes down to that. When two top teams play, there's going to be a lot of situations where it's going to be like a one hill situation where you know, for example, we end up getting that P4, we probably end up playing that. So it's just going to come down to stuff like that. Listen, Prep, man, it's loud enough. Tell those guys to 
shut up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, just kidding. Nate just had a good three. They're doing great. Those Razor headsets pick up everything. Uh, Brett, I do want to ask you a little bit about the final matchup. Earlier, it said it was against Atlanta. Excuse me. It's against New York. Two teams with 6-0 and records. You're playing for the number one seed. Is there any reason to hold some cards back here, or are you guys going to be giving it your all next Sunday? Uh, honestly, we're just going to treat the match like we always do. We're just going to head in and um, yeah, just play the game. We, we, we're not really going to be treating that match any differently. You know that you know if we win, we're going to have the number one seed. So it's going to be the match for the number one seed. And obviously, having the number one seed is obviously a good thing. But uh, we're not too worried about that. We're just making sure that we get prepared for land. Um, so that's the number one thing is just getting to that tournament. Win that tournament. Somehow, you guys have managed to win the round 11s. You have clutched up every step of the way. And I know everyone in the chat is fired no, up for your final fight next No, it's the background sound on his, on his, on his mic. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good this day. This is Mike's background. That time. is uh, Listen, chat, a couple things before I switch over. One is, and I'm going to say it on the show, bro. Like, there's no holding maps back in a series like this. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you give the other team confidence that they can beat you? So that's not what's going on here. Toronto's has got a small map pool and a bunch of shit. So Sound we're talking about on the flank. Switch over to my Twitch channel. I'm going to be over there in a second. Uh, we're going to be doing live for that. And, um, what else we got going on today? Uh, probably some clubs afterwards. So make sure you're locking into that. I 